is ink. There you go. So it will take that perfectly. Uh, smoothies. We're not talking about the ones you drink. No one spilt one on there. Uh, but that's a technique called smoothie. I don't know whether I've ever done a smoothie on a card before, but it looks nice. You've got your archival ink for stamping and you've got your eyes ink or is ink for stamping. Don't they look great? Oh, I like that idea. That's a good, so when you get this home, do a black and white and then do a coloured one in the same one and put them side by side. Make a nice bit of artwork. Uh, right, that's the first one. There's more. There's more. Oh, more techniques. Oh, my word. Actually, £13.98. You're saving £8. So we're already a quarter of the stock gone. You might want to multiply on these because you're saving, aren't you? It's a great deal. 617168. Lots more techniques to show you and run you through with your super smooth card. My word. Uh, inks in a spray bottle. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Uh, cleaning the mat. Again, just mopping up uh, from maybe when you've sprayed on the spray mat. Uh, brushos on wet card now. That is fantastic because you know when you're using your brushos, uh, you are going to use a lot of water. So this is going to take that. That's a good example there. I like that. Uh, watered down brusho. Again, using lots of water but on super smooth. It's going to be perfect. You wouldn't think that that would be possible on a super, super smooth card, but it is. Uh, brusho on dry card. Again, a different effect, but something that you'll be able to use is super smooth card for. Can you see why so many of our demonstrators here at Hochanda use the super smooth card? I think you can. Uh, oxides with water drops. There you go. That looks good. And also using salt as well on the car to bring out uh, that fantastic effect. Cleaning your oxides off the mat. So then again, it's that mopping up. Uh, stamping and colouring with oxides. Take those perfectly. Uh, we're busy for this. Um, your distress inks as well. They look fabulous. Look at that. Really nice and vintage look to that. And then you've got your faux bleach with oxide. So your faux ble flow, flow bleaching with oxide. That's putting water on there. You don't use bleach really. Right. Although some people have. I'm sure I saw a technique with real bleach. Who did that? Somebody did that. Somebody did that with real bleach on a card. Watered down bleach. I think it was pearly winks. Look really effective. Do be careful though if you are spraying or doing anything with bleach. Right, more effects for you, more techniques that you can use with your super smooth card. Uh, watercolour with oxides, you can do that. Um, excess inks with your paint brush, so you can paint those on, they'll look fantastic. Um, there you go, there's that salt into wet inks. There you go, so drop the salt on the card. Looks like a Petri dish, doesn't it? Do you remember Petri dishes at school? Uh, there'll be a lot of those going around at the moment for sure in laboratories. Uh, paper towel, mop up glued to super smooth oh so you get a paper towel and glue it to your super smooth and then mop up that's a brilliant idea we've got some glue coming up on the show your watercolor pen so you can do that as well that's my arm by the way just in case you're wondering that is my arm need a little toning up on that uh, right next up you've got your eyes ink from a map You've got your eyes ink sprays, it will take those perfectly. There you go through a stencil. All of these techniques you can use with your smooth, super smooth card. That's why we're very busy. And also your texture paste as well, giving you that gorgeous finish. And your chalky paints with your textured paste. My word, 30% of the stock has already gone. Will this last for the happy hour? I don't think it will. That's your super smooth. Of course, you can cut into it and you can use your die cuts on there as well. 617168 is your item number. Right, watercolour card. It's really important if you are watercolouring to get the right card. This is 280 GSM and you get 80 sheets. Let's give you a bit of a bit of an idea of the um, weight of this. Always give it a flick. Always give it a wobble. And I am talking about the card here. You can flick and wobble anything else you like. Uh, four double, but please be respectful. Four double two one five seven is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. You're saving twelve pounds on this deal, and that will take your watercolours perfectly. Maybe you saw the show with Matthew Palmer the other day with the books about watercolouring. Um, this is something then you can take your techniques to. Here's a box with some watercolour card on. That's nice. It goes with my shirt actually. It goes with the set. And I must say, thank you very much, the set goes with my shirt. Or does my shirt go with the set? I don't know. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Janice's shirt or the set? Well, you'll know I've been wearing this for a very long time. So maybe the shirt came first. But you know, when you've got something you like, keep on wearing it. Do you know what I did the other day? I got a load of my old clothes and I just dyed them. So now they all look brand new. 
instead of going out and buying things that are new, I just, no, I just dyed them all the same colour. So, uh, I've, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> I, it's ever so good. I've got, it's like a peacock blue, so I've got t-shirts, shorts, and a hat. I dyed my hat as well. So when I wear them all together, I'm fully peacocked up. Right, uh, so that's your watercolour card, 1999 422 157. But it is good to do that, because you know what it's like at the moment. It's difficult to go out and buy new things. Right. Uh, we've got a mixed envelope set for you now. Uh, these are C5 in size and they're 120 GSM and you're getting 100 of each. Are they? Yes, they are lickable. Wedding ivory and chocolate brown. That really is a chocolate brown, isn't it? Um, Oh, I tell you what that colour reminds. There's all different types of chocolate, isn't there? We were we were talking about chocolate the other day and all the different taglines that came with chocolate. We're not really allowed to mention chocolate unless we mention three. I could mention a hundred. Uh, but we were we were talking about all the different taglines that they used to do in the adverts for chocolate and how it sticks to your memory. But this has got nothing to do with that. This particular colour reminds me. Do you know the baby chocolate you get in little jars that you feed to babies? You don't force feed a baby, but it's, it's like a chocolate dessert. It's like a chocolate little dessert. It's baby chocolate. Does anyone know that? Okay. Well, if you, <laughs> if you ever see it on the shelves in the supermarket, buy it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Just pretend you've got a baby. And just say, oh, I'm buying these for my baby. And then just eat them yourself. They're really nice. Baby chocolate, Christopher Baker. You've got a baby. No, I'm not eating the babies. <laughs> but... <laughs> But the chocolate, the chocolate in the pots, baby chocolate, do you know it? No. Poor old Bob. Bob needs to get the chocolate in the jar. It is gorgeous. And their orange juice is really nice. Any baby stuff. It's pure. It's good. It's great, in my opinion. Uh, but do leave food for the babies, just in case we have a food shortage. We're not going to, but you never know. Anyway, envelopes. What more can I say about envelopes, apart from... Envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. I actually do like that really nice swoosh. It's, yeah, it's posh. It's not just any old V, is it? And what's nice about the envelope is that you can tuck it away, just like that. Just like that. You can tuck it away. You don't have to... In fact, we're living in slightly uncertain times at the moment, so maybe don't lick and stick. Yeah. Tuck instead. Don't lick and stick. Just tuck it in. Far better. Far better. Right, there you go. So that is great value for money, eleven ninety nine. Right, moving on. Uh, we have got a piece of paper that you don't need to see. I've just dropped that on the floor. There was just some notes from earlier on. Uh, right. Uh, oh, this is nice. It's 250 GSM, and you get 50 sheets in total, and it's matte silver. Do you see that? So you've got that lovely, it's like a cream. And then turn that over, you've got that lovely silver. That is very metallic -y. I love that. Can't quite get any reflections in that just yet. Uh, but that is superb. 821147 is your item number. Saving £15 on that deal. I'm <coughs> just going to... A little cough there. Sorry about that. Uh, it's just the air conditioning, nothing else. Now, the other day, who was I with? Els, Elizabeth... Um, Crafts designs, yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I was moving on to the next thing before I finished. Um, and Els had this great die of this little knight. There was a prince and a knight. And if you bought that die or anything similar, use this because it, this would create the armour for the night. It was absolutely fantastic. That would be a really good idea, actually. Uh, 821147 is your item number if you want to go for that. Right, next up. We've got some Rainbow Mirror card. Uh, and this is A6 in size and it's 280 GSM. You get 200 uh, sheets for £9.99. Oh, look at that. That looks a bit like. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes, not around the eyes, but into my eyes. Actually, shall I? Could you? Could, would, yes, look. This is like. What's that cat out of Alice in Wonderland called? The Cheshire Cat. Okay. This is my impersonation of the Cheshire Cat. Because the eyes, where are we? Number three. Look into the eyes, not around the eyes. Look into the eyes, not around the eyes. Now go and eat an onion. It's an apple, really. That onion is an apple. <laughs> it tastes like an apple. <laughs> 
it digests like an apple. But it's really an onion. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I told you it was a happy hour. Oh, it makes me laugh. It's hypnotists, isn't it? It's all they do. They get people on stage and they go, I'm going to hypnotise you. And then they make you eat an onion. Don't they? In every holiday camp you ever go to. I'll volunteer. I'll be hypnotised. Yeah, but you're going to eat an onion on stage, love. Oh, never mind. I really want to be hypnotised and eat an onion on stage. Oh, dear. Tickled me. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> please don't hypnotise anyone with the card. But it does, It really does look effective. It's an apple. It's an apple, everybody. Oh dear, sorry. Uh, I'm sure you can use that for fantastic crafting. Do you know what? I make myself laugh, if nobody else. And it's good to laugh, isn't it? It does, it does release, um, well, tears, just like eating an onion. Oh, don't eat onions, not good for you. Uh, well, no, actually, onions are good for you. <laughs> onions are really... No, please eat onions, they're really good for you, but maybe not raw. Uh, right, um, anyway... Oh, uh, assorted... Oh, here we go with the hypnotising again. What can I make you do with these? Uh, right, you've got 80 sheets, and we've got different effects on these sheets. Uh, right, and various GSMs. So, 80 sheets. Here's one. Look at that. I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? Love that. 3D effect, don't you think? Wow, £42 saving. Um, these would make some marvellous, I mean, die cut into these, put these on the top of cards, or let me just grab some white card. You could layer these up. Imagine that, matting and layering. Let me just bring that, I want you to see the top bit here. Um, there you go. If you were to mat and layer that, that'd be like a frame, wouldn't it? Can you see that going around the edge? And that would be really effective as a frame going around your card. Mat and layer with them. Even get another one. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, that's the blue one. You could even put the green at the top there. Hang on. Shall I do it that way for you? Lovely, Hannah, because that'll probably be better. That's a lot better, yeah. Um, there you go. And let's pop that there. So now you're starting to layer those up. Can you see that? That would look amazing. Oh, I do like this one. I'd like a shirt like that, actually. For the Saturday night deal wheel, that would be brilliant. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, what other ones do we get? Let's have a look at the red one. Wow. Don't adjust your sets, everybody. Look at that. Love that. These are fabulous. $9.99. Oh, wow. That actually moves, doesn't it? Ooh, look into the eyes, not around the eyes. Actually, do, do, do be, there's no flashing lights, so we're okay. But yeah, if you, do, if you do have any issues, just close your eyes at the moment. For everyone else, look at that. That, that is amazing. It's worth getting this just to do that. It really is. Oh, my word. Uh, 004 529 is your item number. Just £9.99. And, and you are getting some gold and silver in there as well. Wow. Right, let's have a look at... What are these? Oh, I thought they were chocolates. OK, uh, this is uh, paper and card. You get brush gold, oyster and chocolate colour. Chocolate colour. Wow, 100 sheets in total delivered directly to your door for 9 99 If you're a Freedom member, no PMP to pay. And the chocolate paper is 120 GSM and the other is 300 GSM. That is a fantastic deal. That is a fantastic deal for you. 182 200. Right, I have got some paper on the floor. But that's okay. We'll sort that out later. I don't know. How did that happen, Kirsty? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, we've got some red liner tape. Again, you may see lots of demonstrators here at Hochanda using the red liner tape. You've got 90 metres of this on three different rolls. Uh, so 90 metres in total. Uh, and it's a equivalent to 18 standard size rolls wow that's a lot that's a lot and you've also got three quickies as well and we do love a quickie don't we we do because it does so much for you and i'm going to demonstrate a quickie uh 14 pounds and 99 pence you're saving six pounds on this deal so your three red liner tapes easy to lift up especially if you've got a poker tool uh, a pokey tool don't use the one that you shove in the 
fire. So everything's alive. Um, yeah, it's easy to lift up and it's great for construction because it's very, very strong. Right, shall we just part that over there, part that over there, take this and put that over there. Then we're going to take the quickies and put that there. It's not a magic trick. Put that one there, that one there, then look at this. I could do my hand magic trick. Bet you guys haven't seen that. Kirsty's seen the hand trick. Can you do it yet, Kirsty? Can you? Oh, we'll do that together then in the moment's time. Right, your quickie. A couple of things about this. Uh, first of all, um, you've got the pen lid. Now, is that designed so it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Um, easy to take off. When you get these home, there's going to be a little um, cap on there. Take that off and then that releases the quickie glue. Inside, you can see you, it's blue. Okay, so you will be able to see it running out, but don't worry, you've got two more because there's three in the pack. And it goes on blue, but it dries clear. So, uh, we've got some glitter. Ooh, we've got some gilding flakes. Right, let's show you what you can do. Of course, you can use your quickie glue pen for sticking on your intricate dies, for example. Uh, but let's do something else here. Um, before I write this down, what are you doing on my foot? Get on. Right, how do you spell magic? Is it M-A-J-I-C or M-A-G? Well, so what is M-A-J-I-C? Is that not a word? Is that not majestic with a J? Don't you spell magic with a J? So what word do you spell that's like magic with a J? Majestic. Majestic has a J in. Or does that have a J? So that's where I've got it wrong, all these words. I, all these words, all these... I thought that magic was a short version of majestic, therefore I spell magic with a J. Anyway, it's with a G. It's, it's wrong. So, um, I'm going to write out... Is this... Yeah. So it goes on blue. I might get some white card and do this on. Why have I put much? <laughs> Why have I written M-O-C-H? I was merging magic with Hochanda. Do you see how my brain works? Magic, Hochanda, magic, majestic. Seriously, Janice? Oh, my word. Um, I want to get some white card. I'm going to use the next. There you go. Because um, it does go on blue. There you go. There, you can see the blue better. Um, so I'm going to write... With a G, with a G. Sorry, I can't help it. It's just one of those things. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't teach me anything at school. It's just the way it was. Uh, so we put the glitter on there. Oh. And then, uh, oh dear, I've probably over glittered that. Let's get that back in. And then let's give that a... Sorry, guys. There you go. Look at that. Now that's magic. I like that. I like the effect that I've given it as well with, you know, because it's almost like the magic is dissipating, like cha-cha. But that doesn't look right to me, M-A-G, I see. I still prefer M-A-J. I do, I do. just prefer M-A-J. Um, anywho's, anywho's, anywho's. Let's pop that there because you're getting three of those and you're also getting your quickie glue pens. Um, don't worry, yours won't be used. I've just used that put that there, that on there, that on there. Look, it's magic. Um, that's a great deal. And if you do want to get hold of your uh, quickie pens and your red liner tape, those are your details. Five, uh, 750340, £14.99. pence. We've got some more quickies for you. Here we go. Uh, a set of five. A set of five. And uh, if you want those, there's an extra £12.50. pence. 499194 is your item number for that. Uh, right. This is beautiful. This is ice gold. Ice, ice baby. Um, this, this is lovely. It's 120 GSM and you're getting 150 sheets. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get this at home or whether you can see it because I can't see in my monitors. But... Can you, can you see that there's a gold tint on there? I don't know how I can hold that. I can see it perfectly here in real life. This is real life, I know. Let's, let's pretend. I'm, I'm going to try, I don't know whether we can do, I don't know what we can do, but trust me, it's like a champagne gold. 
that's, it's just it's very difficult when you've got white on a TV screen. Can I'm just going to try and bend it, shape it, sort of the way you like it. Um, kind of can you see that just there um, it's beautiful it really really is nine pounds and 99 pence it's ice gold it's like a champagne color not that I drink champagne um, I just knock it back so quick I don't see the color of it seven eight three two zero nine drink responsibly um, is your item number if you want to go for that I mean there it's a great deal and it gets delivered directly to your door saving ten pounds on that but remember the price will be going back up at the top of the hour right that's all I've got for that. We've got some pearlized envelopes. Uh, these are DL in size. And these are the perfect envelopes. Perfect envelopes if somebody has won something. Because these are the envelopes where you go and the winner is... And then you open it up. And then you look at the audience and you look back at the audience. And then you take out the winner from the envelope and you announce it. That is gorgeous. And that will go... Let me grab that. They will go perfectly with the sheets of paper that we've just had. So these are your pearlized envelope sets and they are 120 GSM. They're ice gold and wedding ivory. So ice gold and wedding ivory and dark ice. So let's have a look, me do, at the different ones. If I, I wonder if I can get three. So we've got the ice gold, which is that one. You might not be able, you might not be able to tell at home. It's really difficult, but anyway, you've got. You can see. You, you can. You can. You can. Oh, just about. See. Are you all right, Kirsty? Yes, yeah, she's all right. You can just about see the different colours. You're getting 50 of each. That's 150 in total. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence. These are your, and the winner is envelopes. Now, think about having an award ceremony in your home. If you were going to give an award to somebody and I was to announce the winner and the winner is, who would it be and what for? I want to know. Email in. It's studio at hochanda.com. If you want to give somebody an award, maybe it's a friend that's helped you out, maybe it's your daughter or your son or maybe it's your fur baby. If you want to give them an award, let me know and we'll read out their awards. Let's do it. Studio at hochanda.com and I'll keep that with me so I can go and the winner is and we can read out the award. Studio at hochanda.com. Right, pastel cards. These are gorgeous. Uh, these are 240 GSM. Um, there's lots of different GSMs actually. Um, bear with us. Uh, Ten sheets of each water colour. £9.99. So you get an assortment of GSM. Um, so that one I'd probably say I would probably say that is a two two ninety. That was probably a two ninety. Um, so you're getting fifty of the pastel card, and it's ten sheets per colour, and they are two hundred and forty GSM. Is that what I said? Two hundred and forty GSM. I was about right. Very good guess. And then you're getting ten sheets of super smooth card, and that's three hundred GSM. And then you're getting 10 sheets of the watercolour card, and that's 280 GSM. This is quite the collection, don't you think? 9.99. Oh my word! This really is a happy hour. 152737. Uh, welcome if you have just joined us. Yes, it's a happy hour for this hour, and all these prices will be going back up at the top of the hour. If you want to stock up with your card, it's a great time to do it, isn't it? Uh, with some new projects heading towards. Oh, I don't want to say it. Heading towards the autumn. We were talking about this earlier, actually. At the moment, it's a little bit dull out there, isn't it? And rainy and wet. But what we were thinking is that the seasons are shifting. So really, this is July. August is really July when it's normally wet and windy. Um, and then September is going to be August. Hopefully it'll be nice and sunny. But we do have that storm coming. Storm Ellen. Apparently coming at the weekend. Storm Ellen. And do you know why they all have different names? Storms. Kirsty, do you know why they have all different names? Storms. Uh, Gallery, do you know why they have different names? Storms. Because they name them after the alphabet. So the next one will be A, A, B, C, D, E, F. It would be F. So it could be Freddie or Francesca or Florence or Francis or 
Felicity or <laughs> F names are hard. Good job I said name there. Uh, if you've got an F name that we haven't said, email it again. We'll give you an award. And the winner is uh, 9 99 though. Great collection, great collection. Right, we've got some glue. Uh, oh, yeah, everybody loves a bit of collal glue. Um, and this really is a great deal. So you're getting a litre of the collal glue and you get the smaller applicator. Because let's face it, right, if you're anything like me, I have um, sometimes a little bit of arthritis going on in this hand and sometimes in that hand. And sometimes it's difficult because I get it in my thumb here. So if I'm holding this and I'm trying to be precise with the glue, I just I drop it. And you don't want to be doing that. So we've got this for you. So a few ways of working this. See at the end there, you've got that little white nib there. If I, let me just admit, yeah, okay. So if I twist that, do you see that that goes back? That means it's open and ready to go. So if I was to tip that upside down now and give it a bit of a squeeze, then the glue would come out. But what I'm doing is then turning that and we're locking that off, okay? With your applicator, this is interesting because you have got the nib there at the top where the glue comes out and then do you remember these at school that's to help the glue flow along and it helps to spread it so let's decant the glue i wish we had some like um music now to do a little bit of decanting with maybe some abigail's party music who remembers abigail's party now that is something you kids need to watch Abigail's party. It was a play and then it went to TV. It was brilliant. Sue, Sue, is it on the trolley, Sue? Oh, I'm decanting without looking, but don't worry, I've not spilt any. Uh, right, so stick around, everyone. There you go, look at that. How high can I go? How high can I go? Look, are you getting that effect where it looks, it just looks still, doesn't it? It looks like solid. You can't see it flowing. See that? Watch, it looks like it's still, doesn't it? But it is flowing. Oh, I'm getting full. Hang on. There you go. Look at that. Has the Kalau glue ever been decanted in such a professional way other than that? And then you put the lid on and that's it. And then you can take that off to your little craft room. You can take that off to your little crafty places and off you go. And this one will just stay there. And look, it's not a lot gone at all. So that when this one is done and it's when this one is spent, that's what you say, isn't it? When some, something is spent, it comes back, says, fill me up again. And then you decant again. And then it goes off and has a little time, sticks a lot of things. And then it comes back and goes, fill me up again. <sighs> it's water and heat resistance as well. And it will stick on lots of different surfaces. And that's the great thing about having collal glue, because it will stick with leather, uh, plastic, paper, glass even, um, a cardboard. So it's a great investment to make for £15.99. 233253. Now, if you're buying items off the show and you are a Freedom member, you're not paying any PMP at all. And if you want to know more about Freedom, here's our lovely Alex to tell you more. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that uh, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, 
So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see? You could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, member's badge and a member's newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Oh, there's the lovely Alex. Andy has called us. Hello, Andy, from Pink Frog Crafts. How are you? Um, it's absolutely lovely uh, to present the show for you. But Andy was saying, you know the Collal glue? Of course. You can decant it with the lid on. Not just with the lid off. I thought I was doing so well as well. But you can decant it either way. Thanks for that, Andy. Thanks for calling in. Oh, we miss you, Andy. We miss you. We haven't seen him for ages. Um, but unfortunately, it's just the way it is at the moment. But hopefully, we'll see him again soon. Oh, we've had an award. I need my envelope. I need my sparkly envelope from Pink Frog Crafts. I have to say it like that because when I say those three words together, I thank you. <clears throat> so we've got these beautiful envelopes on the show, but it's also like an award. So. And the winner is, the award is from Kaz, and the winner is Tito the Husky, Tico the Husky, Tico, I'm saying, I'm saying T Kiko, you said Tico, Kiko, well, should we start that one again? Right, who's it from? Okay, Kaz has sent in an award, and the winner is... Kiko the Husky. Oh, she walked on a charity walk across all the bridges of London, 12 miles. That's amazing. Oh, Kiko, we love you. Can we have a picture? Uh, right, so we're doing the winner is. Please send in your awards. It's studio at hochanda.com. More awards coming soon. I think this needs an award. Super smooth card. It is fabulous and you can do so many different techniques 60 percent of the stock has gone already though 13 pounds and 98 pence saving eight pounds on this deal uh, let's have a quick look at all the different techniques that you can do with this we shall have a peruse along so you've got your mixed colors with oxides you've got your excess inks with a paintbrush uh, salt onto wet inks your paper towel mop up when you've glued it to your super smooth card you've got your watercolor pens on there they'll take perfectly a uh, beautiful way of stenciling whether it be with your chalk paint and texture paste or just your texture paste on here it'll take it perfectly if you've ever put sprays with your eyes inks onto paper this is going to be a dream your eyes ink sprays will look beautiful on here you can use them with masks you can use them with stencils and you can mop up from your mat. There's more that you can do with these. So, mixed media crafters, absolutely perfect. You can heat emboss on here. This card will take it perfectly. Stencils with the brush, absolutely beautifully. Spray onto your card to your heart's content. And you might be using that with your pearly ink sprays. Blending tools, beautiful blending with a stencil. Uh, wet inks from a glass mat. I feel like I'm on the generation game. Um, you can also stamp on here as well in many, many different colours. Archival ink, for example. Uh, smoothies. I don't know what a smoothie is, but I think it's where you smooth the colours into one another. Uh, Mop-up of eyes inks from your glass mat. Uh, you can blend with your brushes on here through your stencils. You can also stencil with your blending tools. There's more, everybody. Look at this. Your gallery of super smooth card could look like this. Inks in a spray bottle. Uh, cleaning the mat. Yeah, just mopping it up. Your brushos. Now, brushos need water on the card. And this is going to work perfectly, as you can see. Watered down brusho as well. Uh, brusho onto dry card. Beautiful. Down to the bottom, we've got more effects in here with that faux bleaching with oxide. That's where you could possibly use water onto your oxide. Uh, distress inks. You've also got your stamping colours with oxide oxides and you've got your cleaning your oxides off a mat um, and that's a really good way of just mopping up and creating great backgrounds and your oxides with water drops my word well that's it that's your whole craft in one go 13 pounds and 98 pence we're very busy for this lots of people buying it at the moment and you know what some people are multi-buying 617168 is your item number so so far the winner is the water the super smooth and the winner is Kiko uh, right. Oh, you can also, of course, you can cut perfectly with Super Smooth. And it's going to look great each and every time. 
and you can fold it and score it and draw on it and write on it and, all and even sit on it. Right, next up, watercolour card. This is really important to get right. Now, I've got some Pink Frogs Crafts watercolour card, and it's beautiful. I love it. It's my go-to card. Um, if I'm sitting there and I, I, I just want to paint some flowers or maybe put a background down, this is what I go for because I know it's going to give me the right results each and every time. 280 GSM, so it's a good weight. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too lightweight. So that is an optimal weight for you. 80 sheets of this as well. If you wanted to, you could cut into this, so you could make it 160 sheets, cut into it again, and you're creating 240 mini sheets. £19.99, pence, saving £12 on this deal. 422157 is your item number. And there's a really nice, you've got a really nice texture to this, not too much and not so it's super smooth. So that's what you want with your watercolours. And just to give you an example of how your watercolours will go on, let's bring that into there. And you can see how gorgeous your watercolours look upon there. Excellent. £19.99. pence. A few of you are multi-buying with that. It's a good idea, actually, because we'll deliver it directly to your door. Right. We have got some C5 envelopes. We've got white and the brown. Do you remember the C5? The little car. The, elect the first electric car. Was it the C5? It was the C5, wasn't it? That was, a, that was the first electric car, the C5, all back in the day. Now they're talking about driverless cars on the motorways with lanes that will go beep, 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 beep if the, the car drifts. Oh, it's hard enough being a passenger in my own car, let alone being a passenger in my own car when I'm not even driving. Right, you'll see five envelopes chocolate in color beautiful color you get a hundred each these would go perfectly actually with the gorgeous um ice gold ice gold and chocolate i might take one of these down there to show you that so your ice gold and your chocolate and you're also getting your wedding ivory so a hundred of each of those um easily fold into them as well they look really nice and they're 120 gsm do you know what would look really nice on that Sealed with a kiss. S-W-A-K. Squawk on the back. Do you kids know about that? <gasps> Do you not know about S-W-A-K on the back of your cards? Everybody puts that on the back of... Sealed with a loving kiss. No, squawk. S-W-A-L-K. Sealed with a loving kiss. No one's ever heard of that. I feel positively ancient. Do you remember that? You used to put it on the back of your envelope. Sealed with a loving kiss. Yeah. Anyway. We'll just fold that in, put a nice little stamp on there. That would look great. Uh, 11 99 it's a superb price, and it's a price for the happy hour. Moving on down, you've got your matte silver, beautiful and smooth, and it's 250 GSM. You get 50 sheets of this. Great for going through your die cutting machines. Great for layering up as well. So if you want to start layering up your images, uh, maybe you've got some watercolour card. You just want to have that as a frame, just running around the outside, for example. That'd look really nice. Nice as an edge. Absolutely perfect. And it's matte silver as well, so it's not too shiny. Not like mirrored card, for example, or mirror card. Is it mirrored or mirror? It's mirror, isn't it? Mirror card. Um, I was always told, if you're posh, you said mirror. Look, at, look in the mirror. Have a look in the mirror. Well, it's mirror, isn't it? It's with an R. Um, yeah, I know. Mirror, it's mirror. Or was it? Or did I say mirror? And then I got told off it should be mirror. Oh, I don't know. I get I get told off for a lot of things. I say a lot of things wrong. One of the biggest bugbears, actually, and I can't help it. And I've heard other people do it. I say anything. Oh no. Do you say that, Kirsty? Do you do you say that, Katie? Hannah, do you say it? No, not really. I didn't think Hannah would say it. Hannah's got, if only you could hear Hannah, she's got a lovely voice. Um, if only we could all speak like Hannah. But I do. I, do, I can't help, I don't know why I do it, and I know it's wrong, and I know, I, I know it's anything, because it's a thing, but really, the way I get around it, it's anything, because it's a thought, it's a think. So, you know, anything. Just, just see my, do you see my method with that? Kirsty sees my method with that. We've got the same thinking thought process going on. So apologies if I ever do say it. Anywho's, there's another one. 
so we've got that lovely matte silver 999 821 147 is your item number any more awards we're asking for awards by the way uh, Kiko has got an award for walking over 12 bridges in London Kiko the Husky Husky or Siberian Husky um, right let's move on because oh we've got rainbow mirror these are great these are already pre-cut in a6 size and you get 200 of these wow these are amazing uh, 280 GSM now these would look great if you've got any bunting to put up for example you've got a little bunting die or you could cut them out they would look great imagine those all hanging up maybe with um, a black lettering on because that would really bring out the background that lovely rainbow background I think that would look amazing or you could use them as I was using them earlier on today or earlier on in the show to do a bit of hypnotizing Look into my eyes, not around my eyes, but look into my eyes. It's an apple. It's an onion. It's an apple. I do, but quite. Uh, fly eyes. Bzzz. Just when you think it's gone. Bzzz. Oh, go sleep now. Bzzz. Okay. Are we back on on a far away? Because I don't I, I don't want to be a close up. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, right. Uh, so fantastic, and they look they look great from a distance, don't they? Oh, you could you could you could back a plane in. You could what do do that, don't they? A little bit over there, a little bit over there, back. I mean, who would stand in front of a jumbo jet? Come on, come on. You just, you just wouldn't. Maybe our Katie could get Roger in the stable with them, so to speak. Come on, back in, back in. That's it. Watch your, watch your hoof. Come on, watch that tail. Oh, I could tell you a funny story about a cow in a shed. <laughs> Roger is not a cow. Roger is a horse. That won at the weekend, actually. Katie and Roger won. What did you win? Show jumping. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so well done. Oh, and the winner is... Hey, it's Katie and Roger for jumping. Katie jumping with Roger. Perfect. So if you've got any awards, we're giving away awards. We've got the perfect envelopes to do so. Right, we're moving on because we've got more holographic card for you. Uh, the net... Oh, is it technically sold out? Wow, that was amazing. You've got to check out your baskets, though. I'm not going to tease you with those. I'm going to put that flat because I don't want to tease you. They were magnificent. But they've gone and they've sold out, I'm afraid. So we do have to remove them from the counter because this is a happy hour. When it's gone, it's gone. Uh, let's take a look at some more card that we've got for you. This is your paper and card. Some great colours in here, actually. You've got your brush gold, your oyster or your chocolate. There you go. They're great value for money. Nine ninety nine. Absolutely perfect. Spot on. Uh, oyster chocolate and no, sorry, oyster and chocolate and brush gold. There you go. Nine ninety nine. Perfect. Um, okay, right. We've got some red liner tape now, uh, which is great for construction and great for sticking down dyes or matting and layering. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Ninety meters in total, which is brilliant, and it's the width of six mil. Okay. Now, when you get these home, I'm just going to bend over a minute. I'm not going to do that when you get home. I'm not going to bend over. Don't worry. Um, they come in little bags like this, okay? So your red liner tape comes in a little bag. This is what we are suggesting to you. Because they're very strong, and by that, hang on, let's see if I can do it. Oh, stop. See that? Look. They're a bit sticky on the side. That's because you've got all those layers and layers and layers and layers and layers on there. So it's a, lo a lot of red liner tape. We do suggest that you keep it in the bag. So when you get it home, do your crafting that you need to do. And then take your bag, keep your bags, you can always craft with them afterwards, and just pop it back in the bag like that, and keep it in your craft room, just like that. So that when it sits next to the other one, or anything else, it's not going to stick to it. It's just the nature of the tape. So that's what we recommend, we keep it in the bag. So there you go. I knew there was something about the bags that I needed to tell you. 
but we wanted to take it out of the bag to show you but I knew there was something about the bags there we go recommend you keep it in the bag so it keeps nice and safe we also have the quickie glue pens on here as well you get three of these I'm gonna do should I do a little demo again with these I like doing this I've got some gold flakes as well now this goes on blue so you can see where it is and it dries clear okay so if you are sticking down any die cuts or anything like that it is going to be clear for you uh, so you take the lids off and there's a little um, cap on there that you do need to take off once that's gone then you can start uh, drawing you could sign your name for example so we'll do that we'll go down there and then it starts to flow so just pop it on the paper like that so I'll write my name and then maybe do a little love heart not because I love myself then I'll do a little star not because I'm a star and then should we do it with the glitter or the gold I'll tell you what I'm going to do it with gold flakes, but what I'm going to do is just going to draw that there. So that's going to go on blue, and it will dry clear. So I'm going to leave that there, and I'm, I'm going to go for the glitter. Bear with. But I've got a plan. So there's, there's the glitter. I'll probably put too much on again. And I'll just shimmy that across. I'm going to put that back in the pot. Let's go over there. There you go. Put that back in the pot. doesn't matter if I spill it a bit. There you go. So that's my name. Say my name, say my name. There you go. Uh, with a love heart and a star. But remember, I did the love heart on there as well. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of glitter on there. But don't worry about that. Um, and we've left that for a few seconds. So let me move that over there. Let's put the lid on that. And then let's get some gilding flakes that I've got already decanted for you. And let's put them on to the love heart there and just rub them around. Let's put some more on as well don't need a lot now I'll lift this up and show you have you seen that look at that look at that and then you just you brush that away and make it cleaner so you can glitter with it you can foil with it you can stick with it and you get three of those quickies in the packaging there you go there you go um, I think we've had a picture sent in this is Kiko. Oh, look at Kiko. Kiko's puppy. Oh, that's when Kiko was a puppy. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful dog. And Kiko uh, walked over 12 bridges in London for charity. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, and Kiko won an award with our lovely award style envelopes. If you've got an award for somebody, you'd like to give someone a shout out, it's studio at hochanda.com. Now, this goes really well with your chocolate envelope. So whilst you take a good look at that, I'm just going to nip down here and I'm going to get a chocolate envelope because if you are going for the chocolate envelopes, these will be absolutely perfect. You get 150 sheets in total. It's 120 GSM and it's ice gold. But if I pick up this, do you see how well those two go together? And then it, it and then it brings that envelope to life. Sometimes you'll see the envelope like that, which are available on its own. You think, well, what kind of card or paper will I put in there? You get this. That is absolutely perfect. In fact, you could even just lick and stick the envelope and have that as a background if you want to as well. Beautiful. You don't get the envelopes with this. You get the envelopes uh, separately. But that is your ice card, £9.99. Let's talk about the envelopes that go with the ice card. Uh, these are DL size. Um, they're beautiful, really elegant as well because you'll see there that lip that goes down. You can tuck those in so you don't have to lick and stick if you don't want to. £11.99. Some people, though, just use a damp sponge. They don't actually lick the envelope uh, use a damp sponge and then you don't have to you know lick it or anything like that 890405 is your item number 11 pounds and 99 pence that is a superb deal for your and the winner is style envelopes 152737 now we've got some pastel card and then some so you've got your watercolor card in here you're getting 10 sheets of that you're getting 10 sheets of the super smooth and then you're getting 50 of the pastels you get 10 of each color so you've got lovely baby blue pink uh, like a lilac color a mint color and a yellow um, these are absolutely fantastic you could even make your a5 cards from there and that actually would still go with those chocolate envelopes 
Yeah, that, now that is vintage, isn't it? That's vintage in a card. Do get those chocolate envelopes. They're beautiful. They go with more uh, colours than you actually realise. They go beautifully with the pink, beautifully with the yellow and the green. Uh, so do check out the chocolate envelopes. They were on the show earlier. Uh, but this is about your card. £9.99, 152737. Right, call out glue for your glass, for your leather, for your wood, for your cardboard, for your paper and your card. First of all, you've got your litre and then you've got your little vessel that you can take with you. Uh, so that is your 1000 mil, and you also get the 100 mil small glue and you get the applicator on the top. Right, so let's take the top off the smaller one. Let's show you that we can twist and open this up or twist and close it. So that's closed, we'll twist and that will just go back into the glue. Let's take it back the other way. Now it's not playing. There you go. Twist it back. Come on. I knew this would happen. Ah, there you go. Now it's gone back. So you see that's gone back into? Yeah. Now let's decant that into there. And then you could actually place that like that and start to squeeze it. No mess at all. You can see that's coming out for the purposes of television. Look at that. But then you can just simply plonk that on there. And you can watch, if we can come down there, if that's okay, if I'm doing it like this, I'm thinking, right, I need to know when that's going to be full. So the more you squeeze, the more goes in, and then you can start to see that filling up. And when it gets to there, it will go darker, of course. Um, big squeeze. If you want to take the lid off and do it that way, that would be, for me, that would be preferable, and I'll tell you for why. Because doing it like this, if you have a look at my wrist, remember I said that I've got a few issues with my with the wrist like that that hurts that hurts doing it like that for me so I would personally for me because I can take the lid off I would do it like that you can do it however you like that's how I would do it and then I'm only holding it but if you wanted to give it a twist and a squeeze you can do it that way as well. It's entirely up to you. It's your glue. You do what you like with it. £15.99, two double three two five three is your item number. It's been great to have your company. Your happy hour ends at the top of the hour, so you've still got six minutes or five minutes left to get items in your basket and check on out. Thank you so much for all your interaction. It's been great having your company. And now, after the break, we've got the lovely Alex coming up. Again, it's that Fab Four from Hull. They're saying it again. It's happy hour again at four with our lovely Alex. Then John Next Door magazine kit. And then crafted, uh, crafted with clarity even. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan Create. Wow and Rowan Dean is going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John Next Door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain. Who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend, seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all of your favourite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Hayley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. 
Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. that's just gone out on that little promo has had way too much sugar because it's like Ugh. anyway now this would have been the one day special final call but it smashed out the park it was um, such a good uh, fabulous um, set that we had but it's gone it's totally gone so instead You've got me for another happy hour. Uh, so if you are new to us here at Hachanda, hello, my name is Alex. And with your happy hour deals, do what they say on the tin. You've only got this hour to get them at this price. Now, we're starting off with our low-tack purple tape. You will get 10. It's just we've realised that we, we lent some to Kay earlier on and we think she might have accidentally packed it and taken it home, bless her. Um, so you are getting 10 of them. It's just we've just got nine in the studio. With your low-tack tape, obviously it's really good for holding down your dies just to make sure that they don't cross. Because um, otherwise, if your dies cross, and I'm sure most of us have done it, it is death of the die. <gasps> so you want to make sure it's all taped down really nicely. And you've got a lot here. I think... Um, uh, workshops and things are gradually starting to open up obviously at a safe distance our lovely Kay said actually she's got one um, next month I think um, yeah yeah so you might not need all of these but if you're running workshops then this will be good to distribute because obviously everybody's got to have their own thing haven't they at the moment so you know if you've got a workshop with 10 people in they can each have their roles um, <laughs> Meg's just said, oh, just put them around the house. So one in the lounge, one in the kitchen, <laughs> one in the bedroom, one in the downstairs. I'm just going through my house. One in the downstairs loo, one in the, uh, what did I say? I've already said the bedroom. Did I say the, uh, the kitchen? Uh, one in the garden. <laughs> 
front garden, back garden. There you go. <laughs> and I mustn't forget the craft room. There you go. Basically, me and Meg have been on an early and we, we, the hysteria is kicking in. That's so funny. <laughs> um, now, also good for... <laughs> Meg, have you had too much sugar? Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baker's been on the same early, but he's 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 not quite as hysterical here. Oh dear, the voices in my head. You can also tape down your stencils so that you can create that hinge, and then you can look at your artwork without you know. And it also frames it off so that you're not smudging it. Now you have got an eighteen pound saving. Uh, it is just eleven ninety nine only up until the end of the hour. So you will get ten. And there's 10 metres on each roll. 487285 is the item number. Busy for those. Then we have also got our extra wide tape. Um, fabulous for your f um, cutting fine dies. Instead of using wet glue and then it all smudges everywhere, these are fabulous. So obviously they're double sided adhesive and they are huge. Look at them. 20 meters on each one so you're going to get 40 meters in total uh yep intricate dies fantastic or just you know um also you can pop this down and you can get your gilding flakes on it and your glitters and burnish that in uh, should you wish so they're very very good um you could even you know what while they're on your desk you could start storing things in why not use it as a little holder there you go that's not a mad idea that works and then you can you know unravel it but it's like your little you can put your paint brushes in there <laughs> Meg is just chuckling away in my ear are you all right Meg <laughs> oh dear um, uh, anyway that's just a thought I'm being practical being practical 15 pounds are, are off so it's half price it's 14 pounds and 98 pence 061337 is the item number right uh, then we've got some very large mdf tags <laughs> meg do you need a minute to come do you want to call ross into the gallery <laughs> bless you these are lovely, aren't they? Because you can do your mixed media pieces on. But the point is, because they're so large, you know, you're going to be able to put a lot on there. Um, how many are we getting? Ten. And with your MDF, they will take your uh, blah, blah, different mediums, so you can put your rice papers on, your decoupage papers, gesso, acrylic paint. We've got some mousses on the show, not real ones, but it's type to craft with. I'm um, just trying to think. Oh, you can stamp and emboss onto them. But I think these will look really good. They've got the holes drilled into them. And then you can hang them as bunting if you wanted to. Jolly marvellous. There's 10 of those. £10 saving. It's 9 99 only up until the end of the hour. And your item number is 392494. Uh, then we've got our Christmas trees. Already busy for these. You're getting loads. How many are we getting of these? Ah, you're getting 30 of them. I might get some of the mousses on these as well. Might might take one. Um, so, yeah, you're getting lots and lots of your trees. I like the way that they've been cut, actually. I like the shape of them. They're pleasing. You can get... You can do... We were talking about tinsel this morning, weren't we? You could make, you know, use whatever... Oh, what about Angelina fibres for, for tinsel? Oh, Meg likes that idea. And you could use your pearl drops for little ball balls. Yeah. And again, you could make uh, Christmas tree bunting, should you wish. <clears throat> oh, oh, what was that? Oh, name places. Yes. That's uh, place names. Yeah, I always get that the wrong way round. I never know which way it is. Place names, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, for your Christmas dinner. Oh, yes, it was Kay, actually, that confirmed it this morning that it was place names. Um, but that's a nice idea, especially for your Christmas Day dinner. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, it could be a tag on a Christmas present. So if you've got, I don't know, yeah, you could personalise it. I like that idea because it's not, they're not very heavy. If you were to put this on a card, you know, they're lightweight enough. It's not going to tip the card over. So there you go. Busy for these. Getting all 30 for 9 99 a £10 saving. 
Do you think they're too big for earrings? <laughs> Chris, massive Christmas tree earrings. Yeah, they'll probably bring your ears down a bit. I was just thinking. They're not heavy at all. They're super, super light. I wonder. There you go. Earrings. Why not? I mean, they'd be pretty big, but that would work. Right, 999. Item number is 902389. Then we've got Christmas baubles, set of 30. Oh, I like the way these have been displayed. So all the tops are in rotation. Very good. These also you could personalise. Pop them on the tree. The nice thing with MDF is that you can change it. Even if you've painted it one colour, you could gesso over the top and then repaint it. A lot of people like to change their colour themes at Christmas. Yeah, so you could change those colours. Oh, by the way, because I normally ask this, if you fancy whatever you have been crafting today, we would love to see your pictures. Whether you have been card making, you've been doing um, stuff on MDF, You've been, what else, knitting, crocheting, um, painting, whatever you fancy. Send your artwork into studio at tachanda.com or via Facebook because it keeps us all company. It's very nice. Uh, yes, so your MDF, again, you could personalise it. You're getting 30. I, if you can stretch to it, I would go for both the ball balls and the Christmas trees for 9 99 Yep, 20, less than £20 for both sets. 9.99, 10 pounds off. 5.83015. Then I like these box frames. Oh, did we not have one made up earlier? Oh well. Oh, oh. Maybe, maybe Jack. While I'm doing other stuff, you might pop, pop one together. It's just nice to see. That's all. And they're really easy to pop together. But you can create a lovely scene in here. I was just thinking. You know, some of them. Um, John's scenery dies would look fabulous, wouldn't they? Lovely wintry scene um, that he brought on uh, those dies the last time that when you know when we we're doing Christmas in July, which I missed. I mean, I have to say because I, as you know, most of you know who are regular viewers, I am a Christmas nutter, and I it was my week off, so I was like, oh, didn't get to see anything. Anyway, you're getting two of these lovely boxes. Um, box frames, they're eight by eight, uh, very easy to put together and just whatever you fancy popping inside. So it could be an under the sea themed look because that's been very on trend recently. Um, you could make it magical, it could be themed, not just Christmas but Halloween of course. Of course I'm going to bring that up. Uh, 9.99 for the two, item number is 526455. Right, then you get a kilogram of assorted shapes. You've got loads of these. Loads and loads of these that we have. Uh, that shape. And then these shapes. You've got some ovals. If you use the uh, drill pieces that we've got on the show, you could put little holes in so you could hang these up as a little door sign. There's some tags, little ones and sort of medium-sized ones. Loads of rectangles. Mm -hmm. Those sort of could also be name. Place names, name places. Which one again? Name places, place names. I never know. Answers on a postcard, please. Uh, get diamonds. Um, this is a, like an ATC size. We've got a coaster size. Um, some... Has somebody glued this down? Oh, right, there you go. Somebody's glued that down. That's all right, well, you could totally do that. Oh, oh yeah, and we were talking about what is this shape? Penguin with its arms out, says Meg. Darth Vader's helmet, uh, other, um, other yeah, villains, villains available. Upside down, apparently, this is a tulip. Really? No, no, I can't really see a rose. No, what do I think it is? Um, uh, my favourite is probably Darth Vader's helmet. I, <laughs> that's my favourite, I think. I like that one. Some of them will ha already have some etched lines in them. So we've got more ball balls here. Uh, and then you've got these, the boxes, like, not the boxes, the squares. And I know I say this a lot, but you could, if you wanted to, put some foam pads all the way around. You could make a shaker frame. Like so, put, get some acetate on both sides, make a shaker frame. Yeah, like that. 
for all of your kilogram of um, MDF shapes, 9.99, a £10 saving. I wonder where the film strip's gone. I don't know. 9.99, £10 saving, 709468 is the item number. Something else for you to add to your baskets. Oh, we have an update on the Christmas trees. Oh, they're limited. They have gone limited stock. It's 9.99, £10 saving, 902389. And we've also got the acrylic paints to decorate them. These ones are your primary colours and the whites. So you've got your red, yellow and blue and two white. And of course you could mix the white with the colours and just tone them down a little bit. 9.99, £11.31 saving, 102379. Look at these. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, I just, my other half loves things like this. You do get two in each set. So this one is the owl, but have a little look. Look at that texture. That is wonderful. I love the colour. I love the fact you've got the corners here. Um, and the clasp is so oldy-worldy. Let's open this up. Let's look inside. Yes, I thought it might. It's got those pages. Um, you've kind of got, so you've got the heavens and then you've got sort of down on the earth. Uh, there's actually, I'm sure that somewhere on here, there's a bit, of, oh, sorry. I'm sure that somewhere on here, there's a little bit of sauciness. Look at his white bottom. <laughs> Cheeky, Meg says, boom, boom. Uh, but look, look, he was clearly wearing shorts and now he's... <laughs> Baker said, I am not zooming in to a naked man's bottom. Well, that bit's not rude. It's quarter past four in the afternoon. He says, I'm not doing that. What else is there? What else? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is cool. You've got some, like, people who are fighting. This, I really like looking at that. Oh, there's a chat. Um, who's the god in the chariot? Oh. Mm, they're thinking. Let us know. Who's the Zeus in the... Who, who's the Zeus? Who is the god in the chariot? I forget. Um, and I like the fact that the pages, they're not stark white at all, so it all tones in with the, um, like the look of, the, of it. There we are. And they've got different fronts. This one is the owl, and this one comes with the tree. All right, let's see the tree. Okay, so we don't have a sample of the tree. Oh, it's like the tree of life, isn't it? Or, yeah, I think that's, yeah. But it's really, really beautiful, this. I love them, absolutely love them. Next up, we've got the Howling Wolf. That's this one, the Howling Wolf. I just wanted to pick it up and see if the inside was slightly different. And then there's the heart. So those two come as a pair. Are they limited stock already? Right, I think they're fabulous, these. And then the other two. This one is the wolf feature and the serpent. Oh, nice. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, look. It's like the Chinese dragon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that beautiful clasp. All right, we do have one more option, just not here. Okay, the tree of knowledge and Pegasus. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> I'm allowed to take a look inside. Now, they are all genuine leather on the front and the back covers, and um, they are pretty much half price. Yes, it's different. Zoom in here. £19.98, £20 pounds saving. Item number is 42002. I was just trying to, I was just trying to be cheeky. Be cheeky! <laughs> right, now we have got some lusters. Now these are deco art so that you know that they are fabulous. Now they are on a pick and mix, so look at this one. This one is called Iced Espresso. This is unctuous. Uh, so if you're going on the website, you're picking any three. 
iced espresso. Mm, nice. Next one. Lavish green. Ooh. I don't know why I'm doing an ooh like that. Sounds like a ghost. Ooh. Next one. This one's really nice. Look how bright this is. That is gorgeous. This is radiant red and it certainly is radiant. Next. We've got our elegant emerald. Oh, that's good. That is good. And next we've got champagne ice. Whew, look at that. Nom, nom, nom. I love the consistency of them. They're great, aren't they? Cosmic blue. Mm. You can see we've all been sticking our fingers in it. <laughs> um, and this one is Fab Fuchsia. Lovely. Hang on. Next one. Uh, majestic purple. Nice, eh? Lovely. And down here, do, 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 brilliant turquoise. Look at that. Scrummy. And orange flicker. Oh, lovely. It's really pearlescent, isn't it? I think, um, I think they've got mica in them. And last one to pick is black shimmer. There you are. Now you can use these on ceramics, clay, resin, uh, picture frames, furniture you can use them on. Uh, metal they'll go on. Really good. Anything else? Obviously card. They're water and fade resistant. That's good. So whatever you're making, you know it's going to keep the colour, which is jolly marvellous. Any two, th no three, sorry. Any three then for £13.97, you are saving, oh, what were you saving? I forgot. £9, I'm thanking you. Uh, what, you. Which ones are you choosing, Meg? So purple fuchsia and something else. Emerald, well, speaking of emerald, seeing as the trees are not going to last very long, Perhaps I'll, I'll paint up a tree. Cool. Lovely. Now I just get to watch me play. Uh, bless her. I went to John and said, I don't suppose you've got any sponges, and he's given some them to me, which is lovely. So let's have a little to see the consistency of this. Let's see. Oh, now look at the coverage here. Look at that coverage straight on. That's why these, um, what do we call the metallic lusters, are such good quality don't need to gesso at all look at that Let's get a bit more here mm. this is lovely in the green how nice oh I couldn't I should have mm. now all right let's see if I can go back over it I wonder if I have to let it dry I might come back to the tree then because what I can do is maybe use the iced espresso Hang on, I'm trying not to put my fingers in it. On the bottom for the little uh, tree trunk. You know, we once had a Christmas tree, because we used to have, when I was younger, real Christmas trees uh, instead of, you know, your, your fake ones. And because we like to put our Christmas, de um, Christmas tree and decorations up really quite early, we had this poor Christmas tree and it did the old basically by the time Christmas was over it was dead and I just remember that we had to um, obviously take it out and the needles were there for like even that doesn't matter how much hoovering we were doing the pine needles were there for days days my mother was not happy she was not happy uh, now what else shall I paint oh Trees have now sold out. Lovely. Well, I'm going to paint something else then with our lusters. Um, a ball ball. Uh, one second. I'm just going to go get one. Let's have a little look here. Now, um, our lovely John was saying about try mixing the colours. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go those three. Let's do this one. So that's your champagne. Mm -hmm. 
Is this, is this, uh, that's it. just got to work that. Mm -hmm. So it's got a really nice shimmer to it. Lovely. And then, uh, a little bit here. Sorry, I'll get right into this, don't I? I, I know I say a lot, actually, I say that I'm so in awe of um, basically demonstrators of, like, being able to talk and demo because I find it difficult. Is that one. And let's have it with uh, iced espresso. Bit of that. Oh. Mm. Mm. Actually, let's do... Hang on. I think this one's a bit dried up a little bit. Um... This one's dried up a little bit, but yours will be all right. I think the lid's been off. Never mind. We'll get there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking. Yes, 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 yes. Talk, Alex, talk. Uh, it is water-based, non-toxic. This is now looking like a Christmas pudding. You could turn it into a Christmas pudding, actually. Yeah, why not? Now, you can buff them with a cloth. Ooh, to give it extra shine. Oh, I made a mess of that. Oh, no. I don't want that there. Oh, well. Now, you can also use it with water to thin it down, so you can play that way. There you go. I've got to come up a little bit more now, because of my splodge. I splodged it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you get the idea, don't you? Yes, let's have a little look at that one. Do, 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 do. There you go. It's a sort of Christmas pudding, sort of. Sort of. Oh, yeah, look at the sheen. Fabulous. And so you pick a mix there on the screen for you. Uh, £13.97. Uh, you're saving £9. Item number is 420712. Now, just to give me a breather, um, we're going to tell you a little bit about freedom. So here is Janice. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number, 888 So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family lovely jubbly um we are halfway through the show you've got just over half an hour to get all of these bargains at these happy hour prices before they go back up uh, so I was saying at the start of the hour, you will get 10 of these. It's just we lent one to Kay and we think she's accidentally taken it home. Um, but at least you've got some low-tack tape. And they're really good for holding your dies out. See, I've got inky now, look. See, for me, 
this is a bit traumatic like so I don't know how Leone does it I'm definitely way more of a clean crafter definitely I do not like getting inky at all no anywho uh, you can hold your dies down uh, you can also use them for holding the stencils I wonder why they decided on purple I wonder what that choice was mm, just curious just curious uh, you get 10 metres on each roll, 10 rolls you'll receive for 11 .99. It is a really good price, isn't it? £18 saving. I wouldn't let, you, uh, I wouldn't let that slip through your fingers. <laughs> Baker's saying, do you think we all had a big meeting? Hmm, what colour shall the low-tack tape be? We could make it rainbow. Yeah. What, low-tack blue tape just didn't have the same ring? <laughs> what people say, imagine if people Skyped in from other countries. What about pink? Mm, I'm not sure. Mm. Purple. <laughs> right, 11 18 pounds saving, uh, 487285. Then we've got our extra wide, uh, double-sided adhesive. I just think this is fabulous to have in your crafty stash. I mean, you've got a lot here, 20 metres on each. And I still think storing stuff in here is a good idea. But Meg, Meg, knew, Meg knew what I was going. But seriously, because I'm picturing my craft table at the moment. So what I've got on my craft table is literally my essentials like this. In fact, you know what I store my um, lovely items like scissors and brushes in is um, I was sent a gift made by a viewer. His name's Ian. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it's got, he likes to work with clay a lot. And um, he had a dragon mould, and it's just absolutely stunning. So I've got that on my table. But yeah, because um, well, how my um, craft, I should take photos really of my craft room. Um, but I've got a table, uh, a table, table uh, against the wall, and I've got a telly just there so I can craft and watch the TV. And then right in front, well, not right in front of the telly, because otherwise I wouldn't see it, just to the side of the telly, I've got all my little jars and things to keep stuff in. So there you go. <laughs> yes, now I need some of it. To be honest, I would get these. I really would, um, because they are fabulous. Uh, right, um, uh, you could upcycle the. You mean? Oh yes, yes. It's a good. Uh, no waste. So the tube inside, when you finish them, you could upcycle them. Then you could turn it into a jar. Yeah, you could. Or you know, a holder. Uh, £15 saving for the two, it's £14.98, 061337. Next up, we've got our extra large tags. Pop a bit of glitter on there, a bit of gilding flakes. I have to say, I really want to go back and watch Rewind. Um, I loved Kay's techniques this morning. Um, I really liked what she was doing with all of the paints and everything. So they'd be good to do on the tags, all your different techniques, and have a play. These are good practice things too. And you're getting 10 of them. So if something did go a little bit wrong, well, first off, you can paint over it anyway, because that's how good our um, MDF is. But yeah, you're getting 10 large tags. You could hang them as bunting. Or you could do what Hayley Smith does with her car keys because she's got a big MDF tag, but it is in the shape of a key. But still, because she says she loses her keys so often that she has an MDF shape as big as this to make sure that she can always see where they are. So if you're someone that loses stuff easily, speaking of that, oh, that's a good, now that is a good point, Baker. We'll, we'll have to ask her when she's next in. Does she take it off? this you know the big tag when she's actually driving I don't know it would sort of hit your leg a bit wouldn't it I would think uh, anyway that we digress we digress I was going to say something else but now it's gone 9.99 a 10 pound saving 3.92494 is the item number grey board right let's have a look at this <laughs> ah are these 12 by 12s Oh, th um, is that 12 by 12? 30 by 30 centimetres. It is? It is. Good. I mean, it looks it, doesn't it? Looks it. You could drill a hole in these and that you, they could be hung on the wall. But yes, you could use it in your scrapbooking. Uh, your scrapbooking, you could use them for all sorts, really. 
Um, they're just blank canvases for you to throw different mediums to. Hmm, could you box making? I don't know, it's quite thick. Oh, does it? All right, it says it in our notes. Because you could, I, I don't know, you could um, get your scalpel, your craft knife, not your scalpel. You could get your craft knife and sort of cut the <laughs> scalpel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Baker says, well, you might be a brain surgeon in your spare time. Indeed, you could. Indeed, you could. But obviously, <laughs> don't <laughs> make sure you've got two. <laughs> One for craft and one for surgery. <laughs> well, it's like we say about moulds, isn't it? One for food and one for clay. Same thing. $14.99, a 23 pound saving. How many are you getting? 25 sheets. Again, there's a lot to practice with. Uh, 313468 is your item number. Um, are we going for... Oh, what are we doing now? Okay. Yay! The drill bits, which I know so much about. Kay said she wanted to buy them, though. See, Kay and, and our lovely Catherine, of course, they are fantastic at DIY and getting their hands in there. I, however, would prefer to buy shoes because I'm, I'm just, yeah, that's me. 14 99 a £20 saving. 154706 is the item number. We also have a saw set. Uh, and you've got five pieces. It says it's universal. Kay was trying to show me how this works and I couldn't understand it. Eleven ninety nine, a £13 saving. OK, so you could turn one of your tags, Baker, saying, into a door hanger. OK, 103370. Um, oh, she did tell me that you, you, it drills really big holes, though. Then <clears throat> we have got uh, the Play-Doh. $9.99, uh, you've got a £10 saving, it's called a boredom buster kit, you've got cutters, the clay dough itself, paper card, home, work, home workbooks, lovely. Let's have a look at this live, so for the, oh we didn't, did we, right, okay, so for you viewers at home, in fact I'll tell you what, I'll go through what you get in the kit and then I'll ask you and I'd love you to email in, oh and hopefully we will show the pictures if that's alright, because everybody's taking time. Is that all right, Miss Meg? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so you have got your yellow clay dough. Come on, like so. It looks like that because we had a play this morning. Um, and it's also got little moulds in the top. So you've got some little birdie, little birdie mould. Uh, the blue. Mm, I can't get the lids off. There's your blue. That, this one's got a fish in the top. Lovely. Here's your green, lovely. Uh, this one's got another little birdie in the top. And then we've got the red. Come on, off you go. And this has got another little birdie. You get your roller. <laughs> and then if I move those to the side, you've got a little scoop, little knife and fork, obviously not for eating. Um, you've got your heart. You've got your little man, little tree. I think this is a ghost, but who thought? Or an octopus. Oh, yes, or a fish. Baker? Yep. Pineapple? Why not? Uh, we've got this one, which is a star. So, right. For everybody at home, could you tell us what is this? Oh, did they? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll still ask again, and then I'll and then I'll I'll um, reveal what this morning's viewers thought it was. There you go. So, what is this? This way, this way, this way. There. So, I'll leave this to you to email in and tell us what you reckon this is. Marvelous. You also get. Lots and lots of card stock. Some of it's kind of, it looks like it's got a, well, it does actually. It has a little bit of a texture to it. Can you see that? It's quite subtle. Um, yeah, lovely. You'll get some red card stock. Uh, and they're different weights. So these are papers for kids to play with. Uh, this one is thicker. This one doesn't have the texture. There's a little bit of blue bit of mirror card. Can we find Jack? 
There's the monitor. Can we see, Jack? No, can't do it. I'm never very good at that. Other presenters can always find the floor manager. Uh, that's nice with a bit of texture to it. Then we get an assorted sizes. Uh, so there's some shiny cards, some black, some hooders. Oh, oh, okay. Adam said what he thinks it is, uh, but I'm going to, uh, I'll, yeah, I will reveal. I'll see what you think it is at home. <laughs> I'll tell you what they're talking about in a minute. When we get some answers in, we'll see what you say. Um, there you go. There's some textured linen card. <laughs> it's funny. They're all trying to guess in my ear what it is. There we go. There's loads more. There's also some books with it. So you, you get in ever such a lot. Uh -oh. <laughs> Meg wants me to have a play. I better just, just show the books and then I'll um, have a play. Okay, so this is talking about colours. So it is great for the kids, teaching them to read. And look at this. So it's telling you what they are. Carrots, oranges, pumpkin, basketball. And then you can colour them orange. Cute. So it goes through. Um, oh, there's some nice little games in there, little puzzles. Lovely. Um, there are stickers. So uh, see the back. Uh, you've got look what look what I did yay and it's if when you complete a page where are the stickers because I know that they're in here hmm they they I think they will come the stickers because it says so here we are so you get the same sort of theme maybe the stickers are in this one it, again it's going through yet there you go and so then once you've completed it in the back yes so it's like a little reward chart with your stickers and then one more we have got uh, the shapes, teaches you all about the shapes. These are great little books for kids, aren't they? Mm. Ooh, treasures. I like the stickers. We've got little apples and, and they've all got smiley faces. They're all extremely smiley. Oh, look, I like the frog. I like the frog. My, marvellous. Right, so that's everything you get. Meg is desperate for me to have a play. I'm, I'm going to do that. Have we, have we had any, um, no, no, not pictures. Um, uh, has anybody said what they think the shape is? No, that's all right. Well, I can tell you what the voice is in my head. They reckon this is a, oh, have we? Somebody's emailed in. Who? Leslie. Thinks it's a sitting polar bear. Oh, I can see that now because, um, because, Oh, yeah, Meg can see it now. Yes, yes, it could be. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, presenter Adam thinks it's a bunch of bananas. And that's what most people this morning thought it was. Uh, because we're, we're reckoning, we're wondering, where's the pineapple? Got? Oh, if that's a pineapple, then have a bunch of bananas. So, yeah, all right, let's have a little play. If, if we think they're a bunch of bananas, if we think we're a bunch of bananas then we best do it in yellow thank you for emailing in there you go lovely oh no wait we have the rolling pin let's give this a go i feel like i'm five again lovely let's cut the, am i doing this right right yes <laughs> they're singing i have a banana in my ear Right, and then we can use the knife. Do you know who'd love to play with this? Adam. Adam would absolutely be in his element playing with this. Oops, I just flicked it. Come on then. I don't know why I'm talking to the clay dough. Come on. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's get that away. There you go. Right, oh, oh, stick into the mat. Sorry, Jack, you're going to have to <laughs> sort this out. Do, so do we think, hang on, I've got to be kept, hang on. Let's get the knife. Oh. The precision here. This is why I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> no, I'm joking. There we are. So what do we reckon? Is that a bunch of bananas? I can now see the sitting polar bear now, though. Mm, the boat. Oh, so this could be. Do you mean the bottom is the waves, and that's the, the um, that part is the sail, 
And there's the flag. It could be a whale. Uh, <laughs> Baker says he doesn't get the whale. Right, so it's on the water. The, and there's the spout. Right. <laughs> We've... Oh, moulds at the top of the Play-Doh. And that's okay. Play-Doh, 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 Play-Doh. What other brands of this are available? Um, oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Susan says it looks like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm loving this. If you turn it, which way? That way. A squirrel. I'm not sure which way. But cool. Well, all you. Mm. Did that look like a duck that way? Did that look like a duck that way? A duck, yeah. Or a bird. Maybe a bird. <laughs> Beck is going, where are you getting this stuff from? Where, how do you see the squirrel, Meg? Where? <laughs> yeah, the top bit. Oh, wait, no, I can now see it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there, there, Baker's going, no, and Meg's going, yeah. No, I can see it. Oh, Baker can now see it. <laughs> so that's, those are the ears. And there you go, got the front bit. Yeah, and the lumpy bit at the back is his tail. Right, so who was that from? Susan, <laughs> Dougie on reception, everybody's getting involved with this. Dougie on reception is saying bananas, indeed. Lovely. <laughs> the phone just rang in my ear then and I thought, oh, it's management, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, management, not to tell me off, but to tell me it is a bunch of bananas. <laughs> so funny. Right. Uh, do you, let's try to say that again. <laughs> that's hilarious right Meg just wanted to see although it's a little bit tricky to I have to say it's a little bit tricky to um, to sort of get out but let's push this in as best I can there you go he's a bit cracked but there's our fish bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> oh ooh, stuck my fingers yay emails thank you they were just sorting it out in the gallery right who's this from this is from Henning. Hello, thank you so much. Oh, look at the colours of that. That is absolutely beautiful. And I adore the background as well as the foreground. Thank you so much for sending in because we do really appreciate you keeping company. Um, this is this is from Robin. Oh, sorry, this is from John. Sorry, he's got a, he's got a Robin on it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that with the poinsettia. Gorgeous. It's not our John, is it? No, no, different John. Hello, John. Thank you. The, I love the composition of this. Uh, this one is from Hazel. Now, that's lovely because it's um, really nice and a, a clean card, and you pop in all your beautiful flowers. I like the musical note as well. In fact, is that a sparkle stitch card? Oh, it might be. It, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. I, you know, if you're a regular viewer, I love my sparkle stitch cards. I have done so many kits. I adore them. Yay, thank you for um, taking the time to send them in. Really, really appreciate it. Um, the metallic lusters. <clears throat> Let's go through the colours. Here we are. Here's our lovely blue. Sorry about the fingers that have been dipped in there. Here's our lovely blue. That one's called cosmic blue. Next then we have lavish green oh that's a nice one because it's got a, like a gold hue a really warm hue next we've got our emerald that's nice though so that one is called elegant emerald followed by radiant red nice and we've got these are on a pick mix by the way any three Majestic purple. Ah, oh, nice. Um, and this one is Fab Fuchsia. <laughs> and then we have got Iced Espresso. Lovely. Okay. And then the next one is uh, our Champagne. What's that one called? Champagne Ice. Lovely. And <clears throat> I've been that way, haven't I? Did something sell out or did I mishear that? 
Oh, the clay dough sold out. Do you know what? Do you know what it was? It was my fantastic demonstrations and the fact that you also want to know, what kind of shape can I see in this? Is it a squirrel? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? <laughs> Uh, right, next one, orange flicker like this. It looks really citrusy, doesn't it? Nice and warm, good pumpkin colour. My dad grows pumpkins, randomly. <laughs> Fact of the day, <laughs> Alex. He also grows, can I say, because he's, he's got his greenhouse and he's got his allotment. And he, start, he grows the usual stuff, like... You know, he'd, he's growing um, tomatoes and uh, cucumbers and whatnot. But he started trying to find now exotic things that I don't even know what they're called. Oh, Baker said he got his dad to do that. Oh, my dad's growing those. That rings about tomatillo tomatoes. Yes. Orange ox heart tomatoes. Oh, are they called ox heart because they're really, really deep red by any chance? We don't know. They're orange in colour. Heart shaped. Oh, sorry, yeah, it is a one way conversation. Sorry, everybody at home. I get lost in uh, silliness. Um, right, I have. Look at the emerald. Look at the emerald on this. There's some great coverage here. These did sell out, though, our, our fabulous. Um, oh, <laughs> this is still going on in my ear about, about what tomatoes his dad grows. Is he still growing them? Oh, it's still growing them. <laughs> Lovely. Right, for your lusters, you're choosing any three uh, for £13.97, a £9 saving, but only for the next 10 minutes. 420712 is the item number. Oh, right, the Christmas trees. We can get some back in stock. Oh, marvellous. They're going to be dispatched from the 21st of August. Lovely. 9 99 you get 30 of them. What's that work out per tree? Do we know? Not a lot, Meg says. She's like, I am not doing any maths. 33 pence. Th 33 pence. Hmm? Is, hmm? Is it 30 pence? Anyway, it's, it's, it's not. Right, less than what? Le are you sure? Less than. No, <laughs> Meg's getting confused. <laughs> She's saying, you're confusing me. Never mind. Anyway, it's not much. 33 pence, right, that's what they sell. Anyway, all you need to know is it's 9.99 for the 30. <laughs> right, we've got uh, the massive uh, pack here of uh, MDF, so you're getting tags, 20 discs, 20 traditional, 20 scalloped hearts, and 20, like, normal hearts, I think is what they're trying to say, something like that. Um, right, £14.96, a £15 saving, 046965. This has been one of our best sellers. Uh, I am not surprised because it's got £18 off. And you've got ten, nine minutes now, nine minutes to get it at this price. £18 saving. <clears throat> you are going to get ten of them. Not nine, but you'll get ten. One's gone walkabout. <laughs> uh, and they are your purple low tack tape just 11.99 you get 10 rolls with 10 meters on each so tell me my maths is right that's 100 meters thank goodness 487285 <laughs> Baker went 10 times 10 really Alex the thing is right the th it's that thing about once you if, if you don't use it you lose it and, <laughs> yeah, you're 10 times table. You've lost the 10 times table. I'm not saying, I don't know. I don't, don't make me do maths. Don't make me do maths. The trouble is, I actually did really well at maths for school, but I found out, because um, I thought everybody sort of learned in the same way as I did, but basically I discovered later on in life that I've got a photographic memory. Um, and so when I was learning all the formulas and things, it didn't really make that set much sense to me, but I could physically conjure up the formula. So I don't know, I think that's how I passed it. But now I'm not looking at algebra and stuff, then yeah, it's gone, it's all gone. Um, okay, oh, let me just go and get these. We've had a question. 
Ah, oh, Jane, I, aren't these gorgeous? Oh, okay, not a problem. So you were watching somebody rang the doorbell. How very dare they <laughs> and interrupted you. Um, now, should we start with the owls again? So they come in pairs. Was it Jane, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they come in pairs. I mean, they're beautiful, aren't they? So these are the ones with the owls on. Look at the texture. Our owls here. It's, yeah, it's really nice and raised. It's lovely. It's all gnarly. I really like that. Okay, right back, right back, right back. Oh, you can see the depth there. Extreme close up. And there's our owls. And now this one comes with the tree. We'll, we don't have it in the studio, so there it is, just so you can have a look. Okay? Now the howling wolf, that must be... Now there's two wolves, Meg. But is there just the head? Oh, okay. So this one comes along with the heart. Oh, okay, sorry, Jane. This one has sold out, this one. Okay. The other wolf. This one comes with the serpent. Oh no, this one's just sold out. Oh no, Jane, I'm so sorry if you wanted these ones. There is another design set. So the only ones we've got left are the, is the owl. Um, and then this one is your tree of knowledge with Pegasus. Um, so hopefully, I'm really hoping that you like the two that are left, the two pairs. But they're fabulous. £20 saving. Uh, it's £19.98. 422002 is your item number um right but they are beautiful absolutely stunning these and then we have got we are extra wide double-sided adhesive which i'm still maintaining you can store your stuff in as well oh yes my yes my binoculars <laughs> Has ja jack wow gosh you're right in front of me <laughs> Oh dear. Fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence a fifteen zero six one three three seven. We have had a mad hour, haven't we? We've gone from Janice doing crazy things. I saw her in the green room and she was using card to land a plane. She was doing that. She was also doing the Cheshire Cat, and now you've had madness from from me in the gallery as well. Never mind. We, order will now be restored because we've got John and Adam. Uh, for the next show. So you'll be fine now. You'll be fine. We'll see you after this break. Next, we have got John's magazine kit, which is brilliant. It comes with loads of goodies, followed by Crafting with Clarity One Day Special. Ah, oh, and Mama Makes Third Anniversary. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire. And what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our channel, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Nextdoor brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. 
I really hope you can join me on Hachanda and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Craft 2 shows on Hachanda. Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Yes, indeed. What's the time? Five o'clock on the cusp of evening. I know, nearly six o'clock. Uh, how the devil are you? I hope you're well on this Wednesday afternoon stroke evening. We've been through that, Adam. Gloss over it. Uh, and what a bundle <laughs> we bring to you. If you missed it the first time around, now I mean this, and when I say this, I mean it when you know me, when my heart must sleeve, I say it as it is. Um, once this is gone, this is all John has got left, and I'm not alone. Let's introduce him straight away. Why do birds suddenly appear every time he's near? I just want to stand close to him. It's our John Lockwood. Hello. It gets it, it every time you. I think you must sit there in the sit there in your little presenter's lounge, working out what you can use as the. I do it in the car on the way in in the morning. You decide what you're going to say for each person. It depends what songs on the radio. And this morning uh, it was it was, it was the, the carpenters, carpenters obviously. Yeah. Uh, and so I thought, well, I'll have that for John at five o'clock when I see it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> so, you. Yeah, all day I've been sitting on this. Uh, so what are we talking about? We are talking about John Next Door's Autumn Magazine Box Kit. Now, this is issue three. Now, when I launched this a couple of months back, it flew out the door. It really did, because what you are getting in the kit and to the money that you're paying now does not really go together. You are getting a full page, 68 page magazine. You are getting eight pieces uh, of the autumnal frame as well. So you're also getting um, embossing folders in there. You're getting sets of stamps in there. And not just any old stamps. These are stamps that have been themed that work with all the other kits that go together. So you're getting this autumnal embossing folders. You're also getting the stamps as well. Not just any old stamps. Beautiful stamps that you can do so much with. Then you get your die as well that's in there. This is your beautiful frame autumnal die with your acorns and your leaves. And then these next two items, your stencil and your sets of stamps are exclusive 
to her chanda. The only way of building your collection, if you want the stencil and the set of stamps, if you want both of them, the only way of getting it is going for the box kit that is currently on the screen, okay? Three quarters of the monthly mega deal has now already gone. And once it's gone, it's definitely gone. For the sheer fact, the exclusivity on these two alone, John can get no more. We've had this conversation before we go on air. We can get no more of these. So once this bit's gone, it's more or less the entire bundle's gone. We won't be able to do this bundle. You're getting your 7x7 seven seven embossing folder in there as well. And you're getting 32 uh, page pack with 20 designs. And so all these papers that you see here... They are coming in the kit as well. And these are not those glossy paper magazines. They're good quality papers, John. Oh, just one, sorry. Um, there is a typo on the box, which we've oh, discovered. Oh, that's what I was reading. It is from. a 5x5 five five embossing folder, not a 7x7. Seven seven. We were doing so well. Yes, we were. Sorry. And I thought I should read it, because I hadn't noticed. Someone said to me, it is a 5x5 five five falling leaf embossing folder. Oh. Not a 7x7. Seven seven. A 7x7 seven seven embossing folder is that big, and it's like 15 quid. Wow. Makes so, sense now, then. Yeah. But it's still a, still a decent <laughs> size that you're getting. So when you get this, and let's do a, a real unboxing, shall we? Let's go to John. Right. And so, so, John, <laughs> when this pops on our mat, yes. what are we actually getting on the inside that's well, worth 19.98? You get a really nice box with a really ugly photo. Never. So ignore that. I I've really wish they wouldn't put that. I've got it framed. I can't stop them. No, 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 I hate pictures of me. So you get the box to store everything. But inside, the very first thing you're going to get is you're going to get this, I think, 68-page magazine. But what it's got in it, it's got 129 different projects. Oh, my word. And hints and tips and things. But they did so few, they did so... Sorry, the design teams that did all these did so many cards and projects, they couldn't fit them all in. So there are bonus ones online. Gee. So there will actually be bonus projects online so we flick through you can see it shows you every card there's some details of the christmas range oh yes if you go to i can't remember which page it is there's a page in here that shows you the christmas range this one that's not even out yet oh so this isn't even out yet this won't come out until the end of the month oh, okay so you've got that but it goes through and this is what i love about these it goes through step by step. So it shows you, you use it hints and tips using the dies, using the matching dies. So it gives you basics that we miss. But then there's the card. If you want to make that card, there's how to do it. And I this like is what that. I think is so clever about the magazines that we miss. You flick through a magazine or you see a sample on TV and you think, I'd love to make that, but I can't. You want to make that, that's how to do it. You want to, you know, keep flicking through. You want to make that, then there's how to do it. Step by step for everything. But that's, that's great, and I, I love that. That's why I really like the idea. So that goes all... I mean, I could spend hours just flicking through. Yeah. So you've got your papers, but we'll get to those. But there's everything, all the step by steps telling you how to do them. I love them. Ooh. Competition to win an exclusive John Next Door workshop online. Oh. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are. Only 50 places, and the projects will not be repeated to anybody else but the 50 people who win. Oh, that's nice. And they'll be the only people who will get to see those projects. They're brand new projects that I'm doing that are not in the magazine, that are only for those people. <gasps> so that's, that's your magazine. But this is where we were talking earlier because, you know, you were asking about values. Yeah. So you get your embossing folder, which is your standard 5x5. Five Tumbling leaves embossing folder designed by me, but that would normally be a four ninety nine. Okay. So that's in there. An A six six stamp set. An A six John next door stamp set is nine ninety nine. So let's call it fifteen pounds yeah. so far by two p. You've got in there the hand drawn elements. You've got the stocks. You've got all the things. So everything you'd get in an A six stamp set. I like. Then you've got an exclusive John next door die that I drew, and I drew this just for the box kit. So there's seven dies in here, so let's be conservative and say that was seven ninety nine. Although it wouldn't surprise me if with fancy packaging it wouldn't be more. Twenty-three yep. pounds we're up to so far. Then you've got a thirty-two page, which is sixteen A4 sheets, oh, double sided paper pad. Oh, I found the floor here though, John, with the paper pad. It's gonna be that glossy paper, isn't it? It's, it's not, not being usable. No, this is not glossy magazine. This is glossy magazine paper. Look. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, it's got the shine. This oh, no shine. is matte finish paper that you can ink. So this is proper paper that you would get in a paper pad. So as I said, and again, all designed by me, I love that one. I mean, that's my colour. But I love this. I spent a long time layering all of this, but I matched it. That dot pattern there is the dots that are in the stamps. Oh, yeah. So the dot stamp you have there, that's it there. That's the font used there. So I've used everything. That is there. Is that leaf pattern. So it's all designed to match. But again, as we said, let's say a paper pad. Let's go for a little A6 of 24 sheets, which this is more than. That's 4 99 Then with the kit, you get the exclusive stencil. Okay. Which I designed only to be sold with this. Yeah, you can't get it anywhere so this else. This was designed by me, made in the UK. So this would be a 4 99 And then you've got the exclusive stamp set. Again, I designed this, I drew this for hand, we had it made only for this in the UK, so this would be a 5 99 stamp set. And that's my math doesn't work. £39 is what we're looking at. And that's what I love about the box kits, and that's why I do them. £39? Pounds. I couldn't do that. And I know these are the prices that these would go out at. I know this is the price that we would price these at individually. Oh and what God. they do is we work really hard with practical publishing to get them, and they do all of that. And to do it at that price, I genuinely don't know how they do it, because I know the cost price of a lot of things. So we're talking worth £35 of equipment and goodies, that you're £39 that you're getting in. So £39, and you're paying £19.98 today. £19.98 and pence, and you are getting everything that you see here. You are getting over 129 projects and designs that will go step by step, inch by inch. It will tell you what you need. It will tell you how to go about it. And also, from an insider's knowledge, I was lucky enough to get one of these sets the first time around. Okay. As you know, my crafting knowledge is building up, but my crafting stationery is still quite limited. I don't have a craft room, I have a three-year-old who takes everything. So what the craft stuff you do have, what was a nice paintbrush is now like a dover brush and it goes into anything, but I've hid these away so they don't know where they are. And I, I really have them in the bed, uh, but we hid them away and I just had, I had half an hour while I was waiting for the washing machine one day and I thought I'm going to have a go. And I got a felt it pen and I did a little bit of colouring on the stamps, I actually used the daisies that was in there and I masked things up and I was amazed at what I achieved. I was that impressed, I sent a photo to John and said, John look what I've done. And that's what it was, I was so impressed, I was blown away from the quality that you are getting. Because nine times out of ten, when you look at 19 pounds and 98 pence, the first thing that's going to jump into your head is, well, they're not going to be very good, are they? They're going to fall apart. They're going to take ages. They won't stamp right. You were going to have the right tools for the job up there. I didn't have a stamping platform. I used the top of a um, margarine lid. Because that's all I had in the fridge. Uh, but it was one sort of things. I was... I was grabbing anything I could grab to try and give it a go, and it all worked. £19 and £98. We are ridiculously busy again. 80% of the monthly mega deal has now gone. We are busy again. Um, 808737 is your item number. I've got loads of samples to show you, but we'll do that later. Don't not worry. Now, the next set of dies that you are looking at now, at the moment, we are the only place you can get them from. You go and do your own research out there but you won't be able to get them. We are the only place to have them back in stock. These are your press cut notched corner square die set, 20 dies for 24 pounds and 99 pence. Now, let me quickly show you the dies in person. That's what they look like, but that, the largest one is 19 centimeters by 19, but it's more of a wow when I show you this. Okay, this is what you now can create. Every single frame on here has been cut from a die on there. 
You have got mats and layers galore. Oh, I couldn't, nearly couldn't say it. Um, each one's going to match with the next one down, so you know you're going to get perfect every single time. And because you've got these notch corners, it's very, very on trend at the moment as well. Very, very high end is what we're now looking at. £24.99. 759543 is your item number. Loads of you have been waiting for them. Loads of you have been emailing John and asking when they're back. Today is the day. They are back and we are the only place for the time being you can actually get them from to make cards that look, that was a birthday in Australia, that look like this. How beautiful is that? And I suppose because it's got the notch bottom out of it, you can do the diamonds and they're still going to freestand. They do, yeah. That's the idea. You could actually make yourself a card, as you say, on the, on the wonk or sort of skew with that way. And because of the notch at the bottom, it's got two posters to stand. Don't but start these that to have been again about on the wonk and skew with. Well, oh. have I mi I've obviously missed something, sorry. Um, but again, you just, I love it, it's so classic. Ah. But the great thing is that they did, I mean, you know, the press cut came up with this notched um, dies a few years ago, but we, they just keep selling out. Um, I think it's nine months since we've last had them in stock. But the idea is every single notch, if you can see, is in proportion with the next one. I love it. And a lot of the time when you've got dies that go notched like that, I mean, you look at the die, it looks like a magic eye picture. It does. Because they've kept the scale on every one. Even the tiniest one has the scale exactly right. And that is really unusual for this because normally they go off in the middle. And they're so delicate. They're so do delicate, but they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, get them while you can. 15% has already gone here. £24.99. pence. Get them before the sellout, as I said, and I'll say it again. Um, nine months since we've last had these in stock. Nine months people have been waiting for them. £24.99. pence. Seven five nine five four three is your item number. Right then. Uh, your inks. Now, these were busy. Now... I, once again, I remember launching these. There's a theme going on here. <laughs> I remember launching these inks a few months back now, and we had the entire range, okay? But what John has cleverly done, remember, John designs everything. John is the mastermind behind everything you see here. So in John's little mind, he knows what's coming up. He knows what's coming up in the future. So before this box kit came out, he gave you the autumnal coloured inks. So the autumnal coloured inks are now going to go with your autumnal magazine. So all the flowers that you've got in there are now going to pop with the autumn colours. What I like about these as well is I don't have to be scared because once again I know they're not going anywhere because they're all on a little tiny magnet. So they're all going to clip straight into place. The ergonomically as well. So with the ergonomic design, you can stamp away with them on your stamps, and then the minute you put the lid back on, we're now talking airtight. Nothing's going to dry up, nothing's going to go away. If you're going for more than one, we're now talking stackable. How many inks have you currently got on your desk at the moment while you watch this show? Loads, I'm going for. Loads. And they're them small square ones. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking any of them. Each to their own and we all have our favourites. But to get the amount of colours that you have here, eight colours in one compact area that still packs a punch for £12.99. It works out to be £1.62 per ink. 978927 is your item number for a beautiful set of colours that will match beautifully. So that's your autumnal. We also have the pearls on the show as well. Now let me take the lid off just so you can get the colour on these. Look how beautiful they are. Once again, they're not going anywhere. Those magnets are all in look, I've got the shakes. They're all in there. But I just want to show you how sturdy and they are really not going anywhere. It is like a T. But once again, magnet system is there again. So you've got those magnets on, so you've got that reassuring click that they're not going to go anywhere. And they are absolutely beautiful. 
Use time and time again. £12.99, 029179 is your item number. Um, something that goes more or less with everything that we're talking at the moment is your seven day saver. And the price on this is phenomenal again, only available till Sunday. This time we're talking about £14.98. Uh, 832164 is your item number. Uh, we are talking embossing folders, and we're talking three for the price of two on these embossing folders. £14.98 is what you're looking at. Uh, and you've got some beautiful scenes in there as well. And let me just show you one of the scenes on card form, just so you can see it's slightly easier on there. Look at that. Obviously the deers aren't in there, but you get the beautiful trees that go around. So you, all you need to do is pop a sentiment in there. Beautiful snow globe cards as well. If you want to turn it into a little shaker snow globe. Beautiful little scenes. Would they also work with the dies that you bought a couple of weeks back with the circle ones with the they scenes fit, in? Yes, they fit all of the dies that I released for Christmas this year. They will fit some dies that are coming out at the end of this month, no. for the final Christmas sort of um, release. They fit all of the dies that I released last year for Christmas and all of the dies I released the year before. And they also fit all of the Christmas stamps that I've ever done. OK, so they all fit. So they've all been designed on my standard sizes um, so that they will all fit exactly with what you've already got or what's coming up. Because to me, there's nothing more annoying than finding, oh, I love this style and this drawing and things, but then go, oh, well, hang on a minute, that's too big. Everything's sized to match with these. I, lo I love shaker cards, but they, they never work on TV. Uh, very busy already, £14.98, 832164 is your item number. Check out the website to see everything that we've got on there as well. Uh, there's a whole plethora, love that word, a plethora of goodies. Uh, look at this. Now, hang on. Before we go anywhere, don't press on, Ross. Don't press on. Look at the reviews. Five star for the magazine on its own. For the magazine with the added extras. Five stars for the magazine on its own. Twelve ninety nine. Remember, you don't get that exclusive. Five stars for the inks that you've got on there as well. Those beautiful ink pads that you've got. Uh, kick one more. Let's see what the next project is. Five star as well. Five star reviews across the board. Uh, very busy for the dies. 20% of the dies now have already gone. £24.99. 759543 is your item number for the dies with five star reviews. And these reviews are from you. They're not from anybody else. They're from you watching at home who have used them and have tried them before. Right then, that's enough of yakety yak from me. <laughs> uh, let's go and see what we can do with this magazine because we are phenomenally busy uh, for it again uh, when we get it home. Cool. Right. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would try and sort of extend Adam's uh, training. Oh. And show you some different things using the, the, you know, using the things that are in the box kit. The great thing about a box kit is the fact that everything's matching. I so it means that you're not having to go, if you're anything like me, I store all my things. I have my dies in one, and embossing folders in another, stamps are in another folder. With my box kits, I keep them all together because I've got a project range. Oh, and yeah. I've also got a magazine that gives me at least 60, 70, 80 different projects to do. But I think this is always a great way to try. And when you're a beginner, this is a wonderful way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, we can mask and put stamps behind each other. Oh. So I'm going to create a little thing of butterflies and then we'll build a background using some of the others. So I'm going to decide. I want this sunflower, right? And decide which one's at the front. Yeah? And yeah. you do that first. Okay. We always think when you build something up, you go back to front. It's the other way around. So I'm just going to pick that up and I'm just going to stamp it. And I'm using standard Versafine in sepia brown. But use, you could use your craft artist. So we just stamp that. Yep, really easy. But I ah. want another one behind it. But you see all the detail already. Yeah. So if you've never stamped before, you could do this so easily. So if I stamp another flower, it's going to go over the top. So all I've done is I stamped the flower onto a post-it note or a sticky oh. note. Yeah, I'm sure lots of, and I don't even bother trying to match it up. Oh, you just stick it back. I on. cut it out of scissors, yeah, and I just roughly do it, and I stick that over, yeah. Yeah. And I put that next flower where I want it. Okay, pick it up, ink it. This is where the press trim press is just so brilliant at it. Okay. And I did it again. Mm -hmm. And you see how many times I've used these. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to go and let's just roughly cover. It doesn't have to be exact because they're flowers. 
so petals will intertwine, yeah? So you don't want to stick down a bit, so let's just give you a little bit of tape. Normally I use some tape or something, but I thought, with this, I didn't want people to have to think, oh, I've got to buy that. The idea is you get the kit and it's got everything, so you can do it. So I haven't moved my stamp, so let's move my stamp. Let's have another one there. Okay. So I've got another one behind it, yeah? So when I take that off, that, that flower is in front of that, and when I take that one off, that flower's in front of that. Look at this. this but is, that's this is really easy. But of course, if I leave those sat down, I can then take the block and take one of the leaf stamps and I can have leaves behind it. And this is, I think, where people struggle is, how do I get... I just need to take that bit of tape off. But how do I get a leaf behind a flower? Well, this is it. You just cover it. So that's covered, yeah? So we'll have a leaf there, and we'll have another one there. Yeah, we'll need, obviously, there'll be a few leaves, won't there, around there. OK, we take that off. Look I've got that. the flowers in front of the leaves. I could do that. Yes, you could. And I think that's, you know, anyone can. I'm using you as an example, but the thing is, everything's here that you need to do that. It is indeed. So... I want to colour that in. So I'm going to use the easiest way going. So I'm going to take the autumn inks. And this is the thing I love about the Craft Artist inks. These are pigment inks. So these blend beautifully. These will blend stunningly through your, your stencils they and do. we'll do that. But what these will also do is, you can heat emboss with them because they're slower drying. Mm -hmm. But a lot, of, a lot of pigment inks are oil based. Or a lot of them are glycerin based and very heavy in glycerin. There's always glycerin in them. And it means that the oil-based ones you can't pick up on a water brush. There's a big brand at the minute of pigment inks. You cannot colour with them because the oil won't mix with water. Oh. But we had these pigment inks made water-based. If you see that, I've just made paint. Ah. But it's not resisting. So I'm just going on with a water brush roughly. But for me to have a nice ink that picks up with a water brush and it's pigment based is really unusual for me because normally they're oily so I can just go over see what I'm doing no skill picking up some color and scribbling it on because the detail that you need has been done in the stamps for you so the actual detail that you want all the bits that make it look like you spent hours sketching and drawing are already there on the stamp that's what stamps are for it's to make our life easier this is so achievable. So that's, there we go. So I've done a little bit of like this gingery colour. So I'm going to pick up some of that and I'm going to put that just round there. Yeah? Yeah. Like a little nimbus. Picking it up, let's get a little bit more water flowing. So like a nimbus round there, like a nimbus round there. Yep. And then pull it out. 20% of the brush. autumn inks have now already gone. 20% of the autumn inks have now gone as I remember. It, they are the perfect match. They go hand in hand so uh, with this collection. What colour is the centre of a sunflower? Black, brown. Brown. So let's take some brown out. Took me a while, then. <laughs> and take some brown out. And this is really... But again, you see how soft and subtle that is. The colour and the shading is in the dots. So if I actually put a really heavy brown in, it probably doesn't show up as well on, co on camera. So I'm going to put a little bit of grey in. Okay. Yeah, just to sh so it shows up a little bit more. But if I put a heavy grey on, it's going to cover that. So all I want to do is darken it. Is that showing a little bit better? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we can see that. So it's making it more realistic. And then the leaves are even easier. Still with the autumn set. That's why I love these. Because right. everything's together, you're not having to get... Can you imagine taking the lids off eight inks yeah, that's the and thing. having eight inks laid out in front of you and then at the end of, the, end of when you've done this one, putting... Oh, life's too short. Well, it's true that, then, like, as I said, when I, did, when I had a go the other week, I literally, I watched John back on Rewind to see what, he, to see what he'd done and see what I had around my little garden box while my shed's being built. That's where we're all going to go. That's where we're being banished to, myself and Molly, when, we, when it's built. 
uh, to go and craft. Um, I looked what I got. I found a bit of masking tape that we had left over from um, a DIY project when I was painting the walls, which was low tack. So I found that. I got my inks out and I said I got some pens, some well known um, pens that Molly's got as well. And that's what I used. And the effects were still amazing. But then, once again, now. You haven't got to have all the glitz and glam, have nope. you? Don't, literally, you can go in with your sets of colours and, you, and your book, and you're good to go. Yeah, I'm using a water brush. You could use a paintbrush with water. It makes no difference. And I've just gone round a little bit. See with a little bit of the green? I'm just going to run a bit of water out onto my mat. Again, that's why I love the Presto Impress, because I don't need anything else. Have we got these in stock? They've come back in. Oh. They came back into stock last week. They had sold out again. Oh. Um, they came back in stock in the warehouse last week, so I think we have got some on the website. Check the website. And again, for our birthday show, which we've not really said a lot about or anything, we've not even announced it yet, so I can't say when or anything. But for that, we've got new things to go in here. Oh no, your birthday show dates are out. Are they? Yeah, they're the in the magazine. Two, the they're, in the magazine. they're in the magazine, you can download. Ah, no, I think you mean the birth. You're talking about the. Oh, your birthday. Her Chanda birthday. No, oh. I'm talking about the Crafts 2 birthday. Oh. No, I don't know them. Yeah. So, but all I've done is pulled up. <laughs> see, take a little bit of whatever random is on my mat, yeah? Now I've covered that with water. And there we go. But doesn't that look as if you're arty? And yeah. I'm not. But that's easy. That gives you, hopefully, a hand-painted image. But that is using two stamps from the set, the inks, and a, and a, and a post-it note. Just two stamps, and there's still you're getting 19 in the collection, so that's just only two. That we've not even touched on the other leaves that you get in there, the dots, the sentiments that you're getting in there as well. There is so much more that you can achieve. Um, the magazine and the autumn inks will work out to be 32 pounds and 97 pence today. They are your perfect match. They go together hand in hand. They really do. So for the autumn inks, which are at the bottom of your screen, and your magazine now, this is all you will need. If you're a brand new crafter, this is the perfect way to start. Because not only are you getting a bit of everything, maybe you haven't got a cut machine. Don't worry, I haven't got a cut machine. So my dies sit there, and I'll, well, I'm no doubt there's something else I could do with them. Um, I've, all I use is the stamps so far because I haven't got a machine to use with the embossing folder or the dies. Don't worry, you don't need it. You've got the sets of stamps in there, you've got the stencils in there, and you've also got the, these stamps as well. There is so much that you've got. It's absolutely phenomenal. We are ridiculously busy. 808737 is your item number for all of this. There is so much that you can achieve uh, if you want to achieve it, but all you simply need to do is be able to get this home. Get it home today. We are phenomenally busy. That was me trying to multitask and talk at the same time. Uh, we are phenomenally busy. 19 pounds and 98 pence. 808737 is your item number. Jump to the website. Everything's on there for you as well. Uh, then we're going to get back to demo. Uh, five star review after five star review is what you're looking at here. Remember you've got the metallics on there as well and we've got those dies. Ridiculously busy for those dies now. We are the only place you can get those dies from now. Already a third of the stock has already gone. £24.99 today. 7.59543 is your item number. Right then. What are we up to, John? So now we're going to use the exclusive stencil that comes in the set. Yeah. So I've got exactly... So what I used there was watercolour card. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't actually matter massively what card, but what gives it that little bit of an edge is the watercolour card because I've got that texture on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use this middle section and I'm going to use one of the brushes, which... Oh, sold out. Oh, have they? Yeah. Well, we knew they uh, would. Totally. <gasps> Can't get any more? No. I'm so glad I ordered the five sets that I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use the same colours and I'm just going to go through with the brush. We will get these back as soon as we possibly can. So I'm just going to go through with that and there's some colour on there, but I'm just really soft and subtle. Yeah? Pull some more of the yellow because I've got a little bit of red on this stencil because I don't clean my stencils. I love the look of when you get different Not shades bad. coming through. So I'm going on this randomly, nothing, nothing that anybody couldn't do. So although it's supposed to be a leaf, you could claim it as a feather or, you know, anything else There's you want to. There's something quite conch shell about it. 
Well, there is, and when, you, when you're layering it up like this, and all I'm doing is literally moving it and, and scrubbing through it, is colouring through it, just to build myself up a basic level of depth. And something very tropical. Actually, yeah. It's very palm there, there is. If you did it in, like, yeah. green... Yeah, I can't see anything paper. other than a feather there, though, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Auntie Christine said that, all I can see is a feather. So, I've got that. So, there's the, the probably the easiest and simplest background that you could do that matches in colour tone and oh, everything right. with that. But we'll take it a little bit further. So, I'm just going to take some more of the ink, and I'm using that yellowy colour. And I'm just going to sweep my brush around the edge. But now, because I don't have any colour coming from the stencil, I'm getting that more crisper yellow colour. Yeah. So you can see there, that's more, it's more yellowy, which works really well. But I just want to offset this. So, finish that. There we go. I'm then going to take this little leaf section here. Yeah. I'm going to tape it down. I'm also going to take a piece of tape. And because it's taping the stencil, you don't have to waste your expensive dye tape. You know, as you said, use a piece of, of um, masking tape. It okay. doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go for this green colour. So I'm going to bring in this green colour here. I really should change brushes, so I will. Or clean it, so I'll change them. Change it. That's why you. I got more. Because we've used a greeny colour on there. So all I'm going to do then is... Oh, so you bring the leaves involved. Bring the leaves in, but make it a little bit definite and a little bit defined. I mean, I could sit and I could go through and show you step by step how to do one of the cards we've got on the counter. But why should I? It, that's included. Yeah. There's no point in me sitting here and... Sh these are all additional things that are not in the kit. So these you're getting these extra. So there we've got those little green leaves. But when I bring that in again... Oh, it so works. Stands. And a great thing that I want to sort of show is what a difference it makes when we mat and layer. And this is the, the biggest thing I can say to people. So what I do, and I will be going over this a little bit more in shows in September. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> I measure that, and I add on an eighth of an inch. So I measure it in my guillotine or my trimmer and add on an eighth of an inch. So, and... When I was at school, we were taught everything in centimetres and millimetres, and metric. They pretended that inches didn't ever exist, or never had. Wow. And it's only when I started in the world of work, and doing fabric, not at that last shop, but the... Oh, the new one. Yeah. Um, and, um, and people said, right, I want three metres of that, three yards of that. I've got a window that's 45 by 95, 94, 90 drop. I had to learn all the inches, and since then, I've only ever worked in inches. Oh, really? When it comes to card making, yeah. So when I design the dies, I design everything in the stamps, all with my program set on inches, and then when it's all finished and I'm happy with it, then I convert it like to metric so that it can be sent off because they only have things in metric. Oh. But, so, same idea, so I've added an eighth of an inch on, but you can see here... Eighth of an inch in black, eighth of an inch in white. Then we put that on. See how that now yeah. stands out. And finally, we want a little sentiment. Yes. And of course, we've got that included in the set. Yeah, we have. So, we can choose a sentiment. I've not had to, and that, this is what I really wanted to sort of go through with people, is with a box kit, if it's designed in the right way, and it's, you know, it's a consistent from one particular designer, whether it be me or Phil or Kay or anyone, we will have gone through and designed every element so that everything works together, so that you don't have to go off buying other bits. Which is good. So that if you can just start... So I'm going to stamp the sentiment, and to keep the flower theme going, I'm going to take the smaller sunflower from the set on my block, I'm going to pull my card down, and I'm just going to repeat stamp that around the edge, just to fill it up. Yeah. yeah. Take the brush that I had with the yellow ink on it, just to give it the same sort of colour as we'd got 
in the original. You see how beautifully the inks blend. Look beautiful. how that's... And people say to me they can't blend. You can do that, because that's all I'm doing. You're rubbing it across. I'm rubbing it across. It's getting the right ink and the right tools. But this is the thing, with the inks that you're getting though, you can blend with them, but when you stamp with them, you still get that crisp image from the stamp. You're not smudging the ink everywhere. No, not at all. So there is, look, and it's, it's lighter on that. Really, really simple. So once again, onto a piece of black, cut an eighth of an inch bigger, and we're done. I mean, my favourite thing is, you know, to say is, they, they say a bad workman blames his tools. Crafters, we don't blame our tools, we blame ourselves. No. And we say it's us that can't do it. Well, sometimes we do need to think back and say, hang on a minute, no, we do need to have a look at our tools and say what they are. It isn't always us. Half the time it's because we're using the wrong thing. So I offset that. I'm oh, going to offset that, that there. But I'll, I'll put this one up. But there you can see really simple autumnal card made from scratch all i got was the layers cut just using what's in the box kit and the inks and tools you would have no need for a die or anything fancy but again anyone can do that it's just a bit of post-it and you can achieve that as well for 19 pounds and 98 pence you don't need all the fancy equipment if you're just starting out, or maybe you're, you're into your soft craft, you think, I'd like to give that card making a go, but I've not got none of the stuff. Well, get, this, is your, this is your chance today. You've just seen John use everything in there, and there's not a single machine been put through, not a single die machine was needed. It was all working off that one stamp set. But remember, you're getting two stamp sets in this deal. You've got that beautiful corner. They are exclusive. The stencil and the stamps are exclusive to Hachanda. You won't be finding these two anywhere else. You're getting a plethora of goodies in there. You're getting your 19 sentiments and images, which are these stamps just here. You're getting your embossing folder. You're getting 68 pages of pure genius in the magazine itself with 129 projects. And there was that many projects, they had to put the rest online. You get the dies in there as well, and then you get your paper pad. Your paper pad works hand in hand with the stamps and the stencils and the dies. And all of this for £19.98. 808737 is your item number. Something that has been phenomenally busy this hour. 40% of the stock has now already gone. Are your dies? Your dies are busy. This is the first time they've been back on air in nine months. You can't buy them anywhere else at the moment. You go and look, you might find them there, but they'll all stay out of stock. At the moment, we are the only place you can buy these dies from. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, studio at agenda.com, but what, on our good knowledge, we've been told this is the only place you can get them from so far. £24.99 for 20 dies. Twenty dies, and this is what they look like when they're cut out. So now, start thinking about your mats and layers. As John was saying, he cuts all his cards to pristine. It's that, lit it's that little bits of mats and layers that you need. Well, maybe you're thinking, well, I've, I've not got a paper trim, I've got a pair of scissors, and I can never cut it right. Don't worry. Use your dies. Yes, you can have the notched out corners, but that will add to the glitz and glam of what you're actually creating. And you're getting all 20 in there. £24.99, 759543 is your item number for your dies as well. Beautiful set of dies. Uh, right then, uh, we're moving on to the inks. The inks as well. Uh, well, there's a busy old hour this is. Um, now, autumnal colours. A third of the autumnal colours now have already gone. Maybe you missed out when we did the big launch of the complete set. So now maybe you have to start from basics and you have to start adding them individually. Well, you're not going to be disappointed. This is your autumn range. Your autumn range, you're getting eight colours in there. If I take the airtight seal off, eight beautiful colours in there as well that are all held in with a little tiny magnet on the bottom where you get that satisfying click into place every single time. 
so you know they're not going to go anywhere. They're super sturdy, so should they be knocked over, uh, you know it's all going to sit on your counter. Eight colours in a little box, you're good to go. And they're also stackable as well, so if you are going for more than one, you can also stack them. So now, all your colours will be stacked. How beautiful are we looking? £12.99, 978927 is your item number for your autumn eight colours. Then we've got your pearl colours uh, up next. A beautiful set of your pearls. Another eight colours that you're getting here as well. Let me take that off because that was giving you. Uh, you've got all the beautiful metallics in there as well. Uh, it just makes me want to stamp it like that. Oof as a little flower. Uh, absolutely stunning. £12.99 is what you're looking at for this as well. Uh, £12.99, 02919, what, what's that again? 029179 is your item number at £12.99. I was like a horse chucking then. They're coming in, they're coming in. Then you've got your seven day savers. Lack of tea. Uh, seven days, seven. Very busy for this as well now. You're getting three for the price of two. They're embossing folders and they all work with everything that John's done in the past. All the circle dies that we bought you earlier on in the year will work in here. All the scene builders that we bought you a couple of months ago will all work in here as well. The designs that you are getting, uh, it might be easy if I show you that, so you're getting all the beautiful designs and you can see how they will, you can cut them out as well, they're absolutely stunning what you're using them for. Very busy across the board. They've got John's name on them, so you know you're buying into quality and nothing goes on air with John's name on unless John is happy with it. 832-164 is your item number. Uh, something else that we've got is our daubers on the show. Always popular, backed by popular demand, the little daubers that we've got in here. Uh, you are getting three of the large, six of the small finger daubers, 944440. A lot of fours in that number. 944440 is your item number, £9.99. And then we've got your basic tool bundle as well in the kit. Oh, I don't think I've seen this before. I've not seen this before. Uh, you're getting your little pink mats. You're getting two of your pokey tools, always handy to have. Is this new, John? Um, no, we've done it for a while, but I don't think we get to sh show it very often. Oh, I've not seen these new pokey tools with the little pink ends. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think. This is the one I was using earlier. I don't know where I've put it. So you're getting two pokey tools. You're getting your bone folders in there as well. And you're getting your mat, which is phenomenal. Once again, for £9.99, uh, pop it in with your magazine. It's always handy to have. Um, it, just in case you haven't got a craft room. I haven't got a craft room. I use the dining room table or the conservatory floor, whatever's tidy. <laughs> um, and that's where I do it. And have a little mat. You know it's going to be flat. And then you've got your measurements on there as yeah, well. Yeah, and it's a self-healing mat. So it's oh, actually got good. all the measurements on there. But it Actually, if you cut on it, it will self-heal. But it's a really nice little... It it's like a starter set. It's one of those, I think, you know, if it, it's one of those tool bundles that you just need to have, really. Yeah. I All mean, that's, that's on. one of the bone folders. Oh, good. You don't normally get them that size. You certainly don't get that as part of a kit for that sort of price. No, not for nine ninety nine. No, it's crazy. So, I thought we're just going to do something with the embossing folders, but I wanted to show the notch as well. Oh, I, yes, please. I've got a thing about the notch. I love this. So, there's, um, there's a card I did down there. Um, and what I did was, normally, I, as everyone who watches me regularly knows, that's the one, the first one. This one? Yes. This one? Um, I have, um, at home, I have Sally the Sample Shed. Yes. Sally the Sample Shed Sally is a metal sample. shed, six by four, which is full of samples. So I've been in Sally the Sample Shed lots of times, and I've got samples of the notch squares, but they were right at the bottom. And so at 5 a.m. this morning, I thought, I'm not going in, Sally, it's raining. Because wow. I have to take things out to find it because it's that full. I've only had it like two months, but it's already full. Um, so I pulled some new samples. So they're actually samples that will be coming up on, a sh on shows in September. So there are products used on all three of those cards that nobody should be seeing yet. Are they the flowers by any chance? Possibly, yes. Is it the embossing folders in the back? Yes. Stop, Adam. <laughs> no, <laughs> I thought you weren't actually going to show that, Adam, genuinely. <laughs> So, quick, quick, rose, it, rose embossing folders, sun embossing folders, brand new flowers. Yeah. Yeah, I will get shot for that, but there we go. Nah, you oh, well. won't blame me. I just I'm thought it was easier. Trouble. Oh, I'll always blame you. If not, I'll blame Christine and, you know, yeah, get away with that nice. one. So, what I'm going to do is make a card blank out of the nesting die. Oh, okay. So I've chosen one which is approximately five inch square to match with the embossing folder. Yeah. But what I want to do is, I've seen earlier I was showing on the earlier show I did with the Christmas of how when you've got a shape card to put your tape down first and then turn it over. 
but when you've got a flat edge you don't need to what you do is I've got a piece of normal card folded in half 300 GSM card yeah I take my die and effectively I drag it down until it stops oh. and I'm propping that line against there can you see oh, yeah. it won't come any further and I tape it down there and that's the easiest way with any form of square nesting die or anything to make a card blank. But these dies going to cut through 600 Because when I turn pin. over, the cut line then is straight and even across the top. Oh, yeah. So, depends on your machine, depends on the pressure in your machine. So I'm going to make sure I put that at the side. Yeah, I probably need to shim this because my machine is... It gets, to the, it gets tired, bless him. Don't we all? Because it gets used an awful lot. <laughs> Um, it's the reason why when I'm testing new machines, I test them for six months. Oh. And I don't give an opinion for six months. <clears throat> until I've had the machine for six months. Because I want to see, well, if, if it's had six months of life with me, then it usually suggests that's about five years with most people at home. Because I'm crafting that is true. 12 to 16 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh. You know, with, with lockdown, if I'm not here, I'm crafting, crafting or I'm drawing. There are no other options, but you see there, so that's cut through right. 600 GSM, really simply. But what I've got then is something you can't buy, which is a beautiful, elegant, notched cornered card blank. No, you can't, that's nice. Yeah, and you can't buy that, and if you look carefully, you'll see, because it's die cut as well, it's chamfered on the edge. It's always hard to show on white, but you can see there's just a little press line at the bottom. There we go. Can you see right at the bottom? Can you oh, see? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's been expensively pressed, because it has, because it's a die. Oh. It's got that range. But what we're going to do is, thought we'll do something with that, with rather than cut another aperture in. Because, of course, you've got 20 of these, so you could make it in 20 different sizes. That is true. And again, because it's me, you know, and I've I worked with Prescott and I work with Crafts too, um, I make sure, or I always ask them, you know, we always make sure that they're as tight as they can be. I saw a, a, a set of nesting dies, someone else, 24 99 with eight in them. Oh. Now I say, no, make them as thin as we possibly can so that I can get that nice eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch that I like as a matte and layer. So I'm going to use my inks straight from the pad and use the pearl this time because they always show up better. Okay. Pearl are more highly pigmented. I and mean, don't forget, you're not, these are not designed, these are ink pads. Um, I was talking to a lady from the call centre earlier and she said, oh, I'm not sure, and she's pushing it down on, on, on paper. So that's, it's not a paint. Uh, it's it's ink. designed to ink a stamp. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to ink the folder on the flat side. And if you're not sure, think any belly button and weirdy outy belly button. And you want to ink on the inny belly button side. Oh, okay. So I think belly button. And you want to ink on the... That side. And that's genuinely how I remember, because I'm weird like that. I have a strange analogy like that for everything. Trust I me. I won't ask for any others. Trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm really weird. I make no pretense. I'm a crafter. No, I, I have to have a story to go with something as to why I do something. So I've gone from a goldy colour to the yellow to the green and I'm going to go to the dark green on the bottom, just like that. And now I'm going to slide the card blank in to the outy bit, yeah? Oh. Close my folder, take my machine and I'm going to use the embossing sandwich. Now, for me, the embossing sandwich for this one is my folder and card, a mat, and my thicker plate. But we know, everyone knows, hopefully, they are their, their thing. And again, if it doesn't work, you would just add another plate or add another shim in. So, we take that through. There we are. And this gives us, it's a classic letter press. But we've got a letterpress on the shaped card, which I just think is so sweet. So oh, then, that. but again, yes, I've used the notch dies, but you wouldn't have to. I've used nothing but just the folder that comes in the set. But that doesn't need anything else. That looks like you've heat embossed. Yeah, and of course I haven't. But I designed the folder so that the pieces, the inside bits of the leaf, yeah, 
would letter press as well. Normally with a leaf folder, all you would get is the outside pattern. You wouldn't get the veins. Oh, look at that. But I designed it with the veins so that they were raised as well. So to me, it looks like a 3D folder. And that's in the magazine? And that's the free one in the magazine, yeah. And then could you run another one through and get the excess off that ink pad as well? Yeah, like you can. One of the best ways to do it is to actually use a piece of watercolour card. Oh, okay. And this is something Sam does quite We've a lot. Got four so, minutes, though, John. Right, okay, so I've got to be very, very quick. That was just me asking questions. Yeah, so. but, you know, I like to show you. You, you, you want to know these things. So, here we go. Nope. No, I'm going to struggle. I can't find my watercolour card. Don't worry. We, we, well, I'm sure you've tried this at home. If you've never tried it before, I'll give tell it you what. Just try it on a piece of craft card. It's similar. Okay. Let's see how it works. So, again, take the excess... You're right. Take the excess ink off. So, just do exactly the same. I tend to do this three or four times. Oh, with the same... Yeah, I wouldn't clean a folder. I just run the folder through until it with different pieces of cards until it comes out clean. Number one, then it saves me time on cleaning because life's too short. True. And number two, it means I've got new other pieces of backgrounds ready for the next card Jeez. or the next project. So when we're coming this one, so that was intense on white stamping card, but there on um, craft card. Oh, so now you've got the board to look. Uh, busy across the board. So remember, if you are going for the inks, you're going to do like, and I've not even got through the piles <laughs> and piles and piles of samples that I have back here to show you. Should we have a look at some now before the end of the hour? Because um, they are so beautiful. Uh, you've got cards that look a little bit like this is what we're looking at. Was it on the floor? I'll do that there. Uh, then we've got cards that are like this. Remember, just using the stencils, these are. That's both of, both of those were Sam's. Oh, they are Sam's? Yeah. Oh, you don't put his name it's on the It's first time crafting with them. Uh, see? And our Sam can do it. And I can do it. You can do it as well. Then we're talking about heat embossing. Then we're talking about your brown cards and your craft cards. Then we start talking about the dies that are included as well, included with the kit. Fancy a coffee. Uh, then you've got your little uh, wraparounds with your coffee mugs on there. Then you've got your more your traditional happy birthday cards. Remember, these are using all the sentiments that are coming in with the kit as well. You've got cards and cards galore. There are so many that you can go through using the sunflowers and leaves, as we've showed you before. Different shape cards that you've now got. That one stands like that. So you've got cards looking like this, using your leaves that you've got in there and just heat embossing the leaves, using your flowers that we've got as well. There are so many more that I've not got to get through. And all these. When are you back, John? Um, 30th of August with the final oh. small release of Christmas. Is that with the new, is that with the new thing? Uh, there's lots of... Uh, no. Oh, when's that That didn't coming? arrive on time. But John's so September. Back. John's back birthday, which is not that long away. There's no place like her chanda. Uh, don't go anywhere. Thank you, John. Thank you. Pleasure. It's been brilliant. Again, I've learned so much more with my sunflowers. I need to go and make them home and make some masks. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here in the wonderful world of ours. Oh, I mean, her chanda. <laughs> Crafting with Clarity, one day special up next. Then Mama Makes, third anniversary, one not to be missed. And then more of a little bit of Clarity with our Paul and Janice. Oh, what an evening. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavouring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, Set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen.
Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. A very good evening. Yes, a brand new one day special launching right here and now on Hochanda. If you're new to Hochanda, hello, my name is Janice Phillips. It's great to have you company. And if you're new to the one day special, well, we've got a superb deal for 24 hours. So it could be an idea to start popping things into your basket and checking on out. You've got a £25 saving on this marvellous, beautiful, whimsical collection from Clarity. It's their fresh cut die sets and my word when we take you through some of the samples and what you can do and create with these It really is beautiful on top of that. You are also getting your designer card as well So this is great addition to you one day special and a great addition to that saving as well So you can start making and creating instantly when you get these home I do need to introduce you to the lovely Paul Church who joins us now live on Skype. Good evening, Paul Good evening, Janice. How are you? Oh, I like your shirt, Paul. 
Thank you. All the way from Hawaii. I thought Carol as much. and Dave. Yes, I thought as much with that big surfboard on there. Very nice. Very nice. Great to have your company as always, Paul. Can we talk about the fresh cut die sets that we've got here? Who designed them? Why? Uh, where can we use them? And just how beautiful they are? Okay, so the collection we've put together here um, has been on before. It was last on in 2019. Um, and the one that we're looking at here, the Make-A-Wish, this was actually illustrated by Barbara. Um, and when you look at it, it's just you, you can see at the bottom where it says Make-A-Wish, just at the bottom of the design. Yes, we can see it's that. It's hidden just there. In, the, in the meadow. Um, and you've got the two lovely bunnies um, sort of under the moonlit sky and, and everything else. They're absolutely gorgeous designs. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got three other designs created by our very good friend, Mel Turner. So we've got the, um, the first one that coming up is the hair in the glade. And again, you can see that hair just underneath the, the tree there. Um, absolutely gorgeous. That then is phenomenal. One, it, there's so much detail on our dyes. And when you're looking at those die cuts there, Janice, the idea of the, the aperture die is that no matter what size card you cut out of, it will always stay within the frame. Um, Barbara's always loved the effect of paper cutting, but as you know, that can take time, and if it, the designs are quite intricate, you can sort of chop bits off and everything else. So that's when the fresh cut dies were born, to give you that beautiful, quick and easy paper cut effect. Now, next one, one along. One. Yep, next one in the collection is, I, this is one of my favourite ones, this one. This is the hair in the meadow. Um, those beautiful big daisies, um, absolutely gorgeous. And when you look at how different they look in the black and the white, um, it's just, it really is as simple as that. You could just die cut it onto a, into a card blank and you've got your instant card, quick and easy. I mean, there it Absolutely is with the cool. background of that designer paper. And, of course, you can use the designer card that we've got included with the one-day special. And it makes it stand out. It makes it look so beautiful. And like you say, Paul, there is so much that you can do with these dies. But there are four in this particular deal. Let's head to the fourth one that we've got here with that wise old owl and the hare. Isn't this clever? I love the way that Mel has incorporated that lovely corn, the meadow into the hair that's there that's very clever isn't it it is it's sort of it, it, when you look at it, it's camouflaged within the foliage um, and sometimes you, you'll look at the design and you think where's the hair and then all of a sudden he sort of he pops out um, and then you've got that lovely owl at the top as well so really sort of I mean these are great for occasions throughout the year they really are and perfect for men's cards we always struggle to make cards for men so these can be quite masculine as well yeah they certainly can and just talking about paper pieces I just like to show this sample whilst you're on the line uh, Paul because this is absolutely gorgeous and just show off the designer card that you can use as well uh, and that's using uh, a couple of the elements from the Make-A-Wish which is beautiful and then opening that up to see that gorgeous pattern inside isn't that wonderful what a lovely idea and again that could be like it's you say gorgeous. Paul a masculine card yeah and th that's one of the great things I love about our fresh cut dies is that you have that versatility with them where you've got I call it the snippability so when you look at the design itself and then you can see I think Dee's done that one um, yes. and she's just taken away the outer frame and just showcase and highlight different areas of it and for me the petite toppers the card gives you that instant artwork straight away. Yeah, it certainly does. Let's have a look at those, actually. You get 40, is it 40? 48 sheets 48. included. And you get 12 designs as well. You get four of each. Now, if I hold one of these cards up, Paul, I just want to show everyone at home the way they can make their artwork and their cards look completely different. So here's your Make-A-Wish with those beautiful hairs just kissing underneath the moonlight. And we'll put the purple... Um, colored card underneath that you can see there so that's one effect which is beautiful and lovely uh, but that could be a nighttime 
seen. And then if we take another one, even though you've got the moon there, the moon still comes out at night time and maybe when the sun's setting, completely changes it. And that's just using the card as a background with those beautiful designs on there. And let's just bring that one in just to make it look different again. And that's how gorgeous these cards are the card toppers, but also use them to frame those images as well. £49.95, saving £25. That is a huge saving for you one day special, and it's available on Flexi as well. So for £24.98 today, you can get these fabulous Aperture dies home, and you can get the designer card as well. But don't delay. Start checking out your baskets to make sure you don't miss out. Make sure you check out 921885. Paul's still with us. And we're going to have a look at the groovy plates because this might be your favourite art. And these are the same designs, aren't they, Paul, but in the groovy plates? That's right. So again, with the groovy plates, you also have that versatility with them, being able to pick and choose the different elements. Um, and you've got this beautiful, what we call sort of like the double line art um, in areas. And so it's perfect for sort of adding colour into it, um, I mean, if you use the design of parchment and just trace it out exactly as it comes, it's the equivalent of sort of die cutting and putting the paper behind it. You get that beautiful the illustrations and the, and the artwork instantly. It really is. They're gorgeous. I think the images in here are absolutely divine. And when you're using Groovy, you can use part of that Groovy plate. This is a wonderful example of using all of them together right here. You've got Wish, you've got the lovely hair there with the foliage on it, the flowers, that looks stunning. What a beautiful card. That one is by Josie Davison. Isn't that lovely, Paul? It's gorgeous, and again, it shows that mixability of them, where you can take the designs, and they, and that's like, um, for me, that's like a sampler, isn't it? Because you've got the different sections um, of that, and then you just changing the colour with the design of parchment or the coloured parchment, it just gives it a completely different look. Now, with your different techniques with your groovy plates as well, this one really does bring that to the fore. I mean, this is gorgeous. Taking that hair, as you can see there, but then adding this extra detail through that groovy and parchment, that's very effective. That's really good. That's using um, our piercing grids that we have on the show. We've got the basic and the diagonal piercing grids on the show. Um, and all it is, is rather than pierce, within the shape of the, the hair, it's just been embossed. So it gives it that beautiful texture, but a completely different look. That is amazing. I love groovy plates for this very reason. And here's another gorgeous example that caught my eye with the birds on. And you've got the two thrushes at the bottom there. Of course, they could be blackbirds if you want them to be. They don't have to be thrush. You can change them into any style bird and any colours. And how colourful is that with the birds in the tree? That is lovely. That's right. Those, I mean, the two little birds at the bottom will be from one of our other plates. Um, so it just shows how you can mix and match if you've already got a collection of groovy plates, how that you can interweave them to come up with some beautiful designs. Yeah, you certainly can. This is an exceptional deal. You're saving £8, £23.96 for all four of those plates. My word, you're going to enjoy these when you get them home. Mixing and matching, using part of or all of that design for all kinds of different occasions. Absolutely stunning. 477514 is your item number. If you want to go for both of those together, by the way, uh, because you've got the opportunity to open up your Flexi Buy, then you'll be able to divide the cost into two months. It's interesting free payment and it's really easy to set up that's the beauty from buying from us here at Ho Chanda just give us a call on 01733 62000 or head to the website that would be the easiest way to check out your baskets now we did say that Paul is with us live on Skype and we've got some demonstrations coming up in the show so let's head over to Paul for the first demonstration what are we going to see Paul well, Janice, I thought what we do also on the show um, on Sunday evening I believe the seven day saver launched um, which is our beautiful 12 by 12 designer papers. So you've got Northern Lights, Indian Summer, Rainbow River and Shenandoah. And that's on a really good offer of four for the price of three. Just to give you some history with the 12 by 12 papers, um, because all of our designs are available in 8 by 8 paper, 8 by 8 parchment and the 5 by 7 petite toppers. And the reason we decided to take some of those designs and put them into the 12 by 12 was so that you can make a beautiful luxury insert inside your card. 
so really this was sort of like a, an offshoot of as a result of bringing out the fresh cut dies because a lot of people make cards to sell they go to gift fairs and stuff like that and it would be really beautiful that if you took these designs because they give you that instant artwork so for example if you was to cut one of those books you've got the same concept 48 sheets 12 designs four of each if you was to cut one of those sheets in half you'll get two inserts for a six by six double ended and i just was going to show you on the overhead camera how it can just change the look of your card when you're making them and how quick and easy it is let's have a look so okay so what i've done i've taken um a selection of the 12 by 12s and i've just cut them up and folded them so for example this one here is from the indian summer so when you open it up you can see you've got that beautiful insert on the inside so if i pop it inside the card you've got that beautiful luxurious insert so that when the recipient opens the card you've got that if you go into the card shop and you go buy a really expensive card they've always got that double insert haven't they janice yes they so, so you've got options so this is looking with the the more vibrant side but if i take the the other half of it where i've got the more vibrant side on the inside and then it changes the look of it completely so you can have hours and hours of fun of just chopping up your 12 by 12s and just having a play and see the different effect that you're going to get just by changing the designs i mean look at these i mean some of them are really really vibrant so again i'm still on the indian summer but look at that one changes How it completely doesn't it paul changes it completely doesn't it makes it into yet another piece of artwork that's right so i mean it's not just the dies and not just for card making this is make a beautiful picture for somebody as well so you could sort of cut this out put it in a picture frame and um, let's have a look at some of the other ones i've got i had real fun sort of just cutting all these out and just chopping them in half so you can do a beautiful insert with a six by six or a five by five so that when the recipient gets it, it's those little finishing touches that really make a difference. Yeah, it really does. Paul, I do need to tell everyone at home that 10% of the stock has gone already. 10% of the one day special with those fabulous fresh cut dies and the designer card as well. We are getting busy. Uh, we do have Paul Church with us on Skype and we've got demonstrations coming up. But I did need to tell you that we are very, very busy for the one day special. And also for your 12 by 12s as well. This is an absolute bargain available on flexi buy 24 pounds and 98 pence today and then another payment in a month's time but you will have all of these gorgeous papers together uh, right that was your one day special uh, price but if you want to go for the papers we'll bring the details up there you go 53.96 and that is also available on flexi buy as well so go for both of them together if you want to and you'll have endless endless fun putting these together in the different forms of art right paul let's have a look at what you've got next okay so i thought for the first demo i'd keep it really really simple and just to showcase how easy it is to create quick and easy cards so if you're batch card making say like you've got a wedding invite or a party or something like that and you want to make lots and lots of cards it's absolutely fine to actually do that with our designs so I thought what we'd do is we'd have a look at these two cards here. So this one here, what I've done is I've die cut the black card exactly how we were just looking and um, from a piece of the um, Northern Lights Petite Topper you get in the one day special. And I've actually popped it behind so you can see how you've got that beautiful look. And then with this one, the difference being is I've actually die cut the design of petite toppers. So you get a completely different look from it as well. So depending on where you position it on the petite toppers, you'll get a completely different look. So to start off with, we're going to go really, really simple, sort of like back to basics, because there's no skill required at all, really. So all I've done, I've got my um, cutting plate from my die cutting machine. And I, we had a really good tip from Dee Paramore. If you use, you know those pockets, uh, the poly pockets that you put in a file that has the punched holes down the side? Yep. This will help to protect your plates. 
And also it's great because I tend to use a lot of black cars and white cars. What can happen is in the cutting plate, the fibers can get embedded. So if I cut from black cars and then I put a white piece of card on, those fibers can transfer. So by using this pocket, it helps protect that. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of the petite topper and I've just, they're five by seven and I've just cut it into a five by five. Really nice and easy. Then I've got the beautiful Make-A-Wish die. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the card blank. So this is the six by six that we've also got on the show. And I'm gonna attach it onto the front of my card. So we're just gonna use some low tack tape to do that. Okay, again, those guys, they're working all um, leading die cutters. And you'll notice, Janice, that our dies have got this beautiful blue livery sort of coating on them. And what it is, it's got a special um, non-stick coating to it. So it means that the dies will fall out really easily. So next, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run this through my die cutting machine. So each machine will have a different sandwich combination, but it's really as quick and easy as putting your sandwich together. You've got your filling inside, and then we're just gonna run that through the machine. So again, with dies, I mean, I've used dies for many years, and I've used loads and loads of really detailed dies in the past. And one of my biggest bugbears was having to spend 10, 15 minutes picking out all the pieces that are still stuck in the die when I just want to get on and create. So all we're going to do now is carefully remove my low-tack tape. And again, I'm using black cards. You could use, we've got the craft cards on the show as well. So just gently ease that away. And then I'm going to be tidy because it's me that's got to clear up the mess afterwards. I'm going to bring in my little waste bin. And then we're just going to pop that onto there. And you'll see how easy, look, it just falls out of the die. That's perfect. So I've now got, and it cuts clean beautifully every single time. So if I bring a piece of paper in underneath, you'll see oh, there's wow. nothing caught up in any of it. That looks beautiful. Uh, it is. See, I love the elegance of the black and the white. So for me, just die cutting like that on black cardstock with the white behind it, it, it there's no thinking about it. And I, I know why they're so popular, because when you look at the beautiful artwork, it really is as simple as that. And as I'm looking now, at that, I'm going to do so I was just going to say, as I'm looking at that, Paul, I'm seeing different things already. I didn't notice the holly on the tree before. Now I'm seeing the holly on the tree. I didn't notice the toadstool in the background. I'm seeing the toadstools in the background and the foreground. And then all of those beautiful flowers that surround the Make-A-Wish. Wow. Yeah, absolutely cool. And again, the snippability of our designs means that if you didn't want the moon, if you wanted to turn that into a daytime scene, then you could just snip that moon out. It, there's no, it re I mean, I can do it now just to show you Perfect. how easy it is to do. So, I mean, it wasn't the plan, but just a nice sharp pair of scissors. And then we'll just remove that just from there. Okay, and we'll snip there as well. I'm going to come in from the around this side here. because It's just easy with my scissors. So now the moon has gone. I mean, you could keep that for another card, but it's now just changed the look of the design completely. Yeah, I changed it completely. So this could now be a daytime scene as opposed to a nighttime scene. And then really all I'm going to do, I've got choices. I could take a piece of our 12 by 12. So should we go 12 by 12, Janice, or should we go with the petite topper that comes in the one day special? Should we have a look at the uh, toppers? Okay. So what I've done, I've got my, you can see I've really gone through mine. You're going to get 48 as part of the one day special. And I just chose this one. I love this one because you've got that beautiful lightness behind it. And all I'm going to do now is just a double sided tape. I'm working on the inside of the card and I'm just going to go around. It's easy, I find it's easier to put it onto the card blank itself yeah. rather than on the piece of card that I've cut because if I don't get it lined up correctly, I could have some stickiness coming through. And then I'm just going to position that 
in place. So it looks really nice on the inside. Then I'm just going to take my carb light and just fold that in half. They're all pre-scored, but I can just take a nice, because it's gone through the, the machine, it just sort of opens it up. So now I've got my beautiful Make-A-Wish. But for me, it just needs that little finishing touch. So I thought what we would do is we've also got the sticker books on the show as well. So in here, this is Barbara's ones, and we've got a collection where you've got three different collections. You've got Leone's ones, you've got Barbara's, and you've got the Christmas and Celebrations. Um, and there's a good saving on that one as well. And when you go through these and you sort of to read the words, you know, so especially people that are tuning in into the Barbara's Shack Shack on Facebook Live Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock, as you go through and read these, you'll recognize, you'll hear Barbara's voice saying them. Um, we all need a safe place. And that's really, that's what the shack's all about, isn't it? Yeah, it all is. you need is love. Um, so we can go through and decide which ones we're going to go for. So let's have a look. Any preferences there for you, Janice? Uh, I Are you like, seeing anything you yes, like to look at? Yes, I, I like either it will be okay or life is good because the, the, the two hairs are together, aren't they? So they're saying that life is good and yep. that it's going to be okay. Life is good. There we go. So we're just going to peel that off there. See, it's nice having this interaction, isn't it? I, lo I love it, Paul. And then, and then all I've done, I've taken the piece. Remember that I cut um, the offshoot of that piece of card? Yeah. Then I'm just going to take a piece of that, just to pop it on there. And then I'll just bring my paper trimmer into play. Just move that to one side so I can... That's why I put it on straight. But you know what? You've got time to reposition the, these before they stick stick, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, there we go. So we're just going to trim that off down now like that. So we've got a nice little frame that sort of just ties in perfectly with our design. A little bit of tape on the back. There we go. And then make a wish, life is good. Perfect. So we've got that one there, and then we've got that one there, which is dreams come true. So you can see exactly the same, but the difference being on this one, I removed the moon, um, but it's the same paper behind the car behind it that's part of the one day special. Um, and then these sticker words, these are really key um, for me, especially for quick and easy cards. They look absolutely gorgeous, Paul. They really do. I love them. And the great thing is you can batch make as well very, very easily. Make a card and something for the wall and have it in the same design so you've got that matching card to the wall decoration. Now, a third off, it's a great deal. It really, really is. And it gets even better because we're going to divide the cost into two for you. Not only do you get those four beautiful, beautiful fresh cut dies, but you also get 48 card toppers as well. These are going to work perfectly together but also, you can use them separately. You don't have to use the card toppers with the dies or the dies with the card toppers. But it gives you that perfect combination if you want to. Lovely designs on here, gorgeous, whimsical designs. I love that one. With the birds in the tree, you've got the hair right there incorporated into the foliage as well. You've got the flowers, the daisies, with that beautiful bird just coming on down as the hair hides in the sunflowers or the large daisies. And then you've got that one. That is brilliant, isn't it? With the owl and again with the hair camouflaged into that foliage let's have a look at some of the samples that I've got here because these are beautiful now the aperture itself is square but take a look at this one it's on a circular card that is perfect and you can do that as well do you recognize the bird at the top that's just been snipped out from the die so you can do that it's a perfect way of doing so now you can add different backgrounds to your designs isn't this absolutely adorable and I think this would make a great lantern talking of lanterns I've got a perfect lantern just here so you can add a tea tree light to that if you want to and that will flicker away for a child's bedroom because of the whimsical nature of this, for a child's bedroom, that will be absolutely gorgeous. And you could actually tell a story. It could be the story of the hare and the hare's adventures. And maybe the hare is getting advice. There he's getting advice from the birds. He's also getting advice from the wise owl. 
there he is, the advice. Well, he took the advice of everybody and just went out and got himself a little friend. There you go. Now he's saying thank you to the birds because they're probably getting married now. Um, these are so sweet and so, so beautiful. Different uh, ways of uh, using these. This is a lovely way of having glitter in the background. And you can use this by cutting it out and using some of the self-adhesive papers that uh, Clarity have on the show. You'll be able to find those if you want to. Using the papers that are available in the seven day saver or the car toppers changes the background. I like the way that the dots have been added to that, don't you? And that really makes that fern stand out. Now nearly 20% of the stock has gone, 20% of the stock. Whether you're making these for um, ladies or whether you want a masculine style card they're going to be absolutely perfect to make and create as well here's another lovely example that might inspire you this one's by d paramore now this goes flat in the cards but when we take that out you can see you've got that fabulous box style card you've got the different scenes there making up that beautiful beautiful scene of the two hairs now because you've got the different plates coming together two payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence it's a third off the original price it's a great combination for you including those card toppers 48 car toppers included in that price 921885 divide the cost over two months however you will get everything at the same time which is a great way to buy from us here at Hochanda now if you are a groover then over 10% of the stock has gone of those groovy plates these are lovely if you are a groover you will know that with the groovy plates you can mix and match, you can use an element from your existing groovy plates and add them to some of the design factors within these plates. You can use your white work, you can use your ball tools on here and you can also bring some colour out as well. I mean you've got some lovely um, designs at the front but I've also got some to show you here as we just go across the designs the same as your one day special with those beautiful designs and again you've got the frames as well that you can circle whilst we're on that one there did you notice that the star comes down in the tree so it's almost like the tree has spaced out but it's also the star that's hanging down on the tree i think that's a beautiful beautiful card just here that i have in my hand this one is by linda how gorgeous is that using the designer papers in the background and then using some pergamano colors on the front and some of the white work that is absolutely stunning if you do like using color here's another beautiful sample to show you there this one is by glynis glynis whitehead absolutely beautiful and then you can see the different designs of watercolors down the bottom this is something that you could build and make and create one more sample to show you just to show you how you can use all the different plates together i think that would make a really nice calendar don't you absolutely stunning beautiful uh, so if you do want to go for your groovy plates only 23.96 for all four that is a great deal and you've got an eight pound saving on that four double seven five one four is your item number now we've been talking about the seven day savers and they're here so it's a four for three deal everyone and they are 12 by 12 papers you get 48 sheets or 150 gsm and you get 12 patterns they're double-sided as well and they're acid free so i'm going to take you through the different designs first of all very briefly on the front you can see the different color elements in there this is your indian summer now each page has the beautiful complex detailed pattern that Barbara has designed herself and then you've got that lovely ombre effect on the back so you can use either or you've got 192 sheets in total which is amazing you can cut these up you can use them in their entirety maybe just putting a frame around that and adding some uh, work onto there maybe some stamps that's a piece of artwork in itself it works out to be 28 pence per sheet that's incredible and those beautiful ombre let me show you that at the side how gorgeous is that effect it almost looks like it's out of focus doesn't it absolutely stunning so that's your Indian summer you're also getting the Shenandoah as well so let me show you this one uh, now in the Shenandoah if I go to this, let me, this. Now you tell me what you see in that. That looks like you're standing at the edge of a lake in a forest. There's the lake. 
there's the mountains over the way and here's all the trees that are surrounding you so when you get them home have a look have a look at the scenes that are there for you and again those beautiful ombre effects on the other side absolutely stunning that's your Sharendoa natural wonders as you can see there that looks like in the almost like actually turn it that way that yeah that could be a cave isn't that stunning and then that is all the heather at the bottom that's beautiful absolutely stunning can you see that there I'll get out of the way you don't want to see me um, that is absolutely stunning so that's part of your Shenandoah then we've got your northern lights first of all when you open this up look at that that is absolutely stunning they could be flowers they could be flowers beautiful paper let's have a look at what's on the back of that one there you go so you've got like the muted version and it's almost like it's an out of focus stunning that is uh, Barbara has created all of these herself with her different uh, techniques so they really are fantastic a lot of thought has gone into the making of these a lot of thought has gone into the process of making these and of course you'll be able to get that four for three deal so that's your northern lights and finally rainbow river I'm not sure which one is my favorite I like them all but I do like rainbow river because you've got those beautiful colors in there as well you don't need to choose though you're getting four for the price of three and you can divide the cost over two payments so it's easy to buy from us here at her chanda 508 728 is your item number 2698 today and another 2698 in a month's time right let's head back to demonstration with paul church he's live on skype paul what we're going to have a look at now Right, okay. I thought I'd just do a bit of explanation about the beautiful designer paper range that we bring to you. If I go on to the overhead just to explain. So when Barbara creates her beautiful designs, it's on a 5 by 7 um, piece of material. And that is the same size as the petite toppers that you're going to get as part of the one day special. And what we did was when they first came out, they came out as an 8 by 8 designer paper. So when you look at the design where it starts off and then it moves over into the 8x8 paper, you can see there's no detail lost at all from it. The, the clarity and the sharpness continues. So again, if I just bring that original size artwork in, you can see the difference. Now with the petite toppers, it's single-sided. Um, and then for the 8x8, you've got that beautiful, as you say, that soft tone on the reverse. So as you know, Janice, when you sort of you blow things up and you make it bigger and bigger, you think that you would lose the sort of like the, the focus and the clarity, but you really don't. Look at the 8x8 in the same design, and you can really sort of see how it's all maintained, and it's crisp and sharp, and again, you've got that beautiful soft tone. I, I mean, for me, this is sort of like a, an out of focus sort of look, as you said, but it's great for your matting and layering as well. Yeah, it certainly so they've is. They've all been designed so that they're going to work perfectly. And we say it started off life as an eight by eight when we first brought them out. And then people say, oh, we want bigger designs. We, we want to be able to sort of mat and layer larger cards or for scrapbooking. Um, and so that's why we, another reason why we brought out the 12 by 12s. Um, and you can see that they just work perfectly hand in hand. So I thought it was worthwhile just showing you the concept behind it and just because it started off as a small piece of original artwork and we've made it into a 12 by 12 it's not um, disjointed or it's not blurry that's exactly it's kept the sharpness and the crispness and the quality of the original design it certainly has and it's such great value for money if you're going for the 12 by 12 it's a four for three remember you're getting those designer card toppers in your one day special so treat yourself divide the cost over two months and treat yourself to some amazing artwork that I know and Paul knows and Barbara knows that you are going to absolutely enjoy not just working with but looking at because they are sensational right heading back to Paul for the demonstration Right, okay. So if we spoke previously a little bit in the first time just about the snippability of them, and I very simply just removed the moon. So I thought what we'd do is have a look at one of the designs that you're going to get in the collection and show the different stages of how you can break it up and change it so it looks completely different. So this is the card that we're going to be making. So you can see you've got the beautiful hair with the daisies, and then we've used those lovely sort of sticker words there. 
But when you look at the actual dye itself, that is where the dye starts off. If you were to simply just cut it out onto a black or white card, job done, instant. But what I've then done is I've removed part of the design and all of a sudden it starts to open up and you can see you've now got larger areas. So if you think, oh, I want to send a card to someone but it's a little bit too busy or they're, they're, maybe they don't like flowers, so you can keep the foliage, for example, um, and just take off the flower heads. Just imagine you're doing the gardening and you're deheading your roses or something. And then again, when you look at this one, I've now removed that completely and it's opened it up. So to put a beautiful insert, um, a stamped image in there of a beautiful verse, like the poetry stamps that we have, it opens it up and it really does change the look of it. So I thought what we would do, I would just show you how quick and easy it is with just a few tips on how you can do that. So rather than sort of die cut it out, what I've done, I've already cut one out already. And you can see here, again, it's just pure elegance. It really is. And then all you need is a sharp pair of scissors and you decide where you want to do the pruning. So I know from my sample I've made, I want to remove this area of foliage here, but I want to keep the little birdie in the sky. So a nice sharp pair of scissors, and then we start to do our pruning. So to start off with, what I'm gonna do is just remove the foliage from the body of the hair. So you can see it nice and easy. And then we're gonna take it, the leaf away from that flower head. Now, if I want to, I could remove the top flower as well, but I'm going to keep that one in place just to show you. And then we're going to go in and see, for me, this gives you the versatility of the design, Janice, because it allows it to be used in more ways than one. It certainly does. I mean, if you were to snip out just the flowers on their own, Paul, you could cut as many of those as you like, and you could make a really long meadow. You could have just the top of the flowers and have that as a mixed media project, for example. So you're quite right. There's so much more to these dyes than just that beautiful image that you're getting. All of that snippability, it is a fantastic idea. Okay, so we, we've just taken off, we've loosened off the area where it's attached to the part we want to keep. And then I'm going to bring my Pergamano ruler in that has my groovy grip on it. And for people that think, well, what's groovy grip? It has this special material that comes with the ruler. You get two A4 sheets. It's not sticky, but it clings. So it's on the back of my ruler. And what that means is that is when I apply the pressure to the ruler, I mean, it's not a lot of pressure, but when I put the pressure on, the ruler doesn't slide. So it means I can get a precision cut with my craft knife and I'm not going to be worried about it slipping and sort of moving out of the way. So literally all I'm doing, one finger there and it's not moving. Okay. And I put, look, if I really push, my fingers going white where I'm really putting the pressure on and it's not going anywhere. But if I take that material off the back of it and I put that on, look, same pressure, and it's going all over the place. So it really is magical, with the, especially with a, a see-through ruler as well, because you can see exactly where you're going. So all I'm going to do, it's got a lovely steel edge on it as well, and I'm just going to line that up against the base of my card, and then I'm going to take my craft knife, or scalpel, and then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to use that now as my guide to remove the parts that we don't want. Okay, nice and easy. So we're just going to go along. I've just put a new blade in there so it, it's extra, extra sharp. Be careful, okay. Paul. So I'm using black card. There was a reason for using black card, Janice. Oh, I don't like to think about that. <laughs> so then all we're going to do is just go up there and now this will fall out there we go and now i've opened up the aperture and these bits here i could use on another car i could sort of take remove that head off of there and i've got some beautiful foliage um, but again perfect as you say for mixed media for building up your layers um, for your scrapbooking for your journaling 
just taking these little elements and using them in enough way. So that won't get thrown, that can go in like a scrap box. And then all we need to do now is now decide what backgrounds we want to pop behind it from the one day special. So should we do that thing? If I flick and you shout stop. Okay. Stop! Oh, yes. Oh. I was a bit dramatic the with my stop purples. then, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> so I, I've got another ear. It's sort of a, I have to stop when in one ear and out the other. <laughs> So all I'm going to do now, because we've used a 5x5 five five car blank, I'm just going to trim this down. Um, so the 5x5 five five is the car blank. So I'm just going to probably go to uh, about four, uh, let's go for, and play it, say, four and three quarters, and just trim that down. And I can decide on the area that I want to, to use to highlight behind my design. See, and you've got 48 sheets in this, so you think you're going to make a minimum of 48 car blanks if you, once you've got your cards, and then, right, okay, another decision, Janice, so we're going to go this way. Oh, you're asking this me way. which way, you're asking me which way to go. Um, I'll go that way. That way, you'll go that way. Yes. Okay, we've got that beautiful, it's like a night sky, isn't it, with, a sort of, with that sort of wafting around. And then all we're going to do is just take our tape runner again. So just get that going, just on the inside. Now, so that my hair, and my not my hair on my head, but the hair in my picture, because there's not much on my head, um, what I'm going to do is just use a wet glue just to go on, so like a quickie glue pen or a zig glue pen, just to sort of spot glue just to hold it in place so that it doesn't move and it sort of protects the artwork. And then that is then going to pop just on the inside. So you've got the beautiful covering on the inside as well. So it's really nice So you're not going to sort of see, sometimes you'll get papers and it's horrible on the, on the reverse. And then we're just going to fold that over. Here's my bone folder just to give it a nice crease. And there we've got a beautiful design but again it just needs that little finishing touch again so let me grab the sticker books again so let's have a look i always tend to go with with barb's ones um so you've got leone's as well you've got the um celebration ones and christmas we need um, a paul churchism no, no, no. It'd be a few words. That's all it would be. It wouldn't even fill a book. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're going to go with Be Good. So we're going to pop that just there. Do Good. And Feel Good. So again, I can play around with my layout. So I don't like the way that's positioned. So I can lift it off before I stick it down completely. Just use my tweezers because I've got clunky fingers. And we'll go about there. And then that one. Come on, play nicely. There we go. And we'll pop that one just over there so it's got more of a, a balance. So you can see how quick and easy. Oops, press the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the difference. So the, the paper went on the button, I'll have to push it back further. So you can just see the difference between exactly the same design, but how the mood changes from the paper you put behind it. It certainly does. So another really quick and easy way. And again, you could spend the evening just sort of die-cutting a load of the um, designs out and then just having a play, just snip. And if you think, oh, I don't want to waste my cards, then just cut out onto copy paper and have a play on that. And then when you think, oh, I like this, does that one work? What do I need to cut here? So it's all about experimenting and don't look at the die exactly how it is. Have a look at what else the die can do for you, so to speak.
Definitely. Oh, thank you for that, Paul. It's such a wonderful way of working, isn't it? Being able to see things and snip them out and use them completely different as to how they were intended. I've just got a few cards behind one of the designs here, that beautiful design of the hair nested in the foliage and the owl at the top. This is putting some of the designer cards behind there that you're getting in your one day special. You can see how it changes the design completely. There's a nighttime look, which is beautiful, absolutely stunning you're getting that included changes it again that could be dusk or it could be dawn for example more brightly colored that could be daytime you can move that around as well to get that perfect finish time and time again absolutely stunning now with the four designs that you've got included in your deal and those cards it's a third off 49.95 you're saving 25 pounds but think about all the different designs that you can build and create with this snip out the hair on its own and use that and use it several times as well snip out the flowers create a whole full bloom meadow with those if you want to just have the owl in a tree maybe not have the um, hair underneath so you could use it separately there you've got two different designs all in one go if not more than two designs in each one and every time that you cut these out it'll look different depending on the card and the effects that you're using these beautiful cards will make lovely artwork as well on your wall isn't that pretty with those two colors and then that shadow effect that's very very clever here's the owl with the um, hair underneath i really like the dots on there that gold makes that stand out perfectly uh, just adding happy birthday that's the beauty of these dies it cuts out the whole complete card for you and then all you have to do is maybe add a sentiment or maybe add a little verse or story underneath that one is gorgeous isn't it now that's really interesting because it's cut out in black and then you've got that white shadow work underneath but when you open it up it's actually the hair sitting there on one of the papers from the um, 12 by 12s isn't that clever so close that up it's just a shadow very very clever then you open it up and there he is that is incredible and actually when you open that up that's a really good way you've got the hair looking back at the hair now there's another design if I just bring no I'm not going to bring white in that would be silly let me just pop that in there you can have one looking at the other. Oh, look, he's looking at his brother or his sister or his loved one. Oh, I'm going to cry now. That's beautiful. Uh, right, let's head back to Paul Church. We've got some more demonstrations coming up for you now. Remember, Paul is live on Skype. Right, OK. Um, I was going to do a groovy demo, but because of time, I know we're really short on time on this one. So let me just show you what I was going to do, because I will do this in the 8 o'clock show and it's really really beautiful so you know how we've just done with the dye how we took and broke down and cut up did the snippability yeah well you've got that same flexibility with the groovy plates as well so obviously groovy takes that a little bit longer so at eight o'clock come back and join me at eight o'clock me and janice and we'll get we'll have a groovy time then and i'll show you how you can really beautifully and simply create this and I'm also going to showcase the corner punches as well, um, because these are a fantastic way of attaching your parchment. So I thought, because what we'll do, I thought we'll do something really quick and easy. So this is a technique that Barbara came up called trap the scrap. Okay. And when, because Barbara wasn't um, a die cutting person, it was always stamps. I mean, Barbara invented the see-through stamp 27 years ago. Um, and so die cutting's never really been sort of a, it, it's just another sort of craft, I suppose, like sewing is for me and um, quilting. Um, but I've always enjoyed die cutting. Um, and I remember when we launched the first collection of the fresh cut dies and we was prepping some shows and stuff like that. And I was getting rid of all, all this waste, all this waste that you sort of, you get rid of in here. And Barbara's saying, what are you throwing all that away for? So I said, it's a waste. She went, but surely you can do something with it. And I went, no, it's just a waste. You just throw it away. You've always done it. You don't think about it. You're more interested in what the die is actually going to do for you. So I could see Barbara's brain sort of ticking over and ticking over. And anyway, so next day I went back to the studio and we was doing some more. And she went, I've had to think about that. So this is a technique that she came up with. And so many people are doing it now. 
and it's very, very addictive. So this one here is a canvas board, and I'm actually going to do the canvas tomorrow, but I just wanted to showcase the technique just to show how easy it is to do to get going. So what we're going to do, I've taken a piece of the, um, the beautiful um, topper, and I've already cut that down to a 5x5, five five. so it's a 5x7 that comes in the one day special. Then I've got my lovely die, and what I need to do is I just need to lightly spritz the dye with some water. I'm not going to soak it, but what it does is sort of, it acts as sort of like a, a, a resist. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm doing it this way because I've got the machine over there. I don't want to spray that. So we're just going to give it a light misting of water. Okay. And then what we're going to do is now position that exactly where we want it in the middle of our piece of card topper. I'm going to just wipe my hands because they're wet, don't really need those wet. And then I'm going to take a piece of low tack tape just to hold it in place whilst we run it through the die cutting machine. So let's pop it onto my plates. And then so we're going to bring that in there, pop that on, complete the sandwich. So again, depending on what machines you've got, they'll have different sandwich combinations. And then we're just going to run that through the machine. So while that's running through, so it's a really, really, and now it's obvious why do we throw away all the scrap? Um, and depends on the colours that you use. I mean, you can keep it simple and just go black and white, and it looks so dramatic. And what happens is it looks as if it's embedded within the actual finished piece. So what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully open up our sandwich. I'm going to carefully remove the low tack tape. Now this is where normally I just throw this into my waste bin and then get rid of it and go with the die cut. But what we need to do is flip it over, pop it onto the mat, carefully. Sometimes you'll get static. I'm using new plates, so I might get a little bit of static. Oh, that was lucky. Whew. Okay. And then what we want to do is very carefully remove the die cut, which is a bit that we would use normally. Okay, so just gently tease it out of the die. Am I going to be lucky on this or am I going to get, yes, there we go. So this piece here is what we would normally use. That is what we've been using in the past hour. And you've got, this is like a two for one. But this is the bit we're interested in. This is the scrap. So what I've done, I've taken a piece of our A4 double-sided adhesive sheets that we've got on the show, and I've just cut it so it's slightly bigger than the actual die itself. I'm going to peel off one side, then I'm going to use the two-finger trick, um, where you just hold it either side, and then I'm just going to go down and cover the waste. So I'm going to use an eraser pencil because what I want to do is just push in to pick up all that scrap of all the, the dye that's sitting in there. Now you've got okay. uh, just over a minute, Paul, left on the live <gasps> show, but okay, we will right. be back together okay, at 8 o'clock tonight. No pressure. So then Take your time. all I'm going to do is slowly peel this off. So do it, you do it slowly. See, I've missed a few little bits there, so I'm just going to go in and just push those through and then tease it off very gently. Go back and pick those bits up that I just missed. And then am I going to get there in time? 45 there seconds. So this, wow. This is a waste. Okay. And then what you do is you take the card that you've die cut. So the one we looked at was on a canvas board, but now what I'm going to do is infill over the top. Oh, am I gonna? There we go. Fantastic, and what that Paul. Does, if I hold it up to the camera, you'll see you've got that. It's embedded within the design. Fantastic, Paul. Look at that. Only a few seconds to go. Well done. We'll see you back at eight o'clock, but stay where you are.
Uh, right, coming up next, we have got the third anniversary of Mama Makes. Lottie's in the building with Adam. And then we're back with Paul at 8 o'clock. And then we've got some brand new stamps from Festival of Japan. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Her Chanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John Next Door, Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend, seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all of your favourite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday, there's no place like a chanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda.
was cute. We'll play that again later on. Uh, yes, good evening, one. Good evening, all. And how are you on this Wednesday evening? Uh, we're, I'm excited. I've, I think this is the second time I've done one of these shows. We've just been chatting about it in the break there. It's only the second time, and my word, do things fly off the shelves. Uh, some of the stuff I've got on the show is uh, already going. And some of the stuff, once it's gone, it has already gone. But we are talking 10% uh, of the complete collection has already gone already. What are we talking about? We are talking about Mama Makes, and we're talking about their third anniversary here on the wonderful world of Achanja. And no, I'm not on my own. We've got balloons and everything. <laughs> yes, we've spent the £10 beer money this week. Here we go. Put your hands together and be up. Sandy and Kelly. It's our lot. How are you, love? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How's you? I'm good. So yeah. Let's go back all right. to the third anniversary. Yeah. So where did all this begin? For those people that may have never seen you before or they, they don't know the brand itself. Yeah, so I started just making stamps, just designing stamps and bought a machine off someone who wasn't manufacturing stamps anymore. Decided to, you know, have a dabble. And then um, I jokingly said to a buyer here, well, if you need some slots fill in, let me know. And it kind of got out of control and it kind of just, yeah. And now it's, yeah, it's, it's this three years of crazy madness of stamping and papers and everything. Well, yeah. it's like a phenomenon because what you're getting is, you're, once again, you're getting pure quality time and time again. But it's something that anyone can use. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think stamping is a good a good way to get into crafting, um, especially if you've got a stamp platform, you can't go wrong. Um, but now we're doing papers, scrapbooking papers, and, and we've kind of grown and grown into this kind of arts and crafts brand, not just stamping, yeah. Which well, is beautiful. Right then, let's kick off to see what we're actually getting. Now remember, shop ahead online. I've got, so, I've got three happy hours for you. I've got two sets of stamps and some papers as a happy hour. Anything you buy this hour that is Mama Make related, I know, anything, you will be receiving said stamp, yes, anyone, a free gift with purchase, uh, you will be receiving this very stamp that's in my hand with any mama make a purchase. Uh, we'll see that stamp out later. That's what it looks like when it's stamped out. So this is what you're getting any purchase throughout the hour that is mama make related. But let's kick straight off with this large bundle. The large bundle you are getting is phenomenal. So let's break it all down for you. We'll start with the stamps at the bottom. With the stamps at the bottom, you're getting these beautiful wreaths, but not any old wreaths. These are craft wreaths. These are all the little odds and ends that you use maybe in your craft room. We've got things like your envelopes in there. We've got your washi tape and your stickers in there as well. Then we've got your sentiments. Uh, a crafty life is a happy life. It's always, it's always true. Uh, then you've got it's the little cartoony images that I like. So things for like your planners, these would be amazing for. Fronts of cards, or it's a simple stamp. Stamp it out, you are good to go. Things like these. Look at that. Just using the different oxides that you already have and the different paints that you've got as well, you have got ready-made cards for your mats and layers. But not only do you get the stamps in this collection, you also get the cards on the top. We're now talking ready-made toppers. Six by sixes is what you're getting. So you're getting a set pre-coloured, six pre-coloured, then you get six that you can colour in yourself which are absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know if you've noticed already, on the dies down there, on the stamps at the bottom, you've got that perfect circle around the edge. There's no jaggedy bits sticking out, which now means you can use your circle dies that you've already got at home to cut these out already. So, look, what else would we be using these for in our crafting journey? So the sentiments fit perfectly in the reeds. Um, this collection was illustrated by Hansi Rose. Um, so she did the garden collection that we launched uh, last month. Um, and these are great for your art journals. These are great for your card making. If you're sending cards to crafty friends, um, these are great for kind of any kind of crafts. I think, I think they're a kind of an all rounder. Um, and the sentiments are really cute. You've got little icons if you want to do backgrounds. And then you've got obviously the, the toppers there if you want just a really quick ready made card. And those toppers are on super smooth stamping card um, on our, uh, with our local printers. Um, so yeah, I make sure that it's top, top quality card. It's not your kind of cheap paper. It's a really 
250 GSM top quality super smooth stamping card. You are talking the top quality and the samples that you are looking at here are absolutely phenomenal. 20% now has already gone. Uh, you're getting 28 stamps is what you're getting here. How beautiful are all these just to stamp out and color. And remember, you're also going to get that gift with purchase as well. Uh, very busy for the first collection. 8850960 is your item number. £29.95. Uh, but then, if you want extras of the toppers, we've also got washi tape on the show as well. Now, the washi tape... Uh, you get another 12 toppers and you're getting the washi tape that's already there. If I hold it that way for you, uh, this is what the washi tape... I'm loving this washi tape. This is beautiful. So this is what it looks like obviously on the roll, but this is what it looks like when you've just unrolled it itself. How beautiful is that? Just to put down maybe on paper and just cut out those elements. Yeah, so the same artwork used, uh, this time coloured in. Uh, this is the widest washi tape we've ever done. It's four centimetres wide and it's a ten metre roll. That's a lot of old washi tape. Uh, you get the washi tape and you get another set of the cards as well. So coloured and uncoloured. So for all that for nine, uh, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight two nine nine two one is your item number. Now, the collection that launched last month and you it flew out the door already 10% of this has gone today as well we're now talking the garden collection is what we're talking about here uh, once again same designer who brings you the brand new bundle that we're talking about today uh, for 29 pounds and 96 pence you're saving 10 pounds on these as well once again they're the wreath collection but with the wreath there is so much more that you can achieve um, they are absolutely stunning so you've got the butterflies in there you've also got dragonflies as well with the single dragonflies in the middle remember the sentiments at the bottom of the cards fit in perfectly to the center of all the circles and then you can start mix and matching then you've got the bees and the honey and the honeycomb there i just want to show you this sample before we go further how beautiful is that look at that for a sample and you can see the reef that's already in the middle. Uh, then we can go to cards that look like this as well. £29.96. Uh, 395548 is your item number for your card set that you've got here. Brand new. Remember, these were launched last month, but you're absolutely loving them. And we've also got the brand new sets on the show as well. £29.96. 395548 is your item number. And remember as well, you'll also get your free gift with purchase. And once it's stamped out, it looks a little bit like this. Right then, moving on down the counter. Now, subscription. This is more or less, you could say, an exclusive to her chanda. There's nowhere out. Well, you can get this. Let's let our lot explain all this. Because it is exclusive to a chanda. Yeah. So, um, stamp subscription is a monthly uh, stamp collection that comes to your door every month. If you're a stamp subscriber on my website. If you subscribe on my website today, tonight, you'll go on the website and it says you're signing up for September's box. So you are too late for this box that's on the show today, the August box. So this is the only way you can get August box. So you've missed out being a subscriber, but you can get it on the show today. It's a one-off box. It is not a subscription. So it's a one-off box. If you want to see what's in the box himself, there's so many that you're getting beautiful stamps. You're getting 28 stamps in the box this time as well. Beautiful little sort of fill-in stamps that you've got here as well. will work with everything else that we've got on the show beautifully. Or you've got ready-made cards here. If you just go out and just start stamping these for backgrounds, for borders, for journaling, for your art journals, for your memory box that you're making as well, £14.99 is the only way of getting now the August subscription box 543834 is your item number and you will also get as well the free gift with purchase so you are getting a beautiful little deal there for 14 pounds and 99 pence 543834 is your item number now uh, the free with purchase we've had an email in uh, it is just one per household Okay, so it's one per customer. So if you order more than one thing, you're only going to get the one, as it were. Uh, now, the next item is phenomenally busy already. And we know why. A third of the stock here has already gone. Once this is gone, this is one of these now, and we've said this a lot today. Once this is gone, this has gone. So, what are you getting? 
First of all, look how it comes presented in a beautiful turquoise drawstring bag that you could then gift on if you wanted to. What does this mama makes mean? Oh, I made you cookies, mother. It's for you. I had it embroidered, especially. <laughs> uh, but you could gift that on if you wanted to. From there, you're also getting the mama makes cloth. Once again, fully branded at the bottom. What do you use the cloth for? These are the cloths to sort of wipe down your stamps to make sure everything's clean and pristine. And there, half the stock here now has already gone. And then you get the cleaning elements. This egg is beautiful. This is for your blending. To blend like this with this. It is so, so soft. It reminds me of the inside of a poodle's ear. Is the easiest way to describe it. Like, you know, like newborn baby hair. It's that's how soft it is. And then you also get your cleaner as well. So this is for your brushes, it's for your stamps, it's also for your stencils, I'm guessing, that mm -hmm. you can use it on there. Uh, you can use it for so much. Half the stock has already gone. 70% of the stock has already gone. This was going to be our first demonstration, but I don't think it may be now. 70 limited stock now. Oh, it's like a horse race. At 70% now, and now limited stock with green, I've seen, I'm down to single figures. I'm down to single figures is what I'm down to. Uh, less than five, I've got left. 13 pounds and 97 pence, 296580. It's now sold out. I told you to get in quick. I told you to get in quick. They are, it is absolutely, well done if you got it. It's absolutely beautiful. Next time we come back, that will have disappeared. Uh, now, uh, well done, you would have got your free gift with that as well. Uh, you will get your free gift with this one as well now. We're now talking beautiful decorative frames uh, that we've got here. Uh, but a dainty frame with so much detail in. It really is unreal. Look at that beautiful frame. Your sentiments will fit in there as well. Maybe if I pop that in, you can see what you're getting here. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. Look at that for a frame. It sort of looks bigger in the cards than it actually does in stamp form, which is weird. There's the stamp, there's your cards. Uh, stunning frame that you get here, and slightly moving it around, you get a different look. So I just thought then, oh, that's a totally different stamp, but it's not. It's just been twisted on this one to this one. Just ever so slightly, so you're gonna get a different look every single time. Remember, you could mask it off. So only do half if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But for £9.99, pence, a nice little frame you're looking at there. 70% uh, of the stock has already gone here as well. 80% of the stock has now already gone. 948009 is your item number. 80% of the stock now has already gone for this for £9.99. pence. We are extremely busy this evening across everything from the new collection to the collection that you saw last month you're absolutely loving again uh, to the subscription box now already sold out scum uh, we'll see if we can get some back but at the moment it's now technically sold out nine four eight i don't even know why i'm doing the numbers for it's sold out uh, right and i'll see if i can get some back bear with me on that one but i will see if i can get some back now we are now talking I want to say Galaxy Paper, but I think I've made that name up. Uh, we are now talking beautiful cosmic dreams. I knew it was something. Uh, beautiful papers. Beautiful, beautiful cardstock that you've already got here as well. Um, once again, this is your 8x8, eight and the detail in this cardstock is phenomenal. It really is. So, Lot, what would we be doing with this sort of card stock when we get it home? So, you know what? There's actually a frame in my house that's just paper and one stencil of a girl holding a balloon. And um, that's it, and with a sentiment about dreaming. And, you know, it, just that in a frame is beautiful. Um, really, really rich colours, which really shows you the quality of the paper. This is locally printed, so, you know, it's, it's really good quality. Um, I'm kind of hard on the guys with the quality, um, but yeah, 250 GSM, super smooth stamping card again, um, and yeah, the oh. sheen is beautiful, there's really rich colours in the darks, um, they're great for your journals, if you're covering a journal, it's really easy, just glue it on and it looks stunning, um, but yeah, a lot of layers there when designing, um, oh. but yes beautiful. They really, really are. So we're talking, remember, we will bring the details up for you for this as well. Um, we, we'll, 
We are also talking at uh, 250 G uh, 200 GSM is what we're talking about. So we're now talking construction weight. Yeah. Is what we're talking about as well. So you can start creating. Uh, producer was currently on the phone trying to get more stock of things. Uh, we are talking construction weight now as well. So um, but I love that one. That one is absolutely beautiful. You imagine that for a wedding. Very, very weird and um, beautiful. Uh, right then, busy for these as well. 331028 is your item number. I'm just hearing now, you can tell my producer's very busy because we didn't have the screen details on the screen. That's how busy we are this hour. Not to drop a minute or anything, but uh, we've managed to get some stock back of the stamp that we just sold out of. We managed to get some back. We're still trying to make calls about the brush. Um, but we're now on a nine day extended delivery, 28th of August is what we're looking at. Nine pounds and 99 pence, 948009 is your item number. Uh, this is what it creates. Beautiful. Right then, last but no means least, a happy hour. Uh, because we're happy. Uh, this is a happy hour deal is what we're looking at for these. Now once again, the same sort of concept, but now we're talking pastels. Mm -hmm. is what we're yeah. talking about now. So um, these ones obviously a little bit easier to stamp onto, the other ones maybe heat emboss to get that effect, um, but these ones, yeah, really lovely. I think they're really lovely for a, a very modern baby card. Um, I think they're just great for anything really, your art journals, um, covering your journals. Again, I've got a journal covered, if you've got an 8x8 eight eight journal, just stick one on there, done. Um, but yeah, uh, the they're pastel beautiful. soft tones here, but again, the super smooth stamping card. They are beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful cardstock. 200 GSM is what you're looking at, and it's like looking into the clouds. So you imagine now using this as a backdrop with your hot air balloon. If you were lucky enough to get the indigo blue stamp set this morning, uh, with your hot air balloon that's on there. Maybe you're going to do it as a, a baby card, and you use this as the background itself for the for your garden, and you do your little washing lines on there as well. There is so many things that you can do once you start getting it home. I've only got a small sample that I've been flicking through. There's also greens in there. There's baby blues in there as well. Let me move that, and I can show you. Uh, there's all these sorts of colours. 70% of the stock has already gone. Very, very busy across the board. Uh, we've got some more happy hours on the show as well. Let's have a little look at them. We've got Terrific Christmas. That's not easy to say at this time of the night. Uh, terrific Christmas and the details for this is 431. 205 is your item number. 22 stamps is what we're looking at here for £9.99. The price will go back up to £16.99 at the end of the hour. We've also got another happy hour on the show as well. This one sold out before I could even tell you about it. It's now back on extended delivery. Um, I should have really showed you at the top of the hour. I can only apologise. It was my fault because I glassed yapping. Uh, £9.99. pence. Well done if you got it straight in. Um, you're really shopping ahead on the website now for these happy hour deals. We're now talking your journal sentiments, clear stamps, 12 in this for £9.99. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Once again, we've got one more on the show. The Cosmic Dream paperback, it's now sold out. The pastels have now sold out. Um, back on extended delivery, I'm just hearing the live updates as they're coming in. We are phenomenally busy. 28th of August now, I've got it back on extended delivery for £9.99. 746314 is your item number. We are very, very busy uh, for that at the moment as well. So get it while you can before it goes again. Right then. Jump to the website, the best site. You can see everything on the website. You can see all the pictures that are on there as well. So you really get an in-depth look at everything that you are getting as well. Uh, stunning. Uh, that egg thing now sold out by the looks of it. I don't think we can't egg thing. I mean the blending brush. Um, that's what I called it before the hour. Uh, it's now sold out. I don't think we can get any more. Papers are really busy. We've got mica sprays on the mica mists uh, pick and mix as well. Choose any two and I think there's only four to choose from which is amazing um, for £19.98. And you've got your happy hour deals on the end. And then your free gift there worth £4.99. We're giving that absolutely free. Anything that you buy uh, with the Mama Makes name on, we'll get your free gift. Right then. Oh, I've got, I've, it's, we're very, very busy. Uh, we've had two sell three sellouts, I think, is what we've had so far. <laughs> Our producer, he can't keep up. I've got a cute angina and low potassium, the doctor told me, so I need to be careful. I'm on the edge. Right, and Lot, what are we demoing first? Are you okay, Adam? I'm all right. I'll get in there. 
I'll be following. OK. Um, we're going to do this card, and I must say a big thank you to Caroline, who did all of my prep, because I have not got time. And she would love to be in the studio, but she's currently furloughed. So she, not by me, by her company. Oh, okay. So she can't be in the studio at the minute because of everything going on. So she reasons. will be in the studio soon, I'm sure. But um, yes, she did all of my fantastic preps. All of these cards are Caroline's, so I'm just going just gonna to put them together. So fabulous. yeah, fabulous. So this first card, um, we've got, this is using the uh, new Hansi's Craft Room collection. So we'll have a go at that. So what I've done here is I've masked off a section so we can blend the middle. Um, you will have a lot more time than me and probably do it a little bit straighter, but I think we've got there. I think we're all good. So I've just got my brush and I'm sorry these are all gone, but all right. I will try my best to get some more, but it won't be this month, I don't think. Okay. So have a look in September, see if I come back with them. Um, so I've just got my Distress Oxides here. I'm just going to open these up. Um, and I've gone for a red, a blue, and a yellow. We're just going to go in circular motions with our brush, and we're going to rub over. And you'll see the soft blend you get first, and we're just going to build up this color. But it's so soft, and there's no harsh lines. If I wanted to leave it like that, that misty haze around there, that's not an ugly, harsh line. No, it's nice. So th this is why I really wanted a good brush. And I've been looking for a while, and I've been kind of getting these together for a while and I wanted it to be right when I bought it so there's we, our red we've got cues on the phone line at the moment and this brand new stock that we bought you now the details are on the screen with the toppers the six by six toppers and all your stamps 50 percent of the stock has now already gone so get them while you can uh, lots of people email in saying happy birthday lots ah thank you yes three years with Hachandos three years yeah it's flown by the buyer actually didn't believe me he was like no it's not I was like it is yeah it is three so yeah there you go <laughs> have we got any names of emails we've got Terry is it Margaret from Brighton she's Aww. emailed in uh, Jane's emailed in as well keep your emails coming studio to Chanda.com so I've just put the yellow in the middle here, and you can see that lovely blend coming through. You've got some oranges this side, you've got the greens this side, and it's really uh, a lovely kind of blend we've got going. And we're just going to build up that colour. So I think that's all good. I think we've covered everything there. So lovely thing about the, the brush as well, comes with a nice lid, so all that ink's not going to go in my bag, which is a nice one. So You don't need to rub it in for the people that didn't get it lots. Well, I know, but... For those that did. For those that did, hyped. though, it's good. Yeah, no, it's good. I'm just going to grab my stamp here. So this one, um, on the sample, um, Caroline, she used the washi tape one. But I've got the art journal one. So if you're looking at them individually, this is the one. I'm just going to lift this off here and put my platform down. You can obviously use your... Actually, I am going to use an acrylic block for this one, if I can find it. Just because I've got that mask on there, I don't want it to get kind of squashed. So, my acrylic block has got the gift with purchase on at the minute, because I was going to demo it. We were, this is what we were set up for. <laughs> I was going to demo it with the cleaning tool, but uh, like you say, I don't want to rub it in. <laughs> it's gone. So these uh, circles are 10 centimetres, so they fit on my big blocks nicely. And I've just got a VersaFine black here and I'm just going to ink this up. There's so much detail in these. I love the artwork, and I love the artwork so much. When it came through, if anyone's seen pictures of my office, this artwork is actually on the wall of the office. Um, so yeah, I loved it so much. I've uh, kind of taken it and put it on my wall. Um, so yeah, this is the art journal. Reef. The terrific Christmas stamp bundle now. The happy hour deal is now limited stock as well. So the terrific wow. Christmas is now limited stock. Uh, if you want it, the terrific Christmas, get it while you can. It is currently limited stock for Demedia's Dispatch. Uh, 431205 is your item number. So I'm just going to lift this off and you'll see the detail there. Obviously it doesn't matter about the copy of paper the other side. We're just focusing on the middle coloured bit there. I'm just going to ink it up again. And these are more or less more. stamps for anyone, aren't they? Because anyone can do... This is what I love about these techniques. Uh, John Lockwood was showing us these sort of techniques earlier. That anyone can achieve them. You haven't got to have massive of no. stash, of crafty stash, to do these sorts of cards. Exactly. Um, just an acrylic block. Um, and then... Your inks, just one ink I'm using here. 
like that. And then, um, yeah, just just an ink pad and an acrylic block is, is all you need aside from the stamps themselves, yeah. Amazing. Terrific Christmas now sold out. It's back on extended delivery, 28th of the month. Now, normally, my son helps me pack all the stock, but he's going to his grandma's, so I'm going to be on my own doing all oh, this stock. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> Never mind. Very, we're extremely busy at the moment. So, alongside the wreaths, you've got the little elements as well. So, to fill in these little gaps here, I'm just going to peel this off, and I'm going to use some of the elements. I'm not going to clean the stamp, because it's rubbing it in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is really. A little bit. So is that what, for two... those people that did get that tool, I know we're not really allowed to talk about it, is that what the other tool was for just to clean the stamps yeah, themselves? Yeah, so you would literally spritz on the water and these um, kind of uh, raised bits get in all the nooks and crannies of your stamps so that all that detail is going to get cleaned. So it's not just going to clean over the top like a, a baby wipe would or a cloth. And then it will be a little bit wet so you would just dab it dry with the, with the cloth and then... You're yeah, good to go. You're good to Fabulous. go. Fabulous. I've even managed to get stays on ink, which is a little bit tough, because it's an alcohol ink, a little bit tough on the old stamp, so I managed to get it off. That's good. So, yeah. Um, right then, so these little elements, I'm just going to stamp around here to fill in these gaps. And they've even got the little bits, like the writing in the middle and the little bit to hang up. It's just so detailed. It's the Hansi detail that gets me on job. these. I'm going to leave beautiful. it like that. I'm sure you get the picture there. And then I'm going to peel away this tape. And then, oh, I'm letting my... There we go. Look at that. And then we've got our border, which is super cute. I'm just going to wipe this off, so I'm not going to lean in it, knowing me. And then I'm just going to pick a sentiment. So I've got here, craftiness is happiness. Which it definitely is in this building, isn't it? It is indeed. <laughs> Everyone's always jolly. So I'm just going to ink this up. But once again, four colours is all we've used. Obviously, your black is your main focal, but then the three colours in the back... So if you've only got three inks at home and you've got a black versifier, you're good to go with these sorts of stamps. These are the sort of cards that you can be creating at home as well. Give it a good press. And then we would just mat that on a black. I'm not going to bore you with my nails trying to do it, do all the glue. <laughs> but yes, we'd mat that on the black. We'd mat that on our card. And there we've got two different ones. Like that, and Look I think they're super cute. at that. Absolutely beautiful is what we're looking at. The same style. Uh, but can you just shimmy them down so we can see the top yeah. one as well? There you go. There we go. Look at that. So it depends on the blend that you get there. Uh, you could really go to town with all those stamps and the inks that you cool. see there as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you do the circles, it's all going to move. Uh, so, we have an amazing... You start... No, calm this down. You start checking out your baskets because you're not going to miss anything for the next minute. Trust me. Okay? Uh, we're going to look at some amazing finished samples uh, that the team's done, the designs he's done for Mama Makes. Well, you check out your baskets and then when we come back, we'll all reconvene together and you won't have missed a single thing. Watch this. that remind you of there is a song that that reminds me of I think it's yeah I think it is Bruno Mars I'm yours it's not that song let me out if Bruno if you're watching let's just clarify it's not that song 
that's what it, it brought back their memories for me beautiful and beautiful feel. right then, here we go right have you checked out you're all good to go you're not going to miss anything but let me tell you for those people that are still teetering on the fence you be careful up there two-thirds of the stock of the brand new bundle has now already gone what are you getting in there so let's start down the bottom with the beautiful wreaths that you're getting already you are getting three stunning wreaths that are all different if i do it like that it'd be easier to see the wreath uh, so you're getting three that are all different with the added elements at the bottom as well so it's those finishing touches that we're looking at things like your your rulers that are in there uh, things like the little these tiny little elements like the pens that you get on the right on the bottom uh, there's a ruler in there there's a tiny little love heart as well uh, there's so many different little elements that you're getting not only are you getting the reeds so look you got the washi tape in there that's been torn off uh, from the ribbon so if you want to do wash tape they want to do a little bit so maybe you're going to use that little stamp that one just there to stick things on so it looks like you've got a little notice board and you've put a little bit of tape or they could even be used as little band-aids like plasters if you wanted them to be and then we've got your full arts and craft one with your journals and your jotters and your paints that are in there then we move to your sentiments in there as well craftiness is happiness yes there's there's one for you uh, then i love absolutely adore this at the bottom with your little tank brush and your, uh, your paint that's in there because that could also be glue if you wanted to be yeah you've got your pen pal letters so your letters and your pens you've got your jotters at the top as well all of this is what you're receiving and then to make it even more special you're also getting your cards on top your six by six toppers these are ready-made cards good to go they really are. You're getting six in colour and you're getting six in black and white that you can colour as well. Same designs. I'll flick through some of the designs so you can see what we're actually looking at here. Uh, at stunning artwork, top quality papers is what you're looking at as well. Uh, look at these ready-made cards that are all good to go. Beautiful. Uh, used to them. Sentiment in the middle. If you've never made a card before, you're just about to begin. Matte and layers on the front. And then you've got the ones in black and white. Leave them in black and white and maybe gift a set of pencils and say, look, I've gifted you the pencils. You colour it in to how you feel. A little bit of watercolours. Then you're also going to get, I've got so many stamps around here. Uh, you're also going to get your free gift with purchase as well. So your free gift will stamp out like this. Anything with the name of Mama Makes on, this is what you're going to be receiving as well. Absolutely free. It's worth £4.99. pence. You will be getting it for free inside your baskets today. 70% of the stock now has already gone. Start checking out your baskets if I was you. Uh, it's things like your fabrics, your little mop-ups. Maybe it's going to be a pencil case that you're going to start joking up as well. There's so many things that you can use these for. It is absolutely beautiful. Well, well busy, 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 busy. £29.95.885096 is your item number. Then, uh, third... A third of the stock now has already gone. This is a returning favourite. You loved it last month. We've bought it back again this month and you're loving it again. Uh, maybe you missed out the first time around. It's the same concept as the brand new set I'm bringing you, but this time you get four by four toppers in the kit and it's all garden themed. So it's all like the outdoors that we're looking at. You've got dragonflies in there. You've got your butterflies in there. You've got your honeybees in there as well. And then you've got a mixture of them all, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got your sentiments mixed in with them as well. Um, do what makes your soul shine. That could have been risky to say on TV at this time of night, to be honest. Uh, there's so many more in there as well. Create your own sunshine. Well, I do, most days. Turn the light on. So, uh, there's so many more things. But then you're also getting the toppers as well. So you're getting the toppers that run along the top. Uh, six of the coloured and six of the black and white as well. 395548 is your item number. Right then, up next, the subscription box that we were talking about before. Now, if you subscribe on the Mama Makes website, uh, you're out of time to get this box. You can then be put in for the September box. So this is the only way now of you getting the August box. It's exclusive to Hachanda, £14.99. 543834 is your item number. You are getting, once again, amazing sets of stamps in here and that free gift, remember, 
with your purchase. Um, it's a beautiful little set. Maybe you're just starting out, you don't really know what to do, but you just want some stamps. Just maybe stamping your jotters and your journals and your photo albums. You're going to have a crafty little day, and this is what you want to achieve. Beautiful for invitations as well for kids' parties. Uh, you're getting 28 stamps in there. 543834 is your item number. 14 pounds and 90 99 pence is what you're looking at. Uh, very busy for the next stamp. It's already sold out once. I think it may go again. It's back on the extended delivery till the 28th, and 40% of the extended stock now has already gone as well. What are we looking at? We are looking at a beautiful um, set of stamps. All garden theme. Now, it might be easier if I show you this one. Okay, it's exactly the same stamp, so there's no jiggery pokery going on. Uh, it's exactly the same, but it's beautiful. Because take the sentiment out the middle for a minute, which whichever way you turn it, this is always going to work. Half the card, maybe you only use half of it. Do it down the center, you've got a beautiful sort of gatefold card that's in there as well. All your sentiments will fit into the center, absolutely stunning little card. Take little elements out of it if you wish, and it's a nice size stamp is what you are looking at. Uh, from there, very busy on this as well. Uh, 948009 is your item number, nine pounds and 99 pence. Then we start moving on to the papers of what we're looking at now. Beautiful, beautiful papers. Uh, they are absolutely stunning. Uh, let's go 75%. Sorry, Kirsty, I, I know you keep displaying these and I keep moving them. 75% uh, of the Cosmic Darks have now already gone. Uh, let me show you some of them that you're actually getting in here. It is like the cosmic sky. So if you've got little cartoon rockets or you like to little draw on other bits of paper, you could make incredible scenes out of these papers already. Um, I'll try and get through all of them just so you can see the beautiful, beautiful colorways. Uh, especially with like the space rockets that have been going up recently, uh, little ones would love these in a bedroom. Just pop them in a frame, little send, look at that, it looks like water. Or it looks like a forest little forest of trees and you're looking into the galaxy, the Aurora Borealis or whatever it's called, uh, one of those. Um, it looks like that. And you can create that. You can be creating that with these papers when you get them home for £9.99. 331028 is your item number. 200 GSM for 24 sheets of the Cosmic Dark is what you're looking at in the 8x8 in size. Um, happy hours are what we're looking at next as well. Once again, this sold out. We've bought it back on extended. All three of the happy hours now have sold out and we've bought them back on extended delivery. Even though we've bought them back, the price will go back up at the end of the hour so get them while you can. This time, it's the same as the darks, but it's the pastel version. Okay, once again, stunning colours throughout, £9.99. 746314 is your item number, uh, dispatched from the 28th of August of this year. Two others that we've got are happy hours for the hour as well. We've got Terrific Christmas. A lovely set. I like the little church and the trees in there to create a nice little scene. You get a wreath and the sets of trees in there as well. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four three one two zero five is your item number. Is what we're looking at. You're saving seven pounds on this happy hour as well, and the price will go back up to sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. From there, we've got the other happy hour, which is the sentiments that you've got this time as well. Some stunning sentiments that are written on here. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're getting twelve stamps in total. Uh, things like hold on to the memories. That would look beautiful next to a nice black and white or sepia photo in a frame just stamped nicely on pure white card. You can see it now. One day can change everything. It's so, so true. £9.99, 872-473 is your item number. Uh, let's go back over for another live demonstration. Uh, what do you want to show this time, Lot? Cool, so we're going to use subscription this time just to show those elements. Um, this one, um, we've got the kind of paint pots here, so we're going to have a play with these. Um, it's great value stamp description. It's um, two stamp sets for $14.99. Normally these, well, you'll see on the show, they're you know, $12.99 normally for an A6 oh, okay. when they're not on sale. So it's, a, you know, it's almost buy one, go one free, almost. Um, so I've got some oxides here that I'm just going to kind of smoosh around the mat. Um, you could use your oxide sprays as well. I did nearly pick them up, but I thought these would be 
used in other demos. So I'll pick these up and I'm just going to give them a spritz. So we've got kind of a watery background and this will start that oxidization. So we get that chalky finish nice. as well. And we've just got some watercolor card here. I'm just going to dip it in and get a background going just so we've got some color on the back here. So this could be oh, very watery. Actually, I'm just going to dry it off and I'm going to do it again. I actually might. See, Caroline's used peroxides here, but I might use a micromus because I think this is a bit of a weak background. It's going to take me a while to get those colours quite strong. Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got the micromus on the pick and mix mm -hmm. as well, haven't we, on the and show? Good. And I've not seen them used before. Yeah, so these are um, packed with mica, you'll see here at the bottom. Full of mica, so I'm just going to give these a twizzle so I can use them. Twizzle them, don't shake them, because they are going to get clogged if you uh, give them a shake. So give them a nice twizzle. And uh, so these ones I've got here, strawberry blush, and I've got the perfect peridot as well. So I'm just going to. There's give also them uh, midnight midnight sparkle. Mm -hmm. And Interse Interstellar Amethyst. Yeah, so Midnight Sparkle and Interstellar Amethyst came out with the Cosmic Collection. Hence the Cosmic names. Ah, that are a mouthful to say, and I'm really well, it sorry. It was, and then you said it perfectly, and you watched, you just stood there watching me struggle to <laughs> say, and Ross in my ear also, we're all like, who's going to say these first? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to interrupt you, you know. I've got them here. Uh, all the beautiful so. colours uh, that we're looking at, uh, they are stunning. With packed with mica that you've got as well. Uh, there you go. Just going to give those a spritz and now dry it off and we've got some colour on there now. And you'll see that sparkle come through once they dry because the mica will come to the top. You're giving okay. them a twizzle. I'm having a twizzle. Just so I can see the mica clear. I'm having a twizzle with a Yukon Amethyst. So you're probably near enough to see. I'll hold it up anyway. Yeah, you can really see that mica in there. There we are. That should be fine, I think. Yeah, that'd be fine. So you've got that dazzle. The gold oh. and the silver there. The peridot, the green has got the gold and the pink has got the silver. Nice. So you can see the shimmer on there. So I'm just going to mop up this mess. Oh. Put a glass mat on a brown mat. It's very slippery. <laughs> I keep I sliding this. it around. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to dab that off. Right then. So our stamps. So we've got our little icons in the stamp scription set. I think it's meant to be the other way around. Yeah. Brown Maybe. mat on top of the glass Maybe. mat. Maybe. Um, so I'm going to grab the oxides and just stamp these on top. So we've got our little envelope here. Looking super cute. Remember, all these are taken from the Mama Makes August subscri stamp subscription uh, box. And remember, we were also talking about Mama Makes third anniversary. They've been out here on the channel for three years now. And that's where you're going to get that free gift with purchase as well, which is absolutely beautiful backgrounds with that free gift with purchase. Yeah, so uh, I was thinking memory keeping um, when I designed it. Um, but yeah, your journals, that kind of thing. Um, I'll give it a read a little bit later if we've got time. But yeah, there's some really nice wording on it that kind of suits everything. Nice. Um, and it's great as a background if you're going to go, you know, second generation, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to grab this one. So this is the washi tape one. And just stamp this around here. The sparkle here is really dazzling. It's really awesome. Just the guys, they wouldn't let me have any more mica. I was like, no, nah, more mica, want more mica. And uh, this is all I could get away with. So we've got that there in the background there. And then in my black, I'm going to grab my paint pot, which is this one. And we're going to have them pouring out. Just grab this stamp block again. onto here. So this is just a Versafine in black and 
we'll go one here. I'll just do three so it's not too boring to watch the same stamp being stamped out every time. And a third well, one. You can do it all if you want, and I can read some of these sentiments. Um, no, it's fine, don't worry. Okay, then. You can read, though. Okay. I know we don't normally miss what you're doing. They've been very busy this happy hour. Um, you've got sentiments like, um, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. Open your heart to new beginnings. Hold on to the memories. One day can change everything. Take time to make your soul happy. Life is tough, but so are you. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. Find something you love and do it forever. Be, uh, be the story you'd love to tell. Confidence is the best thing you can wear today. I'd also say clothes, but <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, those, it's, those, it's those little things. We're very busy for that stamp set that we've got, um, and I hope you fall in love with being alive. They're poignant, but they mean something, but they can also go for any occasion. You've got so much on there. Very busy for those. Uh, 9 99 pence. Uh, you're going to get a free gift with that as well. Right then, Lot, what do you want to do? Uh, just a note on those journal sentiments as well. It was actually shortlisted for a craft award last year. Um, oh. So, yeah, they are popular. That is one of my most popular. They're so, nice. uh, I haven't used these in a while, so I'm just going to use the two. I was trying to find the ones that worked, but they've all got the air in, and I haven't had time to kind of unblock them. So yeah, I'm just going to scribble these down so it looks like the paint's flowing out here, like that. Caroline's got some serious glitter glue going on to hers, uh, but yes, I... Uh I suppose you could go these. all out though with this, couldn't you? Like totally obviously we're constructed from time because of the telly, but there's so much you can achieve. Just going to squirt this one along here. And then we have Matt and layered it on top of here. Uh, we've got the purple. So she would she cut this down actually. So you got the purple and onto the black, and then she stamped a sentiment as well. And that is what you end up with when you mat it and add a sentiment. How beautiful that is that? There is so many things you can do. Uh, remember, those hearts are in there as well. Um, I've also got another version of the same card uh, being made up in my finished samples as well. Uh, we're busy across the board is what we're busy in. Um, once again, there is so many things that you can achieve. Uh, we're going to go back for another demonstration as well before the end of the hour. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the finished samples because they are absolutely stunning. Just why our Lottie sets up for another demo. Um, there look at what you can make uh, we haven't got long left we've only got six minutes left of the live hour so do get in everything now remember all those prices for that happy hour will go back up as well at the end of the hour we've got six minutes left uh, so get in everything while you can busy across the board 29 pounds and 95 pence 885096 is your item number um, we're very busy on the sentiment stamps as well. The sentiments that I just read out in my beautiful Radio 4 voice. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence. 872, already half the stock of the extended stock have already gone now. 872473 is your item number. Nine pounds and 99 pence. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. Lot, what are you up to? So I've got a background here. I'm just going to quickly do this one. So I would have stamped the background, but we're running out of time. So Caroline's done the background here with the uh, Hansie's Craft Room collection. These are the different wreaths. And she's overlapped them here, but that's fine because we're going to mat and layer a heart over the top there oh, as cute. well, which is lovely. And then she's got some other hearts to kind of surround it, and we can mat and layer those on top as well. So I'll just put it in position, and then you can get an idea. So you would die cut your hearts stamp onto them. I really like this one with the paint palette. That's really cute. And she's coloured them up really well. So we can put that onto a bit of a slant there like that. And then what she's done is she has stamped out the little notepad and she's put letters. Now I was like, what does this spell? <laughs> and played a little, I played around a little, but I worked out it says love you. <laughs> oh. So yes, we've got L-O-V-E. Uh, and then underneath. 
Because you? There is a sample that I'll show you when we come back uh, to myself, that they've made like little diary entries with them as well, with like days of the week, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and they're really cute for planners, actually. They will fit into your planner boxes, no matter what kind of planner you've got. You know, if you got the happy planner from Leone the other day, um, they will fit into all of the boxes. Um, we actually, the reason that I started designing stamps is to go in my planner and there wasn't anything on the market. We were actually the first, one of the first to bring out stamps that are s especially for uh, the planner boxes and they are sized to go in the boxes, the Plantastic range, which we've brought here before. Um, so yeah, all of the stamps kind of have a, my, a planner in mind, yeah. And they work beautifully, they really do. And another stunning demonstration uh, for now, like sort of Valentine's cards. What do you get, your crafty Valentine? Well, now you can make cards like this as well. Uh, also, we've got samples like the one in front of me. Uh, there is so much that we've already got on the show. We are really running short of time now as well. Um, look at these for samples. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, remember as well, though, if you want the cards on their own, you're also going to get the washi tape in there. Uh, the washi tape looks a little bit like this, and you're going to get the cards as well, six coloured, and you're also going to get six in the black and white. Uh, four centimetres wide is what you're getting by ten metres. There is ten metres of washi tape on there. Uh, two... Eight, I'll start that again. 829921 is your item number. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Just right to say then. as well, Go sorry, on. the washi tapes are limited edition. So um, once they are gone, they are discontinued. We only make one run of all of the washi tapes. Yeah. She kept that. It took three minutes <laughs> to the end, didn't she? Uh, limited edition. So get them while you can. Once they've gone, they have gone on your washi tapes. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Uh, busy for this. This is the brand new bundle brought to you today. Um, stunning craft room designs. If you also like the garden edition that we bought you last month, we've got that again. This month is a returning favourite. You've absolutely loved them. Um, there's so many things you can do when you get the collection time. You're going to get the little toppers that are in there as well. And you're also getting the beautiful honey stamp. So you're getting the dragonfly. The mixture of the dragonfly, the bumblebee, uh, the ladybird in there, the butterfly, and also the honeybee and the hive. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-six pence. Three nine five five four eight is your item number for that. Then we've got your stamp subscription. Uh, it, oh no, not that one. Uh, your stamp subscription is what we're looking at. Uh, you've got twenty-eight stamps in the box 28 stamps for 14 pounds and 99 pence we've seen how to use these stamps in a cracking little demonstration uh, 543834 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence work once again perfectly with your scrapbooks perfectly with your journals perfectly with your photo albums or just a nifty little set of stamps to have on your crafty table uh, 543834 is your item number then we've got your frame up next what i'm going to do though is i'm going to put that in front just so you can see what it stamps like. It's an extended delivery. It's sold out once before. Uh, 28th is what you took. There's your stamp. That's what you're looking at. So that's what it will stamp out like. Not with the sentiment in the middle. That will just be a plain circle. Or you can heat emboss it as well and you're going to get things like this. Remember to go for them sentiments with the uh, beautiful sentiments in the middle. Would fit stunning in there. £9.99. pence. Nine four eight zero zero nine is your item number. Then we've got your Cosmic Dream papers on the show. These are your darks that we're looking at. at the Limited stock is what we're looking at for your darks, is what we're looking at now. We've got, we've got still very busy for your darks. This is what they look like. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Let me just fan these out and no one will know any difference. Uh, £9.99 pence is what we're looking at as well. And then we've got your pastels as well. Uh, 331 and three other numbers. And then we've got your pastels as well. Just do what you're doing, Adam, one at a time. Don't try and be clever. Uh, extended delivery from the 28th is what we're looking at for these now. Look at this. Simple and easy easy take your time you won't drop any uh, that's a happy hour prize that prize will go back up and for those stamps as well remember the stamps that we've got uh, that have been extremely busy sold out we've bought them back these are the ones terrific christmas is what we're looking at at the moment and um, so so busy for these four three one two zero five is your item number nine pounds and 99 pence then we have another set of a happy hour Sentiments, where I use my Radio 4 voice to read them out. These sentiments, beautiful. Remember, anything you buy with Mama Makes Name on, you'll get that free gift in purchase. We've only got 40 seconds left. Lot. Thank you very much. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. When are you back?
uh, mid-September with our Christmas launch. Oh, yeah. Christmas launch, mid-September. Get the while you can. Uh, start checking out your baskets. I don't want you to miss out on these cracking deals. Many a sellout as well. So who knows how long they will have. And remember, anything you buy during this hour, you will also get that free gift with anything with the mum that makes name on. Uh, don't go anywhere. Our Janice is up next with more wonderful creations. I'll see you next week. Yes, indeed. Your next three hours look a little bit like this. We're crafting with Apple Church and Janice with Clarity One Day Special. Then it's the Festival of Japan with a set of brand new stamps. And then to end the evening, it's another look at your amazing One Day Special. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda, now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important was a Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Thank you. 
Good evening, everyone. This is your second chance, your second live hour, to have a look at the one-day special that launched at 6 o'clock and a quarter of the stock has already gone. We had some superb demonstrations in the first hour from Paul Church. We've also got Paul Church joining us live on Skype in the show tonight, but I want to tell you about the one-day special. These are absolutely stunning aperture dies that you can cut out and have a whole complete card right there from one passing through your die cutting machine. But you can also do so much more with the elements that you have in here. These have got snip ability and by that I mean you can use the whole of the image if you want to for example here's a beautiful card using the hair looking up at the birds but if you wanted to you could just snip elements out of that and it changes completely and then gives you a whole variety of different ways of using the imagery that you're getting in your dies these are absolutely fantastic they are blue dies as well I'll tell you this because that makes it easy so easy to cut the images out and also to trap the scrap, which is a technique that Barbara Gray brought to us and now is using time and time again. Looking at some of the samples that we've had here before we go over to Paul, isn't this absolutely beautiful? And what I love about this particular design is the background. Now this background hasn't been made by the designer. Now the person that put this together was Sheila. Sheila has used some of the designer toppers that we've got for you on the show. Now you get 48 in total. These are incredible. They are one-sided, so single-sided. And with those 48 toppers, you will now get a choice to put these within your projects to change how they look each and every time or, of course, to use them as a card topper if you want to. So there's a lovely image. Maybe you could snip out the moon. That could be a sunset or a sunrise because you've got that beautiful light colour in the background. Moving that away, then it turns into that beautiful orange. So this could be maybe in the autumn, for example. Use these all year round. Going on to the blue, maybe a winter scene, adding a bit of snow. How beautiful is that? Just going through the different card toppers changes how that looks time and time again. You will enjoy cutting out and doing exactly what I'm doing right now before you even choose who you're going to send your cards to. They look absolutely fantastic, whether they are cut out in white or in black. These are lovely ways of showing the detail that you're getting within these particular designs. You've seen the flowers with the hair. I love that bird that's on there as well. Remember, the snip ability will allow you to take the bird out, maybe take some of the flowers out, and look at this one as well. When you look at the design, see what you can see. First of all, you'll see the owl in the tree, you'll see the leaves that are there, you'll see the beautiful, gorgeous ferns, and then look at that. Disguised within the fern, you've got the hair looking up at the wise old owl. And you can see there in the black and white as well how they look. You're saving a third of that original price and your Flexi Buy is $24.98 today. That is a fabulous price. We'll sort Flexi Buy out for you. It's interest-free payments and we'll send everything out at the same time. What a superb deal. 921885 is your item number, a quarter of the stock gone. So that leads us now to Paul Church in that beautiful, fantastic shirt. Your shirt, Paul, is the talk of Hochanda tonight. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a very good <laughs> I thing. I think it's a good thing. It is. It's a beautiful shirt. One of the directors said it was penguins, but I said, no, it's surfboards. It's definitely surfboards. If it's come all the way from Hawaii, it's definitely going to be surfboards. Well, you're looking absolutely fantastic, Paul, and it's great to have your company live on the show via Skype. Can we talk about this collection of fresh cut dyes? These are sensational. They are. They're absolutely gorgeous designs. Um, so when we look from left to right on the screen, the Make-A-Wish, um, that one was illustrated by Barbara. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And we saw in the previous hour how we sort of snipped into them. Then we've got the, I think that's the hair in the glaze, that one? Yep, that yes. one there. Okay, so these next three have been designed by our very good friend, Mel Turner, an exquisite sort of artist and sort of, she brings a lot of artists designs to the TV. Then the next one is the hair in the meadow. And then find this is gorgeous. This is the hair and the owl. Absolutely gorgeous. And when we look at the, the card checks of the um well the dice, that grey area, that would be your car blank.
how you was just showing the black and white um, designs. That could be a 7x7, seven seven, an 8x8, eight eight, um, and it stays within the frame. So if you're doing pictures, if you do a card to send someone, I mean, that is, is just a picture instantly. And when you've got those toppers in there, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. They really are. Um, and it's amazing how the color of the card can change the look of the design. I mean, this one's gorgeous when you said sort of like when you opened it up and it says they're looking at one another. In fact, That's let one me of the just great things with this size. Let me place that over there, Paul, because that would be isn't that lovely to have the two just looking at each other like that. Yeah, exactly. And who's to say that you can't use the reverse of the die because they're so beautifully cut? And the only reason that you would know what's the front and what's the back is because obviously the front is more smoother. I mean, this one here, I think you said Sheila did this one. This is paper um, trapped the scrap in the background or paper piecing. Um, and I'm guessing Sheila would have done that by hand rather than trapping the scrap like I showed you in the six o'clock show. So that would have been sort of a pair of tweezers picking up all the different bits and pieces. Beautiful. Here's another lovely one, Paul. Uh, using the same principle as trapping the scrap, but it's actually putting the glitter onto the background of the self-adhesive um, paper. That's right. And you'll notice on that one, the Make-A-Wish sentiment's been removed. So again, that snippability. Um, it, it, they're, they're just so versatile. And for quick and easy cards, or if you want to get creative, um, as you said earlier, the mixed media side of it, Absolutely, they're just so versatile, and to have that £25 saving is crazy. Yeah, it really is. I love the designs of these, the detail, that whimsical look, but so much. When you look at this, the first time I saw this, I saw the birds in the trees, because that's where my eye went instantly. Love all of those. Then I saw the actual hair itself, and do you know what I've only just seen, and I've done a live hour show already, I've just seen the bird on top. For some reason, I didn't even I see that before. It's crazy because, I mean, um, Mel's such a talented artist. And when she draws it, sometimes you'll look at the design. And, if, and as you just said, you was looking at that the previous hour, but you didn't notice the, um, the birds on, the, on his head. Um, and there'll always be elements within them that you think, oh, I never saw that the first time. Um, and that's what gives you that versatility of the snippability. You could take all the birds, you could snip all the birds out of the tree and just have the, the tree itself. Yeah, it that's, really is. that's a good idea, Paul. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a great price, as we said, saving £25, two payments of £24.98. But a quarter of the stock has gone. Remember, your four dies and you're getting the card toppers as well, 48 of those included. It's a magnificent price for you, and that price dividable by two. But remember, you're saving a third off the initial price. Right, let's head down to the groovy plates. We were very busy for these earlier on, and over 20% of the stock has gone of the groovy plates. Um, these are phenomenal value for money. 23.96. That's for all four of those, not just for one, that's for all four. And Paul, again, with your groovy, these are very, very versatile. That's right. I mean, the price here, Janice, is four for the price of three. So it, it's a really good saving on this. And again, these have the versatility. Whereas the dies have the snippability, these have the versatility of being able to pick and choose the different elements. And in this hour, I'm going to show this one here, the beautiful hair in the meadow. I'm just going to take the hair on one solitary flower and um, do a piece of artwork with that. Now, I must have kind of seen into the future with that, because I've just picked up this sample, which is, we don't have a hair on there, but it's taken the flowers. Now, that looks completely different to the hair in the meadow. Isn't that fantastic? So think about that with your groovy plates, the way that you can use them, that you can take one image and then another and completely change it to make, actually, your own design and that's the beauty of groovy and indeed the aperture dies that you're getting in the one day special you will be able to use those different elements to build and create your own designs in whichever way you want four double seven five one four is your item number you don't need to make a wish you can simply pop these into your basket and check on out for 23.96 and if you wanted to add these to your one day special your one day special well that's available on flexi buy so now this will be available to you for 
12 pounds and 50 pounds 12 pounds 12 pounds today and then 12 pounds in a month's time right let's head to some seven day savers these were launched on sunday Oh, Paul, I can't believe the price of these. Oh, my word. 192 sheets in total. You are getting four for the price of three. They are 12 by 12 in size. They are acid free. And also you get 12 patterns. They're double sided, 48 sheets in each one. They're 150 GSM. These are absolutely fantastic value for money. Can you tell us the story uh, behind these, Paul? Yeah, so originally when Barb decided to come up with the designer paper range, and the whole reason that the designer paper range started was because of Groovy. So you think paper, Groovy, parchment, how does that work? When we first introduced the Groovy system, um, we'd do a beautiful piece of artwork, and then we'd have to find a backing to put behind it. And sometimes if you put a solid colour like a blue or a green or a red or a yellow, it can make your finished groovy artwork look quite flat. Um, for those that know Barbara over the years, a bit handy with a brayer. I mean, it, the brayer used to be attached to her permanently at one point in, <laughs> when she was sort of out on the, it really was, it, there's Barbara and the brayer. Um, and um, so she's always been playing and then the jelly plate comes involved and then everything else. So she's got this massive stash of papers where she's just cleaned the brayer off or done a piece of artwork and wasn't pleased with it for what she was doing. So what we started to do was when we was doing our artwork, we'd be going to this stash constantly. And people say, oh, where did you get that backing paper? Where did you get that backing paper? So that's where the whole design of paper range started. And it started with Northern Lights back in the day. Um, and then we brought it out in 8x8 paper. Then we had it in the 8x8 parchment. I mean, the parchment is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then we brought out the toppers, which were the 5x7, which you're going to get as part of the one-day special. Then because we then introduced the fresh-cut dies, um, we was using the 8x8 papers and the petite toppers to put a backing behind it, as you just showed when you was putting it behind the, the white car blank. And then by, we need so to sort of add a little bit more luxury to it. And a number of the customers saying, we want these in bigger sheets, we want these in bigger sheets. So we brought them out in the 12 by 12. Um, I know it's a bit of a long-winded story, but it, I think it's important so people know where it came from. Um, so if you take one of those 12 by 12 and you cut it in half, so you've got a 6 by 12, then that will create a beautiful double-sided um, insert for a 6 by 6 card. It would. And I think I love that story about Barbara and the Brea. It's like a Barbara Brea hands. That's what that's what we'll call Barbara now. Uh, she's so tremendously talent, talented. And to share that talent, to share her visions, whether they are just pieces that have been mopping up paint, Barbara recognised those as beautiful pieces of artwork, and that gives us now the opportunity to use them however you like. This is a great price, and it's also divisible into two payments. That means you can buy this on FlexiBuy or add it to your one-day special. It's entirely up to you. Two payments of £26.98, saving £18. It's a four for the price of three. 508 728. Right, let's head back to that Hawaiian shirt and the surfboard dude himself, our Paul Church. Thank you, Janice. I thought just to start off, we'll have a bit of a recap on what we did in the previous hour. So what we did was we had a look at um, the, some of the designs, and this was the first demo that I did. And it was basically just die cutting on a black card and using one of the petite toppers that you get in the one day special just to pop behind it. And you can see how quick and easy that was. So if you miss that, I mean, really, there's no skill in that. All you need is a die cutting machine and the job's done. It takes minutes. And then this sample here was actually die cutting the topper itself and popping that onto a card blank. So exactly the same piece of card, or the same design of card, and you're going to get four of those um, in that um, one day special. Quick and easy, it really is. So we did that, and then the next demo we did was where I showed about the snippability. And when we look at this particular design, which is the hair in the meadow, that's it, just cut out nice and simply. I mean, for me, the black and white is just pure elegance. Um, and then by removing some of the design, you then open it up. So you're changing 
the way in which it looks. So don't look at it as just one die. Look at it as many dies, and then just playing around with it. So again, this was where we go to create this one. And again, I could take that top flower out as well if I think, oh, it looks a bit odd sitting on top. But it's all about just playing and seeing what you come up with. So that was a little bit of a recap. I did track the scrap, but I can't find where I've put that particular card. So I thought now what we'd do is we'd incorporate the one day special with the um, seven day saver, the 12 by 12s, because I actually love because of the size of them. And it was something that I did probably about a year or so ago. I was playing around. I like sort of making things and playing with paper. And what we're going to do, we're going to build the picture frame with the card inside. So this is, you may remember this, Janice, this is the, the picture frame. I do remember done, that, Paul. I, so if I open it, this is using one of Leone's nested scribble dies, and it holds it in place. And then when I open it up, I've got my card inside. So it's a gift as well as a, a picture frame. Perfect. So, and it stands up as well. So if I just pop that back in place fold those down so that keeps it all together and then if I turn it round you'll see see if I can get that to stand up there we go I will go forward that is standing up hands free that's no hands so required. clever that is so clever Paul so when you look from the overhead you can see all you're going to do is open up the back and it creates its own little stand so really, really simple to do, and I think it's a, a lovely way of showcasing the 12 by 12s. And you can do this on an 8 by 8, but obviously the aperture within the middle is going to be a lot smaller. So all we're going to do to start off with is just fold our 12 by 12 in half, and I'm just going to use a bone folder. This people, as it starts to come together, people remember this from at school. It was one of those games um, that you used to sort of you open it up and you pick a colour and um, truth or dare, I think it was called, something like that. I think it so was normally called, I, th I think that game actually, Paul, we talked about this last time, was either kiss me or kiss you. <laughs> well, whichever. <laughs> um, and then all we're going to do is then just fold into the middle. And if you just use a bone folder to give it a nice um, crisp finish, it just makes it a lot easier. And I think this is a lovely way of taking advantage of the 12 by 12s and incorporating the one day special as well because you can make a beautiful gift. And it's, it's more of a keepsake, isn't it? Yes. So potentially there, with a bit of different folding, you've got sort of like a, an, an envelope as well, a really big envelope. I'll turn it that way. So then all we're going to do is just fold that in and you can see, and the quality of the paper um, is absolutely gorgeous. You get that beautiful crisp line. I mean, look at that, just the, the colour blend that you get from that. So we've turned it over and then all we're going to do is repeat the process and just fold it into the middle again. Okay. Now, depending on where you do your first fold, whether you fold and put the brighter one, I think I did the brighter on the inside. But if you want a more vibrant side, then you would just reverse the fold when you're doing it. Okay, so we're just going to go along and give it a nice crisp fold. So again, you've now got a smaller envelope if you wanted a smaller envelope. Okay, so now people will remember if I just fold this like this, and fold it in like that and then you pop it open pop your fingers underneath and then that's ooh, come on play nicely now live TV and then so then that's when you would play that game yes or or you've got a a puppet draw smiles <laughs> on it. You do that too well, Paul. <laughs> right, okay. So now that that's the whole concept of that particular thing. And then all we're going to do is then just fold that back on itself to create the opening on the 
the picture frame. So it's a really nice way. I, I think it's just a beautiful way of showcasing the beautiful papers as well. And there's loads of other folds out there and everything else that you could do, especially with a 12 by 12. So that gives us our picture frame to start with. And then what I've done, I've already die cut the actual die. And so you can use any of the designs. I mean, you've got four beautiful designs to choose from. And then, so this is using a six by six car blank. And then I've taken a piece of the same, because you're going to get, this is the Northern Lights. So I've taken the same paper as the 12 by 12. So it sort of all ties in together. And then we're just going to pop some tape around the edge. I mean, it really is. I mean, just doing this, I mean, if you're, you're batch card making, just to do a beautiful card like this is so simple. It probably takes longer to run through the machine than it does to actually attach a piece of card to it. So we've then got our beautiful design. And again, I put that beautiful red night sky in there, so it just gives it that theme. And then we'll open that up. That pops inside. We can close that up so it frames our beautiful design. And then what I've done, I've taken the Leone's um, nested square scribbles. And we've got a set on the show where you get the nested squares and you also get the hearts. Um, and I think if the price is going to, yeah, you're, it's buy one, get one free. It's a um, brilliant deal. So you're going to get... You're going to get the square and you also get the nested heart one as well. Um, but I just found that by just cutting the outer frame out, it acts as a beautiful anchor, so to speak, to hold my picture frame in place. So that when the recipient then gets that, then it's, they've only really got to remove that. And then to make it stand up, all you do is fold that back like that and that one gets folded back as well and then that stands up and then we've got our beautiful picture frame card and it will change the look depending on what papers you use i mean if you've gone for the seven day saver you're going to get the beautiful northern lights in there which will complement the um the petite toppers that you're going to get in there as well. What a fantastic demonstration. Wow, just producing a picture frame that's also a gift at the same time. And you can have one of those cheeky little games as well, truth or dares maybe. Um, wow, that was a brilliant demo. And you can watch them again. Remember, these shows will be available on Rewind on the website. You can view back on the app as well. Let's talk about your one-day special. A one-day special here at Hochander is launched at 6 o'clock every night. And it's here with us for 24 hours until the price goes back up or, of course, the stock sells out. Now, already a quarter of the stock has gone. Four fabulously designed aperture dies. These are going to give you so much fun to work with because not only by taking these through your die cutting machines just the once will they produce some beautiful instant cards for you. You can see how effective they are with the black on the white, the white on the black, but of course you can start adding your backgrounds and you're also getting the cards as well. Now that card, if I just take this and turn this around, you can make the backgrounds, but you could also cut the die from them as well because that's big enough to go over the die. So it's absolutely perfect. You've got your whole project kit right there. It's got snippability as well. And by that, we mean you can use part of the image or you can use the whole of the image if you want to. Let me show you an example of that. I'll bring that in and just drop that down to show you. There you go. Just taking part of one of those aperture dies and then placing it on a back card. How effective was that? And then opening it up reveals the whole story. Now, talking of stories, these could be a story for you. And if you have a look at them, you could create, you could create a calendar with these and you can have your different seasons. So you can have your spring, your summer, your autumn and your winter if you want to which would be really nice and you could add elements to that to make it feel a bit more wintry or autumn or summer but the point being you can use these all year round you can use them for all kinds of different cards whether it be for your dad your mum a younger member of the family to celebrate something just to say hi to someone and say that you're thinking of them or even to make some home decoration like this I love this this gave me the idea for doing all the different seasons you could have a season on each side which is lovely and that's just used on the parchment paper 
paper, moving that around, maybe put an LED light in there as well. Then moving down to the bottom, how sweet is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. And again, that could be a lovely gift for somebody and they'd have that in their home to treasure for years to come. Your one day special, you can divide the cost into two, you're saving a third, and now we're dividing the cost into two. So you spread the payment over two months, but you'll get everything in one go. That's what your one day special is all about and the value of these dies. If you've got a die cutting machine, if you're in the market for one, um, head off onto the website, have a look around, but go for these beautiful aperture dies, fresh cut dies as well. They've got this great blue coating on there which is going to make it easy for your die and your scrap to come out perfectly. 921-885 is your item number. That's your one day special. Now we've also got some groovy plates. These are busy as well. Oh my word, you wait till you see the price. This price is for all four of your groovy place. In fact, it's a four for three. That is a great deal. Twenty-three ninety-six for all four of those groovy plates. You'll see those beautiful cards at the bottom there, the different designs that they can build and create. But if you are a groover, you will know that you can mix and match some of the groovy plates that you've got at the moment, take elements from these groovy plates and then build and make your own designs. And that's what's fantastic about groovy. You can add elements, you can add white work, you can add colour to it as well to make it look different each and every time you get your groovy plates out. To show you what I mean by that, there's a beautiful example of the hair sitting up proud with the bird and the flowers. And there it is again, but it looks so different because you've used different elements and you've used it in a different way. You wait till you see this sample I'm going to show you now. That one is by Cindy? Carol. That one's by Carol. Um, thank you to all the design team, actually. This one's by Sheila. How pretty is that? If you know someone's getting married, that would be beautiful. Oh, look at the bunny rabbits. But that's what gets you into trouble, rabbits. Uh, right, £23.96. pence. You're getting all four. It's a four for three. It's a great deal. Four double seven five one four. Let's have a look at your papers. These are a seven-day saver. This is also a three, uh, four for three deal. And you've got your designer papers in here, 53.96, but you can divide the cost into two. Uh, these are 12 by 12. They're premium craft paper as well. You can stamp on these. You can cut, use them for your die cutting. Use them as a background. Double-sided, acid-free, 12 patterns, 150 GSM and 48 sheets in each and every one. Just to give you a quick flick of this one, you'll see we've got the lovely patterned on one side and then you've got that lovely muted on the other. So double-sided, you choose, you decide which ones you use. They're absolutely stunning. And 26.98 on FlexiBuy. Right, can we have a look at Leone's dies? Oh, these are Fabulous. Nesting dies are great because you can start to build and layer your design, but they're also great because it gives you different elements. And by that, let me turn this around. You've got one, two, three different elements in there. So you could use those separately. You could use them to nest and layer with different colored cards. They look so cool, don't they? They really do. You're getting both of these for £19.98 and, and you're getting that gorgeous heart with the circles as well. Uh, beautiful design there by, by our Leone. 308-952 is your item number. Right, we're going to head back to Paul. He's live on Skype and we've got another demonstration coming up. Right, Paul, what are we going to have a look at now? Right, I thought it was time to get groovy, Janice. Um, I wanted to do this in the 6 o'clock show, but time just sort of ran away with us, didn't it? Um, so I thought, right, we'll do a quick die one to start off with this hour, and then we're going to do a groovy one, and then I can speed it up and slow it down, time permitting. So what we're going to do, you know how we were talking about the snippability of the dies? Well, you've also got that flexibility of the groovy plates. So when you have a look at this one here, it's very, very simple, very achievable. But when we have a look at the die one that we did in the 6 o'clock show, you'll see it's the same sort of principle. We've just taken one element from that groovy plate and just used it as our focus. So if I bring the, the actual plate into play, then you'll see exactly how it looks on the plate. So again, with these particular designs, if you're new to the groovy system, you can just trace this out. And when you look at the samples you've been showing, you can just trace it out and that's it, job done. 
if you go for the design of parchment we've got on the show, um, then you haven't even got to add any colour. And again, that's another great thing about the groovy system. Barbara always says that, I, I say every time I do a groovy show, because I think it is important, that it's like being on a bus or a train journey. You can trace out the line art and you can get off that bus at that point, especially if you've gone with the design of parchment because it just gives you that instant artwork. But because the groovy system gives you that satisfaction of being able to achieve something so easily, it for me, it gives you sort of, you want to learn more. So therefore, you then move on and you think, right, I want to learn how to do the colouring. Um, so then in come the Perga liner pencils, the Perga colour pens, the Dorso crayons. And then you think, right, OK, I've got the hang of this now. So I want to learn some white work. So what do I do with that? So again, it's all about the confidence building. And when you've got a craft that can really sort of build up your confidence and make you feel good, then for me, it's a win-win situation. Um, and as we've seen since Groovy's launch, there's so many, it's opened it up to such a bigger audience now. We've got children that are doing it. People, the likes of Linda Williams and Tina Cox that have done it traditionally for years and years and years. They love it um, because it's the tracing out element of it that people can struggle with. So the Groovy system just replaces that one element and it gives you that confidence to be able to do more. So all we're going to do is have a look at this design and we're just going to break it down into sections. And when you watch what I do, you can say, OK, well, I want to give that a go. So we've got the starter kit on the show as well. Um, and that gives you everything to get you going. Because I, one thing I will say, it's very addictive in a good sort of way. Um, we've got Clarity Worldwide, we've got Groovy Worldwide on Facebook. And when you see what people do, and it gives you sort of and ask questions and, and everything else. Um, there's just a wealth of knowledge out there. So, enough of my waffling, and I better start doing demoing or we're going to run out of time again. We love your <laughs> waffling, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. You're so kind. Right, so what we're going to do, I've kept it small because, again, it shows that you, again, you haven't got to use the whole design. So I've taken a piece of clear parchment and I've used that beautiful fresh cut Pico rectangles and when we launched these these were a game changer because the Pico effect is what you get around the outside of the card around the outside of the card I'm talking cross purposes I'm talking ahead of what I'm saying so for example if I bring this in that I've already die cut and we have a look on this camera here we can see see how you've got like that postage stamp effect around the outside that's called Pico cutting and traditionally, what you'd have to do is you'd have to perforate all the way around the outside and then snip to get that beautiful pico edge. As you can imagine, doing that is a skill and obviously takes time. But I want to concentrate on what's in the middle. So we've got these on the show. We've got the rectangles, you've got circles, you've got um, ovals and squares. So I thought I'd go for the rectangle. And as part of the set, you also get the coordinating groovy plate. And the groovy plate gives you that double line or a single line around the frame. See, so you've just positioned that on there and then you trace out the double frame. So it gives you that professional finish. So let's pop those to one side now. Now I've got, when it comes to groovy, I've got two best mates. One best mate is the plate mate that comes in the starter kit. And this will actually house the plates that we've got um, on the show, the four for three ones. And what it does, it gives you that larger area to work on. If I was using an A5 piece of parchment, it would overlap the plate and I'm likely to crease it. So the plate mate gives you that larger surface to work on. Plus it's useful as well. You've got the alphabet on here, uppercase and lowercase. You've got the letter boxes, which I'll be using tomorrow during one of the shows. I'm going to do a coaster. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus where I want to put my design. Now, before we start, what I need to do is wipe it with a tumble dry sheet. So you get the tumble dry sheet in the starter kit. So you haven't got to go and buy a tumble dryer, as somebody asked me once before. But there you go. 
Okay, so all we're going to do is just line that up and decide where we want our focal point to be. Then I'm going to use my groovy tabs that comes in the accessories kit. And all that's going to do is going to hold our parchment in place whilst we work. So we really have thought of everything. And then the other piece of really useful equipment in the accessories kit is the groovy guard. And what it does, it gives you something to, to lean on whilst you're working. But it's also got these fantastic little apertures if you want to focus in on areas as well. In the starter kit, we're going to get two tools, um, double-ended. We've got what we call the number one, number two, the number three, and the number four. Now, the number one and the number two has been designed to specifically work within the grooves that are etched within the plates. And then the number three and number four are perfect when you want to start to learn how to do white work. So the way in which the system works is you take, I'm going, I want a nice crisp white line. So I'm going to go with the number one tool that doesn't have a ball in it. And all we're going to do is just push into that groove. And as you push in, what happens is it reveals the design from underneath. So I'm deciding on what bits I want to trace out because I can do that with the groovy system. And you can see it doesn't matter what direction I go in, I'm going to get that beautiful crisp white line every time. So another benefit of the groovy system, if I jump out, nothing's going to happen. So it means if I've got an unsteady hand and or I mean, I'm going fast because I've been doing it for a while now. You go at whatever speed you want to. And if you're worried about the type of pressure to put on, you can go over it several times. So, for example, if you're not sure, just go on very, very lightly once and then go back on again. So there's no sort of right or wrong way of sort of doing it. It's just you become familiar with the plates and how it works. Now, Paul, So what I want to, yes, can I, can I ask you a question? If people are watching now and they're thinking, this looks absolutely beautiful, because you're seeing that crisp white line appear really before your eyes when you're using the groovy plate, if you've never, ever, ever used groovy before, could you just pick this up easily? Absolutely. We've always said, if you can hold a pen, you can use the system. Tracing out the actual design, there's no skill. Just like running a, a die through the machine, there's no skill required on that either. Um, it's just a case of you holding the tool and pushing into those grooves. Um, and as I said, if you don't get the pressure straight away, just go back over and you'll find the flow. Um, and then you'll automatically, you'll even do it without, without thinking about it because you'll just look at the design and go, right, that's what I want, and you'll do it. There's really no skill in that respect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So what I've done, I've got one that I've already traced out. And what I wanted to showcase was, because of Mel's line art, which is gorgeous, Mel used to be um, a cartographer, which was, she used to do roadmaps, and she used a very special pen. So you'll notice that a lot of the lines sort of really flow really well. But because the way in which the um, plate has been designed, a lot of the areas touch one another. So you can see how these leaves here go into that to create the opening. So because I don't want those leaves, it's now left me with an opening on the flowers. So you've got choices. If you're brand new to the groovy system, then let the plate do the work for you. But if you've been doing it for a while, then you can call, go as we call freestyle. You can use the black mat that comes in the starter kit and trace it out. So just for ease, all I'm going to do is look at where I've got this gap and just look at a line on the plate and then just very, very lightly go in and complete where those little gaps are. See, so it doesn't take long to, to do. And move your parchment around. And so here, for example, I want to put the flower on. So I'm going to look at the flower and see there. There we go. I can sort of join that up. So you just work around and then you fill in, although I've got those big gaps up there. So again, I'm just going to look at that and just go on very, very lightly, just so you make sure that the lines 
join up. It's really, really easy to do. So now I've got my completed image. So this is stop number one on the bus. You can get off at this point, pop it onto, for example, a piece of designer card or paper, and you've got an instant piece of artwork. But what I wanted to do, I'm going to use this as a vehicle to show some a bit of white work. If you think, well, what's white work? What's he talking about? So, you now I said I had two best friends in the groovy thing, Janice. Do you know what my second best friend is? I think it's your pink mat. It is my pink yeah. mat. You know me so well. <laughs> why, why do you like your pink mat so much? Why do I like my pink mat? I'm heavy handed. I'm impatient um, and it's my safety net. The groovy plates are my safety net for tracing out the line art and my pink mat is my safety net for doing the white work. Perfect. I remember back, I remember back in the day when we first started doing parchment and everything else and um, Barbara and I would be looking on social media and saying, oh, how do you do this and how do you do that? Um, and white work I just struggled with. I just got too impatient and I'd go through the park and think, oh, I can't do this. Um, Barbara would go, no, gently, gently, she's going, you've got to go one stroke, two stroke, three stroke, and just keep doing it. So I went, I can't, I want it white now. So I coloured it with a white pencil. And Barbara said to me, you're not going on TV. She didn't shake her finger. She said, you're <laughs> not going on TV to demonstrate. She said, with a white pencil. She said, so you've got to learn. I went, OK, fair enough. So... For me, the pink mat is the Pergamano is pink mat, and it's excellent. So I'm going to use the selection of the ball tools we've got on the show. So these are the Pergamano ball tools, and they come in all different sizes. Linda Williams says the larger the ball for the area, the better. So, for example, when you, if I concentrate on this area here, let me get my groovy guard so it sort of focuses my eye, so to speak. So you would think, wow, that ball is way too big to sort of go in that area. But when you think about it, there's only a certain area on the ball that's actually going to be touching the parchment, you see. So although this is the 6 mil ball tool, so although it's fairly large, it's, there's only a certain area that's actually going to touch the parchment. For example, if I take this piece of parchment here, when I trace, where am I going? over this way, there we go, a lot nearer, and I'm going backwards, there we go. So you would think a ball tool of that size, that when you trace out a line, you're going to get a really thick line. You don't. You just get, it's a very narrow line, okay? Whereas with the this one that has no ball on the end, you get a very thin line because there's no ball on there. Okay. So just because it's got the, the biggest ball on the end, so to speak, then it's the best one for the area you're going to work in. So let me get this. I'm going to go forward, I think. No, backwards. There we go. And then I'm going to go this way. Yay! And what you need to do is, see, this is where you need to be patient. It's, it's just very, very light, gentle strokes. It's another way of looking at it is as if you're like striking a match or like an aeroplane taking off. So basically what it's going to do is the tool, you're going to start off and as you move away from yourself, you lift off and it flies off into the air. So you're just repeating that process on the parchment. And because of the way parchment's been made, it's you're stretching the fibres. That's what gives us that whiteness. So you would do say everything you want to do in white, and then you would let it rest for, say, half an hour. Then you'd come in with the next size down, and then you would go in and do a little bit more. See, and then you go down, and you can start to see how it's going. Now, if you go too fast and too heavy, all you're going to do is go through the parchment, or it's going to look like cotton wool, and that's not what you want. So I'm going to just do this one here so you can sort of see what's going to happen. Now I can feel the amount of pressure I'm putting on. Because I use the number one tool to go around the outside, I can feel that if I start to go on any heavier, it's actually going to crack the parchment. So when I turn it over, we can see now how it's starting to go white. 
So yeah. again, this is another stop on the bus that you can get off if you want to. Paul, can I ask you so a the question? Next thing I want, of course you can. You know, um, yeah. with the parchment, with the white work, um, when we've been with Linda yeah. on the shows here at Hochanda, she talks about letting it rest overnight, which you and I are like, oh, no, because we're very impatient. But is that something that you do need to do? You need to let it rest in between? Because you're, quite, you, you're just stretching out the parchment fibres, aren't you? That's right. Uh, the way I look at it is that you're stressing the parchment as well as stretching it. So basically... The longer you leave it in between the layers, the more time you don't notice it. It's sort of like the elastic. Elas I can't say, like an elastic band. That word, Elastid that long word. I can't say either. Elasticity. Yeah. Elast that's it. That one. It sort of it sort of it bounces back up, um, and therefore when you go back in again, it then it's more stronger, so you get that more crisp whiteness from it. So. Depending on timescales, a lot of people will have several projects on the go. You could, depending on the area, I mean, the, the little bunny that we're working on now, I would probably say I would leave it half an hour and go back and then do the next layer, let it rest for half an hour and then sort of go in that way as well. Perfect. Thanks for that, Paul. Yeah, it's a great way to get a new craft so easily so so easily you really do get into the groove and you really do get into the groove of things when you're demonstrating if you do want to go for the four plates 23.96 it's a four for three deal that price is for all four by the way that's not for an individual plate and if you are new to groovy it tells you how it all works right there on the back of each plate so you've got that tuition you've got that instruction but you've also got that gorgeous artwork to build and create those magnificent designs 2396 477 514 is your item number for all four of your groovy plates let's head back to Paul who's live on Skype and carry on with the demonstration okay so we're just going to do a very little quick bit of coloring I'm going to concentrate more tomorrow on some coloring so if you're thinking right okay well what's coloring about Come back tomorrow and we'll do some colouring at probably 8 o'clock in the morning and we may even do some in the 12 o'clock as well. But the key thing for me, what I really wanted to show you, was the corner punches and how you can attach your parchment to the card. So just to really sort of showcase a little bit of colouring, I'm using the Pergoliner pencils and in there you've got um, 16 B pencils. So they've got white writing on them and they have a B in front of the number. So these are like a basic or a blending pencil. They're a wax base. And then you get 20 watercolour pencils as well. So I know Barb and the, the guys in the Shack Shack um, on Facebook Live Monday to Friday um, have been using the pencils, sort of using the B pencils, using the watercolour pencils. So you've got a really good price on this because you're actually going to get the blending pen as well for this. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to scribble in a little bit of colour. Now I'm not going on heavy because it's a wax pencil. If you go on heavy, it's going to seal that colour and it doesn't, it won't allow me to blend it. So I'm just going to put some lighter green down and then I'm going to take a darker green and I'm just going to flick some dark green, just like you would with the, the white work. I wonder whether a white piece of paper underneath would help showcase that. Yeah, that's there we better. Go. Yeah. There we go. So we can see. That. So you can see. I'm just flicking some colour in. Okay. Then I'm going to take my blending pen, and I've got a nib. Luckily enough, I've already got a, a green nib, so I can use this one again. I'm going to take some Dorso oil onto a spot on sponge. Dorso oil smells lovely. It smells very citrusy. So we're just going to drop a little bit on the sponge there. Too much Dorso oil, and it will just take it all off. Um, so all you want to do is just tap it into the sponge where you put the oil and then tap off some of the excess. And you can see what it's done, it's also reactivated what was on that nib already. And then all I'm going to do is just work in circular motions just to blend that colour in. Now there's a little bit too much on there and the reason I know that is because it's moving it too quickly for me. Okay. But what it does, it gives me that soft, beautiful colour blend. Um, and I can go back in, I can add a little bit more if I want to, to really get some definite. 
It's all about sort of building it up in layers. But if I think, oh, I've gone over the edge, or I didn't want green leaves, I wanted purple leaves, then you can take an eraser pencil and oh, you wow. can rub it out Look at that. and start again. So if you think your colouring's rubbish, we're working on the back so it doesn't need to be perfect, but if you make a mistake, you can just use an eraser to rub it all out. That's brilliant. So what I've done, I've got one where I've, I've done my white work and I've done some colouring in. So if I bring this into play now, so if I take a white piece of card, there we go, you can see the vibrancy. So I'm actually going to hold this up on the other cameras. It's easier for me just to hold it up. That's so beautiful. There, so you can really sort of see the, you can't even get that right. Up a bit, down a bit. <laughs> the golden go. shot with Paul Church. That's beautiful, <laughs> Paul. It really is. And doesn't it make a difference? It does. And that's on white card. So by putting it on white card, what happens is that obviously because we've traced it out in white, it's harder to see the lines. But then when you introduce the designer card or the designer paper behind it, all of a sudden it intensifies the colorway and it gives that beautiful background. You know, we were talking earlier about why Barbara came up with the designer papers. Yeah. Because if that was just on a solid color, it would look really flat. Um, but having a beautiful colorway behind it really does make a difference. It certainly does. So, so one of the hardest things to do is attaching your parchment to your card. So on my little finish sample, I've used some brads. We've got the Pergamano brads on the show as well. So that's another way of sort of attaching it, like the old uh, split pins. But back in the day, we launched, um, when we did Groovy, we had these fantastic corner punches. And it was about a month or so ago, but I said, have we still got any of those corner punches? And I went, yeah, they're all sitting in the warehouse. She went, let's get them out. Let's give them a bit of a revival. So these are fantastic because what it does is it gives you like a, a photo corner. So you've got four different designs in this set and you've got a, an eight pound saving on them. So you've got a, the straight one, you've got the curved one, and then you've got two fancy ones. But it's a fantastic way of attaching parchment and other cards to a card. So I'm going to go with this one here. I love this one. Someone said it looks like um, that um, caped crusader sort of um, superhero. Can you see oh, that? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the, um, you can take paper. This is the Northern Lights Petite Topper. And I'm just going to punch one corner. Okay. A nice crunch, heavy duty punch. And what that does, it gives me that beautiful decorative edge. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring in my older craft mat and pop that underneath. And I'm going to take one corner and I'm going to pop it in so that it's in the right place. Okay. Now, there isn't an exact measurement. If I said to you this was a, um, a three by two, then you've got to cut it a quarter of an inch bigger to do it. They're all, each of the corners are slightly different in size. But then this is where the Perga ruler comes into place with the groovy grip. So again, it's not going to move if I slide it around. So it's not, when I use the craft knife, it's not going to cut in to my work. We've got one minute left, Paul, just to let you know. One minute left one on the minute. show. It okay. flies by. All right. Uh, where's my... Wow. So all I'm going to do ooh, is just trim that down, go around, do the, the other side. It's falling out now. So you go around, you measure it up, you punch all your four corners, and then I've chosen, chosen two different colorways. You pop that in. That holds it in place. And I think tomorrow I'll show you how you can make a border out of a corner punch. Fantastic, Paul. Oh, my word. Go. I don't know where the hour goes. Thank you so much, Paul. You've been an absolute joy to work with. Loving the shirt as well. We'll see Paul tomorrow. We'll see you guys after the break.
Yes, we try to cram in as many demonstrations as possible here at Ho Chan. So thanks to Paul. We've got Festival of Japan up next. I'm really excited about this. Brand new stamps from Festival of Japan. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda, now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda.
Good evening, everyone. I'm really excited about this show. We have got a launch right here at Hochanda of a brand new stamp range, but also brand new to Festival of Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Jill with us. Hello, Ooh. Jill. Hello. How are you? Terrified. Are you? Why? Well, I've always done designing, yes. but this is my first foray into the finished product. Well, you have done so, an incredible very excited. job. And we are really excited. Let's take you through the range of stamps. First of all, the packaging. Yes, the packaging. This is incredible. I love the design of this, Jill. Um, I just wanted something that was looked sort of retro and it's just got a nice belly band on it and I just thought it was attractive. It is. Yes. It, re it really is. And I love that band that goes on there because you can keep that. You can, you use, can, that. You can use the paper as well. Yeah, yeah. use the card. It's Most a nice, definitely. nice card stock as well. Let's have a look at the stamps. First of all, your item number 947101, £19.95. pence. you have got 18 stamps in this particular collection and you've designed all of the stamps we've got on the show haven't yes. you yes yeah i didn't i i uh, the the wording are some of them are quite you know used quite a lot um in japan so i didn't actually write the sentiments myself yes so i can't say i did that but everything else is me yeah and i've got to say the stamps are only made to look good by my design team that i now have yeah you've without got them you've got a design team oh now. My, i'm so excited i've got i said to ben i've got a design team oh <laughs> you, do you know what your your design team have excelled they're themselves. amazing yeah they really have we've got some samples around here but just can we just have a look at the stamp set jill and can we talk because this is all based on japan you of course love japan i do i'm so sad because i've not this is the first time in about 15 years I haven't been there really for the year so it's really winding me up and you organize holidays don't you, you I do that's my job that's my, my sort of main job but this is now turning into its own so I've got two main jobs now yeah well we've all been talking in the corridors here at Hochanda we're all ready to book I know I keep telling you every time I come when on you ready to, to go a trip well there's about four of us now I know there's uh, a, and Ben's included in ben, that Ben will go uh, right, <laughs> with the images on here, I'll just go back to the images, we've got the beautiful trees in there, but also the furniture at the bottom. Can you tell us what these are, Jill? Um, well, we, traditional, bamb uh, traditional bonsai pots are made from uh, really thick pottery, so we've got different variations of them. You can colour those ones in, you can do them plain, you can do whatever you want. And then we've got three nice Japanese wooden tables at the bottom, but you can use the tables not just for the bonsai there, you can put anything you want on them. Yeah, you can do. You really can. Can we have a look at the sentiments? I say that because I've not got my glasses on, so if we get close up, I'll be able to read them for you. Oh, yeah. uh, small things make me smile. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. And you've got small things sometimes mean a lot. I love the font that's been used. It's, it's, Isn't yeah, that I work really closely with the design team to find out what, because they, they know their job and I knew nothing. Um, can I just say that you are, you know, everybody goes on a journey. Yes. Well, this is my journey because oh. I don't do card making. No. So I'm learning. So my design team are teaching me to do card making. I love that. We're all on a fabulous yeah, journey so together. You, you, they can come along with me and all the mistakes. I get them all done here so you can see what, what not to do. Oh, look at this. I mean, the simplicity of the cards that the design team have come up with as well. I think that's the elegance of the beauty of Japan as well. It's the images that you have that are so uh, definitive of Japan, but also very realistic and very simplistic and very effective. I do need to tell you how much of the stock? Already 20% of the first set has already gone. In Japan, everything has to mean something. So it's not just... There's no fripperies. Everything is there for a for a specific reason. Really? Yeah, and that's that's why I love. I just love bonsai. I love. But I had a bonsai tree. Oh, I've killed yeah. about five of them. Yeah, I I I, I, ki I killed one of mine. But now my lady brought that round yesterday, while. Christine, and she was worried. She said it. She didn't think it was as good as everybody else's. Oh, this is beautiful. I, I think, think that's I amazing. It up. And do you know what I like? We've got this stamp on the show as we well have, coming up. Yeah, that's incredible. And they work well for men as well. They're not. You know, they're not too yeah. fiddly. Yeah, you're right. You know, lots of people do collect bonsai trees um, and name bonsai trees, and they mean different bonsai trees mean different things, don't they? Um, that is absolutely stunning. So, was that by Chris? That's Chris, Chris yeah. That's gorgeous. Well done. <laughs> Never be worried about what you create and make to show here on her channel because everything is absolutely 
fantastic look at that that's one. another that one of great? chris's actually is it oh yeah there you go chris <laughs> look at that you need not worry. 947101, we're busy for this stamp set. 18 stamps in total. What a great price at 1995. Now, these all are brand new. We're launching these on Hochanda, and already a quarter of the stock of this one has gone. You're shopping ahead. It doesn't surprise me. I think this is beautiful because you've got nine stamps and you've got that lovely foliage. You've got the bamboo in there as well. Very, very popular to add to any kind of card. Well, you've got all the things you should have in a Japanese garden in that one. Yeah, that's true. Beautiful bamboo. Um, you've got the lovely... Is that an Asa? We've got pine. Yes. We've got bamboo. Yes. We have got an orchid. Oh, lovely. Um, so there's two pines, one bamboo and one orchid. There's the orchid, And the yeah. kanji symbols, that's one of the writing systems in Japan. Uh, one means pine. Uh, it, it explains each one in the, uh, in the back. That's right. There's a little slip inside that tells you which stamps are which. Let me, again, the packaging, beautiful. I sat for days doing that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. And then you open it up, you can see the stamp set that you've got in there, and you've got at the back of the information and a little slip that goes inside to tell you all about it. Busy for this one, £19.95. You are shopping ahead. If you can get on the website, shop ahead. We've still got another couple of sets to show you, but we will get there in time. 928876 is your item number for that one. Beautiful samples again by the design team. And I must say, the counter is looking fantastic as well. So thank you, Ben, floor manager, for setting that up. Uh, next up, love this stamp. Is this based on someone you know? Yeah, this is based on the, the young lady behind you Ooh, that's on yes. the wall. So this young lady is called Fukukana. Okay. Um, you're not going to I'm not attempt going to... that one, I no, don't suppose. No, it's after no. the watershed, but I'm exactly. not going to try it. And no disrespect so to the language. What most people get confused with is the difference between a geisha yes. and an apprentice geisha. Yes. So, would you say this was a geisha or an apprentice geisha? Well, I've had... Mm, dear, um, I'm going to say apprentice. You're just absolutely because, right. Oh, there you go. Well, we've had this discussion before. <laughs> we so have. I, you well have remembered. Me. So if you look at all the hairstyle, yep. and you look at the costume, yes. and you look at the shoes, yes. the Maiko, so she's called Maiko, that's why those stamps are Maiko, not Geisha. Yeah. So a Maiko is there to, to attract attention and say, look at me, how wonderful, how beautiful and cute I am, hire me. Once she's fully fledged and she's done all of her training, she can pick and choose more. And she's got more freedom, so she becomes self-employed. Ah, but right. this young lady, she had just turned just turned 16. Wow. Um, and her presence, you would not believe from a 16-year-old how... She just has had an aura of calmness, and yeah. she's absolutely lovely. Uh, and, and a geisha girl, of course, is Ooh, there now. to play, Ooh, to Ben Oh, Ben's, Ben's shouting at you now. Yes. Now, do you remember, you weren't on the show, I think it was Alex. Okay. Geisha girl is quite a rude euphemism. Oh, beg your it's pardon. It's what some of the naughty soldiers used to call the naughty girls. Oh, Ooh, that's terrible. It is. But they didn't know any better, so you can, you can let them off for that. But when you asked whether she was a geisha or... So, geisha... Right, so don't, we don't the girl, add girl bit that, oh, okay. that makes it the... Well, I do apologise. Well, no, but now you know. Offend. Now you know. Now My mother-in-law goes mad when she hears anybody say it. She's oh, straight no. up. Is she watching tonight? She is. I'm really yeah. sorry. So but Chris. it's an education, and now I've learned. <laughs> geisha. Geisha. So in Kyoto, they're called Geiko. Yes. Because they have their own dialect. Perfect. So Geiko and Maiko. Okay. I'm just holding on to the wall because I'm terribly embarrassed and terribly nervous at coming back in. Because Jill's <laughs> mother in law's watching. <laughs> she's only little, but she's feisty. She's looking after my cat at the minute, so we is can't she? upset her. Can't upset her. Well, apologies for that, but we learn, and that's what it's about, isn't it? Every day is a school day. So, beautiful design stamp. If you want to get hold of this one, only nine ninety nine two six two six eight one is your item number, and some beautiful samples as well to boot to go with that. Can I just show a couple whilst we're here? Because the design team have worked so hard, and I've got another one in my hand. That's beautiful. Really nice in watercolour. Have you seen how one of the ladies has actually stitched it? Oh, she felted that one, one, one of my ladies. Really? So she felted it. And another one has put it on a, a little pouch and she's embroidered it. Now, let me show you this bag as well. Yeah, Look and at there's this. a bag there. So I'm so lucky I get to keep all of these goodies. Look at that. That is absolutely divine. Uh, John Lockwood has been ordering. Mm, he's has already he? Yeah, he has. Oh, well done, John.
perfect. I'm not going to read out all your names that are ordering, don't worry. It was just John. Uh, 262681 is your item number. Right, we'll move on from that beautiful geisha. And then we've got... Now, is this the... So that one comes as a set, so that's the, that's the right. micro stamp plus the two sun and moon yes. stamps. That's right. So with this one, you get that beautiful geisha, but you also get these gorgeous circles as well. These are really effective, aren't they, when these are used? Once you put a moon with something or a sun with something, it really changes it. Yeah, it it does, really it? makes it sort of, a, it really changes the effect on it. In fact, I've got a beautiful card here uh, that has the moon or the sun rather on here which has been made by that particular stamp and I love the detailing that you've got on there and the colours that have been used isn't that absolutely stunning something a little bit different for you it is. so you see the hair ornaments on there that you can see yes and the 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 coloured part in her hair yes that's the ribbon and the cloth at the back of her head wow. and I've actually brought when it when we have two minutes the birra birra so oh. the bit that dangles down yes goes there Yes. And this attracts the light and it attracts good spirits. Oh. So this is called a Bira Bira. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm going to get you dressed in kimono when lockdown's over. Do I'd, I'd, you know what? I'd love yeah. to. I love, I love the Japanese style dress. Get I think it's, I think You'll the, be just perfect. It's the simplicity, the beauty. Absolutely yeah. love it. £12.99, pence. One zero nine three three nine is your item number. Right, now we have got the stamp that I spoke about on the card that was designed uh, for the first sample that I showed you and I've also got one here. This one is so beautifully detailed, you've done such a lovely job I did, with this. I did this as a hand-drawn um, in my watercolour, when I, when I sell the watercolour books we yes. do this as a hand-drawn image. Oh really? But people were saying it's lovely but I want to make more of them so I thought well why not change that into a stamp. Yeah perfect. So you paint your background um, I'm, that's the one I'm going to demonstrate today. Excellent. Um, I'll tell you something, this would be really nice if you if you stamped in Versify Ink and then uh, embossed, heat embossed it. That would look amazing, don't you think? Uh, and again, you've got that lovely detail right here. A bit like that one. Yeah, used in that way. <laughs> Sensational. Love the panels that it's been used in as well. I think that's a it's, really good uh, idea. Everything goes together as well, so they're not just standalone. You can, you know, you can mix and match them and they will all fit together. Yeah, they certainly will. Yeah. And beautiful packaging as well. 999 705 792 is your item number for the Festival of Japan doodles love that right now we have got a huge bundle for you uh, we've got some aperture cards you've got your envelopes and you've also got is it now I've got to get this right it's your mommy gammy mommy gammy mommy yep. gammy, mommy gammy paper. paper and what is mommy gammy paper <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> oh sorry, I was I was uh, I was on a tangent there. I was thinking, oh, I did enjoy my fish and chips at tea time. <laughs> what do you mean? Were they wrapped in mommy gammy paper? No, I think they were just wrapped in normal paper, they, but they were very fine. delish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fish and chips! I could do with some of those now. <laughs> Love that. Did you ask me what mommy gammy paper was by any chance? I See, certainly I was did. Listening, really. I certainly did. Um, it's handmade paper. Yeah. Handmade in Japan. Uh, it's made with a kozo fibre, so it's very, very strong. But you can actually uh, paint onto it and you can tear into it. So even if you don't use that paper for those cards, yes. they, they'll just work with anything. They're beautiful. Absolutely yeah, it's a lovely stunning. paper. It's really thick. Yeah. I would say if you were thinking of a weight, it's going to be up towards 200 gram. 200 GSM, yeah, because it's it's really quite thick, and it's all handmade, and that's hand dyed. So that one is individually oh, wow. pleated, oh, wow. and then pleated short ways, yes. and then it's dip dyed. Wow. So it is all handmade paper. That's so interesting, isn't it? If you do want to get hold of this huge bundle, by the way, 15 aperture cards, envelopes, and you've got your Japanese mommy gammy paper, no fish and chips in sight, mm -hmm. 14 pounds and 49 pence, <laughs> 147952. Let's head to Jill now for a demonstration. What well, are you going to do first, love? Remember what I said, that I'm not a card maker. Okay. okay? So don't expect me to be doing, like, amazing things with slicing and dicing and all that nonsense. You do whatever you feel comfortable What with. I want people to do is, is come with me. Come with me on my journey. <laughs> Follow me on my journey. Um, this card here, um, you know you were saying about the, the Versa Mark embossing? Yes. Well that's exactly what that one is. That's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Look at that. Sheen on that. To do the card by hand, to paint this one, takes uh, if you're doing it in my watercolour book, probably takes about half an hour to an hour. Okay. But you can do this in 
six minutes. Yeah. And what you can also do with it is you keep all your scraps that yeah. you've got left over. So I've got a piece of watercolour paper here. Um, we have just a, a, a standard watercolour stock paper. It's nice and easy to use. I've got all the gear. Now, what I did say to the ladies last time was all the gear and no idea. And that's <laughs> going to be my that's going to be my motto for like crafting. That. Okay. My husband said, where did you get all this stuff from? Well, I've had it for years. Yeah. I no, no idea what to do with it. I've got machines still in boxes. Didn't you have a clean out just recently? I did. My workshop is, is lovely. Is it? And I found all sorts of things that I didn't know I had. <sighs> Dear me. Um, I've got a nice sample of the aperture card as well that I made myself. Yeah. All by myself. And I was brave enough to show my ladies it yesterday, just before we, we set off. So, I've got, I've got one of these stamping platforms. Very nice. Okay. Don't laugh at me, because you no. can make cards, can't you? Not me, no. 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 Oh, no. excellent. That's good, then. I'm, I'm with you. All the as ideas. As long as it's not just me, then. What is it? All the, I all the gear and no all idea? All the gear and no idea. I'm definitely going to have to get a T-shirt with that on, aren't I? I think you should. So, with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take it... Now, don't, don't shout at me, my ladies, for the colour of my stamps, because I was playing with them this morning and I haven't cleaned them. Well, and sometimes priming your stamps is a good thing. Dirty, is it? The dirtier the better. Really? As far as your stamps are concerned. Oh. Please correct me if I am wrong. Job's email a good in. one. In fact, if anybody wants to email in and give Jill and myself some, some hints and tips. Oh, yes, please. Please do. It's studio at hochanda.com. We'd love to hear from you as well as this launching. I would absolutely brand new love stamps. that. So, with this stamping platform, people have used these before. It's got a perspex lid. It's got a, a squishy area here. You can put different depths in yeah. so that you can raise your stamp up and down. Put your chosen card wherever you want it there. Put your magnet on it. And now, when I'm saying this, this is where if people are ringing in and going, she's daft, that's not how you do it. I'd love to know. Yeah, so don't be, don't be scared to, to oh, tell no, me. I think that's right. So you've got your card yeah. and then your magnet to yeah. keep your card still. So I'm going to put my stamp where I want it. That's it. Yeah. As long as the stamp's the right way down. It is, yes, I've tested it. Yeah, and then we're going to pick it up. <laughs> there you hey, go. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> now I need some memento ink, so we're going to take that one, and I'm going to add that to there. My husband was laughing his socks off at me the other day doing this, because I he said I looked like a rabbit in the headlights. So I'll get a good amount of that on there. I really do miss being in Japan. When I'm in Japan, I tend to do a lot of craft classes, so I'll go and, you know, have a go at new things yeah. to bring back. Now, Jill, you are an artist, aren't you? Well, some say. Y you design. You've probably just never made cards before, but you are an established artist. I've done... A um, very good one. I do quite... A, I did quite a lot of um, work that was changed into cards. Yes. But not the actual yes. card making. Oh, uh, uh, right. The stamp <gasps> that you're using now, Jill. This is doodles. Guess what? What? Quarter of the stock <gasps> gone. It's lovely, that stamp. Quarter That's one of, of my favourites. It is delicious, isn't it? So all we've done, you can see here now, that we've got all the colours are behind the stamp. The nice thing is, if you colour the inside now, so we're going to go into this section here, the inside of the flowers into these little spaces. We're going to fill those in with a solid colour. And what you end up with are these amazing, very, very fast cards. So I tend to use a, a, like a, a sparkly on there, so it's nice and shiny. And it's great to use up all your scraps of paper. I'm thinking if you've got some fabric ink, to make your own fabric with that design, oh, it's, it, th my th that's word. That's what my ladies did for me. They tested it all out and they told me what it worked on. Yeah. And they said it works on just about everything, I as you can see from the bags and things. Even just like a feature pocket, for example, or a little purse or a pencil case. Yeah, and it's nice and fast. Yeah. And it gives you a really good hand look without, you know, doing it yourself. That one was one I just did in black and gold. And I think that's really classy. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now, I've got me, me paints primed up. When you're using these metallic paints, it's a good idea to get them wet sort of five minutes before you use them. Okay. I can't wait to show you my card I made with a geisha on. So excited. I've lost my brush. Wait a bit. Is it in, is it in your oh, black? Oh, it's here. You got I've it. Got it. There you I've go. Got it, yeah. This is what my life's like, you know, Janice. 
<laughs> dippy, just from one disaster to the next. <laughs> what have you been doing today before here? We drove down today. My husband's come with me this time. Oh, is he? So um, I wanted to show him Aundel. What's your husband's name? Andrew. We sat Andrew. in the green room. Oh, hello, Andrew. And you know in green room one, there's not even a telly. Oh, is there not? No, he's, he's dead lonely. Well, here's a tip. Andrew, if you're in green room one at the moment... Look out the window. If you go to the, yeah, if you go to the windows, <laughs> there's a huge TV in reception. <laughs> huge TV. So you could probably watch through the glass. Right, so all I'm going to do now, this is, this is how easy it is with this stamp. You're just going to go into the spaces. And once you fill those spaces, the flowers and the colours on the actual stamp start to pop out. Do you know what, Jill? Ben's just said something what's that makes he, complete sense. Well, Andrew won't be able to hear me say that because he's not watching the telly. Oh, yeah. He's good, isn't he? Ben... Oh, Ben, what would I do without you? Ben's my rock. He's good, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's my favourite. Is he? Yeah. Because <laughs> he loves Japan. Yeah. So, as you can see, look, can you see what's happening? So, where we're filling in this gap, so it's sort of negative painting. Yep. The flowers are actually now standing out. So, this whole stamp, this whole card front can be done in about 15 minutes. If you did emboss that, that would act as um, a nice resist, would it not? Um, it does, but if you use, if you use a, a good permanent ink, permanent stamp, yeah. you can paint straight over it anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. On this one here, I did actually paint straight over the top. Oh, so I didn't, wow. um, I didn't put a background in, I just painted straight over the top of the stamp. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and that, again, that's got the, uh, the shiny. Ooh, that there. is lovely. Um, Jill, I need to give some stock updates. Do you mind? No, you get I don't on, want anyone missing you, out. You just... Because you know I don't know what I'm doing. You just carry on. <laughs> We're carry only on. 21 minutes into the show <laughs> and half the stock has gone of the Small is Beautiful stamp set. 18 stamps in this set. Wow, half the stock has gone. Launching right here on her Chanda tonight. Jill told me about this collection that was coming. She gave me a sneaky peek at some of the designs and I was like, oh my goodness, I really hope I'm doing that show. Well, guess what? I am. So I'm very excited to be pre presenting this show alongside Jill. Such a talented artist and such a lovely lady as well. Oh. Such a lovely, lovely lady. You'll learn a lot from Jill, as I've done already. But I'm telling you that you do need to get this into your basket because a quarter of the stock has gone. 1990. Oh, half the stock has gone. <gasps> Half the stock has gone. Wow. Um, 18 stamps. You see, the design team have done a beautiful job. Can I just come round here? I'm just going to pick this up and then I'll hold it up for you because I don't want to drop it. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. Let me see who this is by. Oh, this is by Diane. That's Diane. Yeah. Wow. Have you seen this? So, not only do we have the little tag, but we've also got that beautiful candle holder. That's remarkable. Absolutely stunning. Turning the ordinary into the extraordinary, I think, there. That is fabulous. Have you noticed as well they will work as a tree, not just a bonsai? Yes, yeah, So it definitely. will work as a background stamp as a tree. Yeah, 100%. On yeah. That is perfect. So the bonsai trees in there, the bonsai bowls and the Japanese tables, you can also use those as large trees as well. 947101, your item number, half the stock gone. Right, next up we have the treasures. Let me grab this. Grab this, uh, grab this sorry to say. 60% uh, of the stock has gone. Now, I've opened up the packaging, so I can now tell you what all of these mean, if I can get this right. So, just by the bamboo, that is bamboo. Then, just up there, that's strength. Then, that one is beauty. That one there is orchid. And that one is pine. So you've got those. You could actually place them one after the other in a row. They would look brilliant, would they not? Um, so, busy for this one. Sorry, just to interrupt you before people get confused. You do need to make sure you refer back to that. Yes. To get them up the right way. Yes. Let me Very show you important this. they don't go up the wrong way. So keep make that sure you keep as a that. Reference. Um, so you can see which way up everything goes. Most definitely. Keep that as a reference. I do apologise for butting in there. No, well, I, I butt in, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you know what's that saying quick pro pro quick quid pro quo that's the that's one. the one that's the one so you interrupt me and I'll politely just ignore you. me 
No, not at all. <laughs> Keep interrupting. Uh, 1995, 928, 876. Right, next up, um, this one. Mako stamp, yes. Maiko. Maiko. Yeah. Sorry. I'm getting No, no, you, you Maiko. That's absolutely fine. Maiko. You, 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 you never if you don't know the answer to something, you should never be worried about it. That's right. As long you, as you've got, you know, that's it. the nouse about you to ask and yes. get the, get the things right. Nobody knows everything. I mean, my husband does, because I know he's not watching that and say that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to say it the other way round. You know everything. <laughs> yes. Uh, £9.99. 262681 is your item number. Absolutely delightful. And when you add colour to that beautiful stamp, it really does bring it to life, doesn't it? 262681. Now, we're going to look at Micah in a little bit more detail here, because you also have the moons as well. Now, two-thirds of the stock of this set has gone 12.99 that's an incredible price Jill I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I, I try to make everything um, affordable I, I can only you know I can only go so far but I, I like to make a little bit of a living you know keep things ticking over and keep everybody happy because more people come back if you keep them happy yeah they certainly do well, I think everyone's going to be very, very happy with this particular set. And then, yes, like adding the sun, it really does make a difference. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. 109339 is your item number. Only £12.99 for those two stamp sets right there. And then those doodles that we've been using. Oh, beautiful. Oh, see how my fast that was? That was very quick. We're going to see yeah. Jill's uh, sample. <laughs> 9.99, and when I say that, I mean her card sample. Uh, 705. Seven, it's not a medical program. 9.99. 705. 7.92 is your item number if you want to go for that. Let's have a look, Jill. There we go. Finished. Look at that. That is. That's stunning. So that's gold paint. Um, this is copper. Copper paint. You can put any colour in there you want. And then you can put jewels in the centres yeah. if you want to, you know, jazz it up a little bit. But that's how fast that is now. Yeah. From half an hour to an hour to like done. six minutes and yeah. you can produce them. Love that. Right, what we're going to do next, Jill? Oh, I've got to do more things. Oh, yes. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> what I wanted to show you is my card because I'm so proud of it. So, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what I was trying to do with the stamps is make sure that everything does mix together. Yes. So on this one here, we've done the micro stamp. Yes. But I've also put in the pine behind. Ah, that looks beautiful. Because you're using a bigger stamp, sometimes it doesn't stamp 100%. Yeah. I don't know whether that's just me, but a, a couple of ladies with the stamps have said that you know you do you can miss a little bit well that's why I just used my marker pens and I just went in and added a few bits Beautiful. the gold on here I used to be a silk painter um, and most of my work was silk painting but it was um, that's painting on silk it is but it wasn't like separating out areas and painting inside mine was very uh, fine detailed Ooh. delicate Mm. Lots and lots of detail. Is that difficult to paint on the silk? Yes, uh, the way I did the way I did, the way I did it was because I didn't use any sink to inhibit the paint. So yeah. when I was painting, I made I made the paint stop where I wanted it yeah. to stop. It didn't have a choice; it had wow. to stop. So it was it's, it's, it was a, a laborious task. But for me, um, s smaller is better. Yeah. So I like small things. Uh, so to get the detail on the hair here. I've just used what we would use as a silk painting nozzle, and this is actually gutter, which is gutter persia, which is silk painting gold paint. Oh. So this is the stuff that seals the little pockets. Um, and I have this left. You can use any anything you want. The trick to get this fine, if you're not careful and you use this, you can get a thick line like that. Oh, I love that. It's not. It's not what I'm looking for, though. No. So the trick with this is to actually, you go backwards and forwards and just increase the pressure till you get a thinner line. I do, I've got to interrupt you, Jill. I'm oh, ever so sorry. sorry. Uh, Micro and the Sun and Moon, the set, 
This one here, we're approaching limited stock, oh, everyone. So if you do want it, if you have just joined it, joined us, pop it into your basket. Sandy's emailed in. She's bought everything on the show. She's loving all the stamps. And Thank she you, says you Sandy. are an inspiration, young oh, lady. I'm something. Thank you very much. Can you see here, this is one of the techniques I used to use on my stamps. I don't know if you can see that close. Can you see it looks like stitching? Yeah. If you use your gutter very finely, yeah. you can Ooh. get a fine line or you can get like a distress line. A dotted line. Wow, what a technique. And that is just using a tiny bit of pressure. Once your hand feels the pressure, you see I'm in safe ground now, can you tell? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Once you, you it's muscle memory. Once your, yeah. your finger gets that correct pressure, you go from this thick line yeah. to this really, really thin line. How interesting. And that's what I've used for all the little details on there. So the string around the bamboo fence, tiny little dots on her hair. Yeah. Um, just using this. Ah. Uh, this is a 0 0.30 nib. So you could replicate that with other paints. You, you can put any paint you want in in here. Oh. This is just this is what I had, and I'm a big fan of using what I've got. Yeah. You know, tr trying not to go out and have to buy new things. Yeah, I'm the same. I do need to tell you, everyone. Green on the screen means we're limited stock for the duo set there, limited stock. Lots of emails coming through, Jill. Oh, good. Yes, lots of emails from people congratulating you on your designs. Oh, I thought I was going to get some tips. And loving <laughs> loving the stamps. Have we had no no hints or tips? But Must be doing we'll try right and get then. some names so we can read them out because it's, it's nice when people do email in, so it's nice to get that recognition. I really appreciate, um, wh when I'm going through my orders now, I see a lot of names coming up again and again and again, Aww. and I can't tell people how much I appreciate that. Um, it just makes me, and I get lovely emails from people. Um, and a lovely lady sent me a gift. Um, she's called Paddy, and I can't remember a second name, but I'll remember for tomorrow's show. Okay. Um, and she sent me two beautiful pieces of jade that a friend oh. had given her years ago, and oh, I'll treasure okay. those. I will actually treasure those. We've technically sold out of the Myco and the Sun and Moon. Technically sold out, so they're all in baskets. If that's you, please do check out your basket. But you can get Myco on her own, and is that one just there? So you can get Myco on her own. I do recommend that. Nine ninety nine two six two six eight two. What I'll need to do is just take that one away. I don't want to tempt your eyes anymore because that's now gone and sold out but we do have Myco on her own so if you do want to go for her uh, then please pop her into your basket because that might sell out as well 262681 right Jill when I'm, I've got another set of stamps that we're we're just about ready to go to production with um, I want to make sure that I stay true to how I feel about Japan and and not sort of veer off the veer off the path and how do you feel about Japan? How do I feel about Japan? Yeah. It's my home. I love England. Um, I love where I live. I live in North Yorkshire, next to the Yorkshire Dales. Um, but when I go to Japan, my heart feels happy. Yes, I um, know what you mean. And I, you'll make me cry because I miss it so I really oh, do actually sorry, miss Jill. it so much. You're still going to be there. It is. All of my friends are there. Yeah. Well, 99% uh, of my friends are there. Yeah. Um, and there's just so many things. Luckily, the, the ladies that I had booked for tours for this year, uh, they've all been faultless and they've just transferred their bookings to next year. Yeah. So even though I haven't had any work this year, next year's going to be a bumper year. Yeah, so that's gonna so be we'll great. be fine. So we're going back in March, hopefully. Fingers oh, crossed. Fingers crossed. That happens yeah. to be my birthday. So that'll be March cherry well. blossom time. Oh, beautiful. I've got to show you this one. This is my first attempt at a bamboo. Now this is from the treasures. The treasures is limited stock everyone. The, the um, treasures aren't limited stock. I'll let Jill continue showing you but I do need to let you know limited stock. So when, you do need to be quick. When my lady Ali sends samples and she is she's probably one of the best card makers I've ever seen. She is absolutely amazing. Oh, I, I told Ben earlier what we're going to do with the cards. Um, my new website's up and running soon. We're going to put all the cards for sale on the website. Okay. And a percentage is going to go to Air Ambulance oh. or one other charity. Okay. Um, so at least they're not getting wasted. They're not just being put in a box because they're too nice to just go in a box. Fabulous. Uh, right, let's have a look at what you're doing. When Ali sent me this one, this one really grabbed my attention. It, it, it really stood out to me as something crisp because that's what I like. Mm. 
when I when I go for artwork, when I'm buying artwork, I like a picture that looks like a picture. Yeah. So if I go for a picture of a tree, it really needs to look like a tree. Yeah. It can't just be a stripe of you know green on a red background. It has yes. to be a tree. Yeah. So when I saw this image, that really made me happy, and I wanted to copy the background. And Ali showed me how to do it, and this is my version. Not oh. a million miles different. It's not oh. so bad, is it? I like that, Jill. How did you do All the background? All we did with that, we used the marker pens. Um, I bought myself a glass thing. Have what it. are these called? A mat. A glass mat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I've started got... doing resin making as well at the weekend. You've Jill, no idea. we've technically so well, no, we've sold out of the Festival of Japan Three Treasures, so we're going to need to move on to another stamp set. Oh, okay. Can we do that? Let me just we explain can. to everyone at home why we do that because sometimes people get frustrated because they've bought they the stamp them. set and they're like, oh, well, why can't we carry on demonstrating with that? It's because if we don't have anything else on the show that we're selling, like paints or, or different items like that, we can't continue to demonstrate because we've sold out. It's a legal requirement. Then it's the law. So uh, we don't want to mess about with that. We do so, use the term demonstrate loosely, though, don't we, in my case? Uh, no, <laughs> demonstrate, <laughs> fantastic. So um, I, just need to let, I just need to let you know that. I just need to let you know. So that's why we're asking Jill to go to another stamp set. And which are we going to Maiko? I just want to show you the, the, uh, the aperture cards that we had. This has got one of the treasure stamps at the back, but you can put any other stamp that you've got at the back. Um, and that was my attempt at the geisha stamp. So that was my first attempt. And I do think I've cracked that. I think I've got that, I think that one have. sorted. Do you know what I like about those aperture cards, Jill? You know, we were saying about the sun, and that's, that's, that's very it's much a Japanese image, isn't it's it? It's what it is. A lot of the windows in Japan are round windows mm. to, to represent the moon. People go moon viewing mm. in Japan, so when, when the, you know, it's a lovely evening, they'll go out. The emperor used to go out on a boat moon yes. viewing. Um, I'm the same. I, I, I'm I lucky enough in the front in my living room. Uh, I've got a bay window, and the moon rises in that bay window. So I just sit there of an evening with the blinds up, and I watch the moon come up, and it's just magical. And I drive Jane, my other half, insane because I'm out there taking pictures, pictures upon pictures upon pictures upon <laughs> pictures upon <laughs> of the moon. Of the moon, I can't help it because it looks different every single second. She's like, come back in. I'm, uh, just a minute, one more, one Picture more, on the moon. one more. And it's like, you know, two in the morning. One more. <coughs> your, your dog is adorable, by oh, the way. Oh, little Millie. Yeah, I love the little thing this morning of it looking down going, don't go, mummy. Yeah, well, she was. Yeah. She but I've, got five Japanese, I've got three Japanese cats and two bobtails. Have you? Now, my, my thought here is, if, if I put those four cards out to you, yep. and three of them are from my design team, yes. I'll never get sick of saying that. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done one of those. That's not bad, is it? Mine's mixed in with those now. Listen, huh? Jill, huh? I'm going to pass over a message to you now, Go on, then. which is a message from all of us here at Hochanda, and I think lots of Go people away. at home as well. I think you'll agree with me. <laughs> Stop putting yourself down, love. Oh. I'm you loving it. Incredible. I'm so loving it. You are brilliant. What I want to show you is this one that one of my ladies did. This is Diane, and this is another version of the bonsai. So she's used the vases, but she's put flowers in them. That's a great idea. Yeah, so isn't that a nice idea? That's uh, Sansevieria, mother-in-law's tongue. Oh. I used to be a florist. Did you? I did, yeah. Wow. So she's made that one, and again, so you can use the individuals for other things again. And now... Well, three quarters I, of the stock has gone. Oh, that I came set, up with Jill. a brill idea. See, see what you think. See what my, you think. My, the, the counter is dwindling. Because we're selling out of everything. <laughs> Can I just say one tip for these bonsai stamps? Yes. Because the stamps have a lip, you can't line them all up together on something like a stamping platform and plant them together, do them together. You will have gaps between. So either do one at a time yep. or do them all together and then just do what I did on that one and just using a black pen. Fill in the space. I've got a tip for you, Jill. Oh, go on, go on. I've got a tip for Jill. Yeah. I've got a tip for Jill. Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. You can mask. You can mask your stamps. So you stamp, for example, in the image that we're seeing there, stamp the table. Yeah. And then mask the table. Stamp it and cut it out. Mask it. Yeah. And then get your other stamp, 
and stamp it on so it's closer to it cool. so you don't have to line your stamps up. Could I do that with a piece of perspex? If I put a piece of perspex on like that... Give it a go. Then I could see where it was, couldn't I? Give it a go. It might raise it a little bit if it's perspex, because yeah. ah, it's I'll deep. Look. Yeah, yeah But if it's, it's, it, it's... I'll, I'll give that a go. If it's paper. I'm up for all... all I, I came up with this idea myself. Well, I think that's a great idea. Can you see it? I think it's a brilliant idea. Can anybody see it yet? <laughs> Can you see it's a little Christmas tree? Look. Oh, It's a little shit. bonsai Christmas tree. Look at that. There we are. Now that is you've got that's seriously cute, isn't it? That is seriously cute. So if you've yes. got a, a young a young man you want to send you you know, nice Christmas too. It's not not too fussy, it's, yeah. it's nice and plain. Perfect. Yeah, I thought in... you was asking me then if I have a nice young man to send a Christmas well, card to. Well No. I haven't well. got a nice young man either. <laughs> I'm hoping for Keanu Reeves, but it's not happening. Well, it, he's filming Matrix. Three. Is it three now? He loves Japan. Yeah, he spends he's, a lot of time in Japan. And he's filming the latest Matrix movie. Can't, at you, the you, can't, you can't do any wrong for me. Is he, do it, is he doing it in Tokyo? See, another reason why I'm not in Tokyo. It's not fair. Is it? Have a look online, he, but he's he, filming. He's, he's, back he, to filming. he's, lives, uh, he's got a house in Kyoto yeah. where we are. And one day I will walk into the park yeah. and I will see him. You probably will. And I will fall into a puddle on the floor. He's lovely. He's not he? What a lovely oh, guy. And apparently he's very nice as well. He is. He is lovely. This, that was on the tube and everything. Yeah, and he gave a, there was a lovely video. He gave his lady the seat on the tube. Yeah. I'd have just said, no, can I just stand here and look you know, at he you? Gives, he gives <laughs> away his fees for movies. He do, and he bought everybody a Harley Davidson yeah. after, I think it was John Wick 1. Yeah. All the this things is I the know about Keanu, Keanu Reeves Appreciation Fan Club. If you are watching, <sighs> Keanu. If you are watching, hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I think you cracked it there. I know, I think you've cracked hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> I play video games. I surf and I jump out of planes. I don't do any of those things, but I will adore you. No, I don't either, but, you know, just in case he's watching. <laughs> hi. I'm also very down to earth. I travel on the tube a lot. Married. Transport. Married. Giveaway. Married. Charity. Married. Married. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not married. Are you not married? Oh, well, that's naughty. Don't marry me off yet. Oh. And I've also got kind of similar hair to yours as well, Keanu, today. Well, one, one side is, one side isn't. One side <laughs> is. What, what, what is that with my hair, Jill? Oh, I've got the same. This side yours? does this. Yeah, and, the and this side, side doesn't. What is that? Is it the way you sleep on your pillow? It's not. No, because I sleep on I sleep I on that I have no idea. You know? No. I think it's just our brains constantly pounding in and out You've with got thoughts. It. You've got it. Just pushes it out to one yeah. side. I'm like two different people. What were we, do, were we doing a show about stamping or something? Um, no, it's Karen talking about Keanu Reeves because oh. I'm sure if we talk about him enough, he'll watch and get Somebody, in touch. Somebody, one of my ladies, had to ask who he was. <gasps> I know. Shocking. But that's all right. Like I you said, shocked. if you don't know, you don't know. I was shocked. This is mixed media. Okay. But another one of my ladies <laughs> has produced. <laughs> this is Julianne. Julianne likes mix mix colours, and she does the most amazing colours together. That's lovely. Um, and I would never have done it just in in the glittery colour, but that really works and she's used lots of different textured papers in oh, there. Give it a shimmer so we can see give the glitter. Shimmer. Oh yeah. Look at that. And this one, I I'm just getting into the stage of showing you cards now. Just That's randomly right. showing you cards. That's alright. So, because all these cards will be on my website, it's going to be a nice place for people to go get a bit of inspiration as well. I like my that ladies one. have given me position, uh, permission to put them all up on there. Oh, Isn't yeah. that amazing? Yeah. That's stunning. Some of my new papers are Japanese script as well. How lovely. So that would work even better. So the fact that it works as a tree, I hadn't even thought about mm. when I first did that one. But you've it's got like a, lovely a tree, tree sitting down. It's yeah. like a person. There's little legs going out. <sighs> yeah, so, so, yeah it, it looks like, you know, it's, a, it's a, per, a person who's a tree, you know, with his arms out. And then he's sitting down, his knees are in the front. Is it really late? No, I like that though. <laughs> is it just really, that's quite, really lit? That's, that's quite mythical and magical, isn't it? You want to go up and sit on that tree on that hill, don't you? I do want to go and yeah. sit on that tree. If this was, tree was in Japan and one of those branches was hanging out, it would be held up with another piece of wood. They yes. would never lop it off. No. Can we say lop it off? Is that is that? Do yeah, because you, you get everybody lop except for Yorkshire you? understand that. Lop lop it off. Lopers. Yeah, lop it off. Well, I call them lolloping lopers, but they are just lopers. Loppers. Lopers? <laughs> lolloping lopers. Right. Let's, shall, we, shall we just get back to what we're doing now? Shall we? Yeah. Go on then, let's. What are we doing? I have no idea. Oh, 
Oh, I'm going to show you this. I'm just going to get all the things out of my handbag and show you I've got my handbag. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's yeah, inspirational. Stop laughing, Ben. It's not funny. You're back tomorrow, aren't you, Jill? Yeah. <laughs> what, what time? I'm not demonstrating that. <laughs> what, what, what have you got in the morning? You've got fabric, Seven haven't you? Seven o'clock in the morning. Seven in the morning? I know. Ooh. So what I'm going to have to do is go to the hotel. Yep. Uh, come from the hotel. Go back to the hotel after I've finished here and have my breakfast. Yes. Oh, there's one of one of the handbags coming in. These are so cute, these little bags. Oh, look at this tomorrow morning. Beautiful. Love this fabric. It's lovely. And we've oh got Sashiko back as well. Have so Sashiko stuff's back in tomorrow with that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. That's beautiful. My mother-in-law makes those for me. Really? What I've always done when I've when I've done kits for years, I do the designing. And then I hand it to Chris and go, there we go. And she makes it. So she'll make it up and she'll look at the instructions. She'll go, I have no idea what that means. You're puddled. So I then have to write it in a language that people can understand and not just my head. Well, that's great. Yeah. Um, now, the small and beautiful stamp collection, the one with the bonsai trees, we're approaching limited. We are approaching limited stock. Oh, that's lovely. Um, and Thank that you, could ladies be and gents. another sellout. Um, so I'm not going to have a lot left on the counter, I'm afraid. We've got enough to talk about. No, I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about, Jim. <laughs> we always do. We always do. I've got to show you this as well. This is one of my ladies made me for my uh, for my safety. Yes. Do you want me to? Do you want me to demonstrate it? You can do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Festival of Japan, it says. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Isn't that good? That yeah. is very good. I feel like a bank robber in it. And my glasses <laughs> steam up. You're lucky Do you don't wear glasses. It's <laughs> awful wearing masks when your glasses steam up, isn't it? It's hard. Right, I'm going to tell people a bit more about my own geisha Please. because that's my subject and that's what I do. Okay. A lot of the time when I'm on, I don't talk about what I'm selling. Mm. They've noticed that, people. Um, but I talk about what I know. Okay. And the more I know about card making, next time I come on, the more yes. I'll say about it. So I've got to explain who these ladies are here. So can you remember her name? No, of course you can't. Lady can. on the back. Her name? No, I will. I, I'm, I'm going... Can... Careful, careful. Fukukana. 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 So, as I was saying, this is the Maiko. Can you see on this picture number three, this is, this is something I use because we do talks on Geisha yes. and Maiko, so this is what we use. Can you see she hasn't got a top lip painted? No. On I mean, yes, one? I can yeah. see that. She's not doing a Hilda Ogden, <laughs> and that shows me age, doesn't it? I love Hilda Ogden. First year Maiko don't have their lips painted, top lip painted. Oh, okay. So you can look at her and you can work out what year she's at, yep. what training she's had. When we go over to this young lady here, in number eight, look at me, I was a bit thinner there, wasn't I? Oh dear, I'm going to get back to that. And my hair was nice and red. Still is nice and red. Still are lovely. Ah, it's not as red as it should be. She um, is third year geisha. Uh, third year Maiko. Third year. Third year. The Maiko can stay a Maiko until the mother has decided to make them a geisha. So if they're really, really cute, she'll mm. hold them back. Ah. They don't get any pay. They don't get paid. They get one day off a month. Wow. Um, but this lady here on number nine, she was 86 when she died 86 87 oh. possibly oh. nobody knows and she was one of the last ones to be sold into it so she was sold into becoming a geisha when you say sold sold by her family she was indentured her family couldn't afford two children yeah. so one of them was sent to become a geisha okay. what i'm trying to say she was still a geisha at 86 wow so that's telling you if she sold at five she could have left at any time yes so that's, that that she has on there is not a top coat. That's my cardigan. Um, when we went to meet her, they said, whatever you do, don't touch the geisha. It's not allowed. You've no, got to stand back because the costumes are so expensive. Yes. After about three minutes, she had her arms around me, see if she could get her arms around me. Yeah. Um, and we were just best friends for years and years and years. Another thing, oh, that's her there in number 11. Aww. Can you see that? She was 84 there. How lovely. 
Isn't she just beautiful? It's so interesting, Jill. It the, really is. The we geisha culture talk. is amazing. It really is. Absolutely and of course, amazing. it is a tradition. It is a culture. Um, and everything is spoken about in the utmost respect. Do lots of inf uh, do lots of research online. It makes you want to do it, doesn't it? Uh, because it's something that we don't want to forget. It's something that, you know, we do have to remember. It's part of the Japanese culture. Right. We need to have a recap. Oh, my goodness. We are limited stock on this beautiful set of 18 stamps. Small is certainly beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Limited stock. Big's quite enjoy. cute as well. Yeah, big is cute. <laughs> uh, 947101 is your item number, the Festival of Japan. Small is beautiful. Um, a couple of samples here. Let me just grab these. These are beautiful and stunning. You can colour coordinate your cards not just cards home decoration as well use these with your fabric stamps on fabric isn't that beautiful really really is you got the Japanese table the bonsai bowl and the bonsai tree in there and you've got this one the simplicity of this is absolutely beautiful on that craft card and you've also got the Sun just there gleaming away beautiful um, cards if I just grab a couple more for you uh, this is using uh, the doodle stamp that have we sold out no we still got hold of that and that's using that in the background and then another one to show you there to give you that inspiration bonsai tree yes is a miniature tree but it can also be stamped out as a full tree as well uh, so 947101 is your item number very very busy for that limited stock which means we don't have a lot left right moving on let's have a look at the myco stamp um, I know. I'm just, it's just, just like, yeah. Here's my, here's my code. Mica. Here we go. Here's yeah. my code. Um, but you see, we learn, we yeah. learn, and that's what we love about Jill coming here to Ho Chanda. Nine ninety nine. 262681 is your item number. Some beautiful samples here. Look at this one that has. Oh, sorry, I'll bring that one in. Isn't that clever? Has that been felted? She felted it. Yeah. That's amazing. That really is amazing. You see, she's got a red collar. Yes, the, Michael. That means she hasn't turned her collar. So the next stage from that would be a fully fledged geisha. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, so that just gives us information that yeah, I just like to throw out. Little bits of detail, little yeah. bits of detail. Uh, another one here oh, in watercolour. How beautiful is that? It reminds me of 1920s. It's such like art deco and style. In the background of that one, she's actually used my papers. I think we still have those online the chrysanthemum papers, backing mm. papers. And she's oh, yes. torn the colours. From, yeah, from that. That yeah. looks gorgeous. 262681 is your item number 999. How long have we got left on the show? Two and a half minutes. Oh, not long now. Two and a half minutes. Uh, now, the doodles love this stamp, so do you. We saw that card made in <laughs> moments yeah. from our Jill. And you'll see here this beautiful stamp and the sample at the side of it as well. The detail is exquisite. It really is. This has been very popular. £9.99. That's a great price for the size stamp that you're getting here and it's beautifully packaged as well so if you want to give that as a gift to somebody but also use the packaging as well within your craft works it's absolutely stunning um, this is all brand new launched right here on Hochanda we've had lots of sellouts as well 705792 is your item number if you want to go for those doodles love that all designed by Jill as well now if you want to put these onto a card and you want an aperture card ready made for you we've got a whole selection here 15 in total with that gorgeous circle we've also got the envelopes and you're also getting 15 sheets of your mommy gammy paper as well 147952 definitely worth popping these into your basket so you can make some beautiful cards like Jill's design team has and like Jill did as well I have no issue with people using as long as it's not for commercial purposes I have no issue with people using these as many times as they want for their own cards, uh, charity, whatever, you, please feel free. Excellent. Um, if you do use something, if you'd link my name to it, that would be lovely. If you can't remember who I am, have a look at the back of the packaging. It's on there. <laughs> it's on there. Yes. But yeah, I have no issue with people using my designs. Excellent. Um, and I know I'll get shouted at by a lot of other designers, but this is my, this is my Absolutely. My rules. Yep. They follow their rules. Exactly. You have got your own angel policy. And I have indeed. Theirs, and that's beautiful. Um, so, Jill, what a, uh, a collection. Congratulations. 
I made Congratu a card on telly. <laughs> you, well, congratulations, you made a card on telly, but you mm. also made some sellouts as well. Yay. Thank you for bringing them to Ho Chan and launching them here. My pleasure. You know, that's absolutely fantastic that you did that. Next we really one, do appreciate that. Month after next, we've got the next ones coming out. Have you? Yeah. Wow, it's, these, these could be collector's items, everyone. Collector's item. Uh, Jill is back in the morning with fabric and those beautiful patterns at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yes. 7 a.m. Just have to say that again. I didn't actually realise there was two of them in the day, but apparently there is. No, I there didn't is. either. Yeah. Um, it's been great to have your company, Jill. Thank you so much. Thanks to the team Thanks, as well Janice. tonight here at Hochanda. Thanks. Thank you to you guys. We're always live on Hochanda up until 10 p.m. every night on Freeview. You can continue watching us though on your internet connection, on your tablet, or on your computer. We'll see you after the break. Crafting with Clarity, one day special, a chance to see that show again. Stamps away, happy hour after that, lots of fun. And then Jelly Bean Crafts, happy hour after that. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda 